Manchester United, one of Europe's most storied clubs with a rich history of winning trophies and also known for fielding some of the best football legends we have ever seen. But ever since Sir Alex left the club, Man United haven't been the same. New manager after new manager after new manager, all ending in disappointment and well below the standards set by Sir Alex himself. But that might be changing. For the first time in a very long time, Eric Ten Hag has brought new life into Manchester United, leading them to a top four finish in his first year and finally looking like the true Sir Alex successor that United have been looking for for so long. But this is truly just the start of the May United Ten Hag era. The foundations have been set, but to make Manchester United the best team in the world again, there's still an enormous amount of work to do. And now let's talk about me. I'm an assistant coach for Manchester United who's just been hired by Eric Ten Hag. I've also just made the move from California in the United States all the way to Manchester in England. So let me show you how I got here. So I started out as an assistant coach for my local team, the San Jose Earthquakes, in Major League Soccer in the United States. I'm basically the right-hand man on the coaching staff. And in the summer of 2023, we had a friendly against Manchester United. And the Earthquakes manager couldn't be there for this game. So he let me take over managing duties for this one friendly. So basically, I coached against Eric Ten Hag. The game ended up being a 3-3 draw. And I must have impressed Ten Hag on the touchline. And after the game, he wanted to talk to me. Said that he was impressed with the way I handle myself and that if I'm interested that they wanted to fly me out to Manchester and I mean I'm not gonna say no to that so I arrived in Manchester and headed Old Trafford to watch one of their preseason games and the first time seeing Old Trafford was special the theater of dreams it's my first time ever being in England and watching the game from the stands I immediately fell in love and after that game Tenog said he wanted to meet in his office to talk about things now in his office Tenog says he's looking to add to his coaching staff trying to change the culture here at Manchester United and he says once again that I impressed him a lot and also that he's offering me a role on his Manchester United coaching staff with a heavy focus on the younger players and we knew this is an offer that we can't turn down so just like that I was hired by Ten Hag and I'm now an assistant coach for Manchester United so now it's time to move from California all the way to Manchester to start my career in English football and to also start our Manchester United career mode this is gonna be a special one so we arrive in Manchester we get a call from Ten Hag and he tells us to get settled in and then to meet at Old Trafford for our before season review of the team so for now this is our play in Manchester. I mean, hey, it's nothing special, but it's my place. We got everything we need here. Now, we're definitely going to try and spruce things up as the season goes on because we're going to be spending a lot of time here. We got to make it look nice. But okay, now it's time to head off and leave to Old Trafford. Also, if you like what you've seen so far and you want to see more of it, then drop a like down below to let me know. But okay, we arrive in the Manchester United boardroom and Tenog says, let's go over our squad. Now, in goal, we have David De Gea, 87 rated. Now, De Gea has his critics, but Tenog is sure he's our starting keeper for the foreseeable future. And at right back, we have Dallow, 23 years old, 80 overall. He's got potential and Tenog likes him a lot. Then at center back, we have Varan, 29 years old, 85 overall, a veteran defensive leader of the squad. His partner in crime is going to be Lissandro Martinez, 24 years old. You can criticize his height, but you cannot criticize his heart. Then Luke Shaw, left back, 82 overall, 26 years old. He's definitely had a resurgence lately. And then Casemiro at CDM, our highest rated player in the team, pretty much. I mean, just an absolute defensive anchor, but he is already 30 years old. And then his midfield partner is going to be Fred, 80 overall, 29 years old. Definitely a good squad player, but I'm not sure he's an actual starter of the team. Then at right wing, we have the polarizing player, and Anthony. 81 overall, still only 22 years old, and it still feels like there's so much potential there to be unlocked. In the middle at a number 10 spot, we have Bruno Fernandez, 87 overall, and also captain of Manchester United. At 27 years old, he is right in his prime and arguably the most important player in this team. When he's moving, the whole team is moving. At left wing, we have Jaden Sancho, 22 years old, 82 overall. Like Anthony, it still feels like there's a lot of potential there for Sancho. The question is, will he reach it? And at striker, we have Marcus Rashford, 24 years old, 85 overall, and coming off probably one of his best seasons, him leading our attack, he's got a lot of weight on his shoulders. And then our bench consists of players like Harry Maguire, the left back Malasia, Scotty McTotty, Scott McTominay, Christian Eriksen, maybe the biggest prospect here in Manchester United, Alejandro Garnacho at left wing, Anthony Lenga right wing, and then also Anthony Martial at striker as a backup striker, pretty much. That is the main first team, give or take a few players. So now Ten Hag says, let's go over how I want to play this season. Let's go over our tactics. Now this year, Ten Hag wants to implement a more aggressive style of football. So our defensive style is going to be pressure and heavy touch, a width of 35 and then a depth of 60. So we're going to attempt to play with a higher line. As far as offense goes, we're going to go for the slow buildup, try and manage possession with our short passing game, and then chance creation, we're going to go for forward runs. We got players like Anthony, Rashford, Sancho. We want them getting forward in the attacking third. Now, Ten Hag says our budget for this season is 225 million pounds. And to improve this team, he thinks we need to sign a midfielder, a center back, and then more importantly, a striker and maybe even a left winger. And before the meeting's over, he says that he wants everyone to bring him a report on potential transfers we can make, players that we think we should sign. And he also says that they're currently negotiating a deal for Neymar 
memoir from PSG that it's not set in stone yet, but they're trying to make that happen. So we get back home after that meeting and we almost can't believe it. We're a Manchester United coach. But hey, if we want to stay in this position, we got to get to work. So we're going to make some coffee, hop on our computer and figure out what we should do with this team. All right. So now taking a broader look at the squad. Last year, Man United struggled to score goals. Their defense was actually pretty good, but they struggled in the scoring goals department. So definitely a striker left wing, I feel like are very important to sign, but also we need a better midfielder than Fred. I like Erickson as a backup to Bruno, more of a cam. McTominay is decent. Do I think he's the best? Probably not. So a true number eight box to box alongside Casemiro can take this team to the next level. And then Fran Martin has a very good combo, but we have Maguire and Lindelof. I'm not sure if they're going to want to stay because reports are saying that Lindelof and Maguire might look to leave, which a new center back could really help bolster the defense. We also know Varane is very injury prone too. So we got to make sure we're covered. So this right here is my starting short list in terms of transfers. Now I need you guys' help to help me fill this out. So let me know in the comments who you think we should sign in this series, who we should target, which positions, and we'll add them to the short list. And then of course, I'll bring it over to Ten Hag. We got to make sure we give him a very good short list report. And also Ten Hag has put me in charge of the youth scouting here in Manchester United. So we got three scouts here in the comments. Let me know where to send them. And we'll do that in the next episode. And also, by the way, I'm using a Pfeiffer's Realism mod for this series. So we got a bunch of different mods for this series. It's going to be crazy. We got a bunch of player faces for all the young players. It's going to be nuts. Now, for Ritzy Romano is reporting that Manchester United and PSG have struck a deal for Neymar Jr. for 97.5 million pounds. So Ten Hag negotiates contract with Neymar. Neymar is officially signed up. This is a huge pickup for Manchester United. Neymar wanted to leave PSG. It was time. And talk about making the jump. This right here is the kind of signing that would jump start a season. Hopefully, it jump starts our season. So it is official. Now, after joining Manchester United, Neymar is holding a little press conference. He says it was time for a new challenge in his career. And when he heard the United wanted to sign him, he was very excited about playing here. And he says he knows he's faced a lot of criticism throughout his career. And he's looking to prove a lot of people wrong in his time here at Manchester United. Now, signing this big is absolutely nuts. And we got to get Neymar acclimated very quickly here. We're focusing in training, getting Neymar used to his new teammates, getting to know everyone, getting a feel. Our first game of the season is right around the corner. And we need our new star player to be ready. And also, we sold Eric Baye, we've sold Tuan Zebe, and we've also loaned out Iqbal. And Tenog also wants to try and sell Tellez still. So, still some players that need to leave. And also, by the way, if it didn't come across already, we're playing this first season as if it was next season. So, of course, we are in the Champions League this year. But okay, it was a very long night. We wake up. Today is the first game of the Premier League season. So, we eat some breakfast. We pump ourselves up a little bit. Because, oh yeah, we're feeling very nervous right now. And then it was time to head off to Old Trafford. Now, with our first paycheck being a Manchester United coach, we bought a car. I mean, it's not the nicest thing in the world. But, I mean, hey, it's our first car. What can we say? So, we leave the apartment complex and we drive to Old Trafford. There's a lot of pressure on this team for the first game. The fans are expecting a lot from this team this year. So, we just hope that we can get this team ready. So, later on in the dressing room, we listen to Ten Hag giving a passionate team talk, saying that this year we take United to the next level. And to do that, we need our star players to step up this year. And also, of course, we do have the promoted teams like Burnley, Luton Town in the Premier League this season. But our first game is against Sheffield United. Of course, a newly promoted team. Now, really quick, of course, we play on ultimate difficulty. These are the sliders we use for the CPU, along with 10 first touch control error. So it's going to be a challenge to bring this team to the top of the world again. But Sunny Neymar was the start of this journey. And it's time for the first game of this season. And oh man, the fans have absolutely shown up today. Like I said, there's a lot of expectation here. Like fans truly believe this is the season where we take this team back to being like a contender for the Premier League and also the Champions League. Now, I'm not sure if this team can actually do that. But with new signing Neymar, once again, it's the start. And I mean, facing a newly promoted team, everyone expects us to win here. So this Premier League season, first game of the series is officially kicked off. Let's try and have a good first game of the season. All right, Sheffield United are looking to play us very aggressive here. They're trying to test our high line. Now, Luke Shaw has got Neymar. Is Neymar on side? I believe he is. Neymar cuts inside. Neymar on his debut. Goes for a finesse shot. That falls to Bruno. Bruno shot and the keeper saves it. Okay, that could have been an amazing start. Neymar first impression though. He looks like he's uh, he's got a new mentality here at United. Like you said, he's ready to prove uh, his doubters wrong. Rashford through to Neymar. Neymar is not going to be able to get that. Neymar tries to fight for it. He does. Gets it to Bruno. Fernandez. Heavy touch. Keeper is going to save it. Bruno. Can't grab it. It's going to go back to the keeper. Okay, two very solid chances so far. Rashford, Anthony. Anthony's got Dallow making a run. Anthony through to Dallow. Dallow's not going to quite reach that though. Bruno, good ball to Anthony. Anthony. Can maybe find Rashford. Isn't a find Rashford there. Out to Dallow. Dallow. We're in the box. This is very dangerous. Gonna go to Marcus Rashford. That shot is blocked. Fred has a chance to shoot. His shot is also blocked. Oh man, High Line is being tested here. Lissandro Martinez. Martinez, that is a great tackle right there. Okay, we are being tested again. Varane needs to be solid here. That's gonna fall to Dallow. Then Varane should clear that he does. Now it's been an okay start, but until we score this first goal, there's gonna be some nerves still. We need that first goal of the season. Anthony to Rashford over to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno. Oh, that first touch let him down so bad. Dallow over to Bruno. Bruno's got Neymar. Neymar 
Tries to get into Marcus Rashford, he does. And that shot is also blocked too. Okay, Sheffield United, they're playing a very dangerous game right now. And also, we got to make sure we don't concede because when a team like this, when we're playing a high line, they're trying to counterattack us. It's the perfect recipe for us to concede. So our defense needs to be very good. Calm. And so far it has been, but the game is still nil-nil at halftime. So a lot of chances not yet made the breakthrough yet though. Second half begins. I feel like this first goal is so close for us. Oh, Luke Shaw goes to the middle. And instead, Sheffield United score. Luke Shaw gets caught out in the counterattack, and they've actually made it 1-0. Oh, this is a nightmare start of the second half. Yeah, Luke Shaw just gets beat on that pass. They get it back to the middle, and it's a good finish. All right, we are in danger of being embarrassed on opening day of the Premier League now. All right, Neymar is trying to take matters into his own hands. Neymar is going to try to play it to Marcus. Marcus gets it to Bruno. Bruno shoots. That shot is okay. What did Rashford just try there? Into Fred, and it's going to be saved. Uh, what an attempt by Marcus Rashford. Come on, good cross, Bruno. That's a great cross. Can someone get to it? No one gets to it, though. Get it back to Bruno. Bruno in to Martinez. Martinez gets it over to Neymar. Neymar. Neymar's going to try and stop. We're just trying to find some outlet here. It's going to go to Varane, of all people, and that's going to be saved. Man, we're right there. Eric Tanag wants that first goal. Bruno Fernandez, another good delivery. Just no one is attacking it right there. Going to head it to Martinez. Martinez, chance for a shoot. Okay, chance for a shot. He just got taken out there. Oh, Bruno Fernandez taken out from high, and that should be a yellow. It is going to be a yellow. All right, boys, time is running out here. Bruno Fernandez over to Luke Shaw. Get it back to Bruno. Gets it back to Bruno. Into Anthony. Anthony chance to shoot. The keeper makes another good save. Bruno Fernandez again. Someone attack it. Varane was almost there. That's going to fall to Neymar. Neymar. Oh, I'm not sure what happened here. It's going to go to Martinez. Neymar. Neymar. Martinez into Anthony. Anthony turns. And Anthony puts the shot wide. So many chances. This game just can't score. All right. Tenog's first sub of the year is going to be Anthony off for the young spark plug that is Alejandro Garnacho. All right. 84th minute. They have a free kick. This honestly is not looking good. We have not much time to even tie this game up, let alone score a winner. Fred plays through Neymar. Neymar gets it over to Bruno. Bruno into. Gonna be Fred. Is gonna try to find Bruno. Can't quite find Bruno Fernandez. Now that is a long pass. And David De Gea, okay, makes an amazing save. But it might be for nothing. All right, final subs on. We got two minutes though. Sheffield United corner in. It's gonna be cleared by Dallo. Sancho can't win it back. This is not looking good for us. Is ref gonna blow full time? Ref is letting us play. Nope, he's gonna blow full time. So first game of the year is a 1-0 loss to Sheffield United. Man. I feel like we were the better team that game. We created more chances, just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. And they probably only created like two real chances and scored one. That is the difference in this game. But that is not the start we wanted this year at all. Like 12 shots to 3 XG is 3.3 for us, 0.5 for them. I think that shows the better team did not win this game today. So after that game, we do a quick interview with Manchester United TV. And we tell them our first game wasn't what we wanted it to be. We wanted it to be a win. But the fans were amazing. It was an amazing experience for us. And we're going to make sure the team turns it around for the next game. So game number two is going to be against Fulham away. And before this game, Tenag wants to make a slight tactic change. He wants Neymar to stay forward up with Marcus Rashford. Don't even track back. He wants to make sure Anthony is making runs in behind, providing an outlet for our midfielders. And he's also going to insert Christian Eriksen into the midfield for Fred. We'll see if his passing helps our attack. So that is our lineup against Fulham. We just need to get a better result in this game. So game number two. Now facing a better team than Sheffield, but also a team that we should still beat. We should not be losing or drawing to Fulham if we want to get Manchester United back to the top. Eric Ten Hag will not stand for that. Like boys, this game has got to be better. Rashford up to Bruno Fernandez. Actually falls to Neymar. Neymar and find Bruno. Is that a foul? I want that foul, ref. The ref didn't even play advantage there. Anthony up to Marcus Rashford. Great ball. Rashford into Neymar. Neymar stops. Neymar can go for a shot. Neymar goes for a shot, but I think it was blocked from behind. Neymar now through to Marcus Rashford. This might be our first chance of the game. Marcus, chance to score the first goal of the season, and it's scored. Okay, Marcus Rashford gets us off to a better start this game. It is 1-0 to Manchester United. If Rashford can play like this the rest of the season, being like a clinical finisher up top, then I think we'll be in a good spot this year. It's just consistency is the question here. 20 minutes in, 1-0 to United, though. All right, they got like a short free kick, basically like a short corner here. Dan James actually Solomon lifts it in. That looks very dangerous. And of course, it's going to be Polina. It's going to be 1-1. One -one. Is defending from set pieces going to be a problem this year? I thought it'd be Mitrovic. But oh man, Polina just fights for more over Rashford, I think. Oh, that is so poor. Okay, this game is 1-1, 24 minutes in. Rashford to Bruno. Can we try and counterattack from here? Bruno cuts inside, gets it over to Neymar. Neymar can't quite get that. Yeah, I think the early season integration of Neymar hasn't fully happened yet. The chemistry is not fully there. Honestly, Fulham are playing very well right now. This is not good for us. Luke Shaw, though, great interception. Bruno's got Christian Eriksen. Eriksen's got Marcus Rashford for it. Should be a second. Okay. He took so long to shoot that. I don't know if it was hesitation or something. Good steal by Dallow. 
Bruno has got Neymar. Neymar has a chance to score. Neymar shoots and Neymar scores his first goal for Manchester United. Okay, 2-1. Neymar is off. Finally on the scoring charts. That was a beautiful finish by Neymar. Man, Bruno played a great ball into Neymar. Neymar's first touch cuts inside on his right foot into the back of the net. Okay, 2-1. That is a great time to score up for halftime. Dallow steals it and that is going to be halftime. Okay, 2-1. The scoring's there, but the defense needs to uh, definitely sharpen up a bit. It's great to see Neymar score his first goal, though. All right, Dallow's got maybe a cross to Bruno to start the second half. That was a good idea. It just didn't exactly work. One problem is we don't really have uh, crossing targets at all in this team. One issue we're seeing. Oh, my. Mitrovic gets in front of De Gea and somehow scores that this game is 2-2. Oh man, we are just struggling to defend Fulham's attack. I didn't think Mitrovic was a threat there, but we just let him run. I don't know, we try to play him offside and he just gets in front of De Gea and then literally shoots it through his legs. 53rd minute, it's 2-2. Okay, we need another response. We found one twice, we find it again. Rashford gets it. Oh, Rashford, that ball to Neymar was so bad. Bruno gets it over to Neymar. Neymar, chance for a second. Keeper saves it. We're gonna dink the keeper. And that's going to go in. That was Christian Eriksen. Oh, man. Keeper makes a save. And then Eriksen just dinks it over him. 3-2. What a game. It's good for the neutral. It's not good for United, though. Oh, man. Neymar gets a good shot away. Keeper comes all the way out. And Eriksen just dinks the keeper. How smart is that? Okay. 3-2. 59th minute. Can we actually start defending, though? Anthony gets it over to Dallo. Dallo. We're going to try and cross it into someone. It's going to go to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno shoots. And that hits the side netting. Okay, we're going to move uh, Rashford out to right wing. And then Anthony is on for... Uh, or Anthony Martial is on for Anthony. And Anthony twice. Come on, I really want that just fourth goal. I want that two-goal lead. Anthony plays it to Bruno. Bruno, I need you to, like, shoulder that defender. At least get in front of him. Boys, we can't lose this lead again. What a ball to Grzawa. It's good defending, though. Great defending. Neymar, good ball to Bruno. Bruno's making a run. Bruno's got space. Bruno... Tries to get it to Neymar. I should have shot with Bruno instead. That's a shot by Mitrovic, and De Gea will grab that one more comfortably. Casemiro up to Dallo. Dallo's gonna play to Bruno. Bruno, good touch. Drag it back to someone. We're gonna get it to. Oh man, was that Neymar? That was a very good chance. Erickson, please steal that. Erickson, great steal. Bruno into Rashford. Rashford can't get it to Martial. Time's running out, but I want this go ahead goal. I don't wanna try and protect a one goal lead. All right, four minutes left. Final two subs are gonna be Fred on for Erickson, and then Sancho on for Mr. Uh, Marcus Rashford. Four minutes left. We are now defending for our lives. We might have space here though. Fred, it's gotta pass down the middle. Goes to Neymar. Neymar, a chance to seal the win for Manchester United. The keeper makes an amazing save though. All right, we got three added minutes. We need to waste time a little bit so i'm gonna call for a short corner neymar is gonna use his tricks to try and waste time okay neymar loses it but ref should blow the whistle he should and the ref blows the whistle okay we barely squeaked out a 3-2 win against fulham at least it's a win but still oh man we are not playing up to par this year so far but you know what everyone's gonna start somewhere so first win of the year is basically won by christian erickson little smart finish over a keeper but oh man that was that was still rough now dressing room after the game the boys are happy about that win but eric ten Hag is saying we may have got the win but we still need to play so much better than that and then after that game we get back home and oh man after our first two games we are absolutely exhausted being an assistant coach is a very busy job so we try to relax for a little bit but we look at our calendar our next game is going to be chelsea that is a huge game against the new look chelsea team with their new coach mauricio pochettino and we tune into a pochettino press conference before the game and he says our first two games were a win and a draw that he thinks he could turn that chelsea team around but their next game against us manchester united is going to be a true test for them so that is the chelsea lineup with jao felix at striker we're going to go for that same lineup with erickson in for fred and after playing like two lackluster teams in fulham and sheffield and not playing that great this against chelsea is going to be very interesting so boys are arriving in Stadium. This needs to be a win. This could be a statement for us to beat Chelsea to show that our start is not indicative of this whole entire season and we're still making the steps in the right direction. So opening day defeat Old Trafford. Now it's time to give the fans something to cheer about at Old Trafford. So United versus Chelsea, a matchup with a lot of history. Okay, Felix, stop. Felix, what are you doing? Dallow, good tackle. This is going to be an interesting one. Casemiro, good ball to Dallow. Dallow is going to find Marcus Rashford. Marcus inks it up try to uh to uh, bruno that's gonna be a free kick right yeah it's a handball okay free kick chance who is taking this i think we know who it's got to be neymar steps up he wants it from the free kick spot very weird angle but neymar free kick spot oh man it goes right to mendy he was on target not enough ben though okay madaweke has space madaweke shaw good defending though and we should control the ball we do anthony into erickson gets it to neymar neymar stops gets it over to luke shaw luke shaw can we get across to someone it's gonna go to bruno bruno header and Mendy makes the save. That was a very good cross right there by Luke Shaw. Another cross by Luke Shaw. Varane is there for that. Mendy is going to clear it though. Luke Shaw gets it to Bruno. Bruno tries to go for a low shot, but Zhao Felix, that is great defending. Sterling is sprinting by Dallo here. Varane has to try and step up. Varane against Sterling. Varane, good defending. Warner lofted in. Anthony, I don't know why he's in the near post, but he is. He clears it. Bruno going to try to clear it again. Bruno, great header. Oh man, it goes all the way back into our box though. Enzo Fernandez gets it over. 
Lissandro Martinez prevents a goal there. Man, this game is end-to-end. -end. Bruno to Marcus. Marcus gets it over. Get it back to Marcus Rashford. He's got a chance for a finesse shot. And Marcus Rashford, that was not a good shot. This is extremely dangerous. Felix shot. De Gea makes a very good save. Man, 35th minute. Both teams have had their chances. It's just who is going to make the breakthrough first? Felix in front of goal. Trying to defend that. They're going to drag it back. Okay, Enzo Fernandez shot. Anthony blocks it. Uh, Luke Shaw gets something on that. Man, this is just so much pressure Varan, good tackle and then deflect out for a goal kick oh my this game is literally chaos right now luke shaw up to bruno bruno it's got marcus marcus rashford turns shoots and marcus again puts it wide come on we need to test mendy with these shots and samiro up to anthony anthony's got space can you get it to neymar tried to erickson gets it to bruno fernandez bruno chance to shoot on his left foot fofana blocks that and that might be the first half man both teams had so many chances there this is literally end to end luke shaw to erickson come on we need to we need to keep this game at this speed we just need to score though anthony it's got bruno bruno is gonna stop get it out to dallow dallow we got a lot of options in the box cross it anthony's there anthony's not gonna win that casemiro into bruno bruno chance for a good shot bruno fernandez it also goes over the net we just didn't bring our shooting boots today okay sterling is making this very good run and I can't believe Sterling curled that around De Gea. We got three defenders around Sterling. That touch right there was disgusting, though. Okay, Chelsea make the breakthrough. Oh, man, that is just so unfortunate for us. Rashford out to Luke Shaw. We need a response here, boys. Luke Shaw up to Rashford. Rashford gets it over to Erickson. Erickson is going to pass to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, crossover. Oh, man, that was going to be to Rashford. All right, Bruno, come on. Good corner. Good corner delivery. That's going to fall to Marcus. Marcus. Oh, man. There's just so many Chelsea players right there. All right. We're going to try a short corner here. In to Anthony. Anthony. We got an option here. Anthony might cut inside. Anthony cuts inside. Anthony shoots. Mendy. Oh, it's right at his chest, though. Sterling up to Felix. Sterling is the one causing us issues. And Felix turns us the same way Sterling did. We are 2-0 down at Old Trafford. Oh, man. It's once again the defense. We're just not connected enough. We have 25 minutes to turn this around somehow now. Bruno. Good ball to Erickson. Erickson. We need something special. Good shot. Mendy makes another save, though. All right. We're going to go for the short corner tactic again. We're going to go into Anthony. Anthony's going to fire it into Bruno. Bruno needs something. Get it to Marcus Rashford. Turns. Oh, the shot was there. All right, try to work it back inside. Erickson over to Marcus Rashford. And this game is 2-1. Okay, 73rd minute. We have a chance. That is the inconsistency of Marcus Rashford. Those first two shots earlier were terrible. And this one is a screamer. Rashford, very quick. Just one touch shot. And now this game is 2-1. We have a chance. All right, I'm going to do Scott McTominay on for Erickson. And then we're going to do Sancho for Anthony. Oh, we got a real chance to tie this up. Neymar, Marcus Rashford is making a great run. Marcus Rashford. Takes a touch. Oh, that second touch ruined it. I think I might have been handballed by Marcus. Neymar gets it to Bruno. Bruno back to Neymar. Neymar through to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw's got Bruno. Cross to Bruno Fernandez. Heads it. And Mendy somehow makes that save. Bruno's on the floor. Oh, man. Okay, Luke Shaw. We need to get something on these corners. Oh, man. That's just right to Mendy, though. We're just not a threat from corners at all right now. Oh, man. Three minutes added on. We need to make a tackle here. Luke Shaw can't fight Kai Havertz for that. Cross in. Varane gets it. Get the ball forward. We might have a chance here. Oh, ref blows the whistle. We can't even get another attack going. Oh, man. First three games, two home losses. That one was so competitive, though. Like, I'm not sure they played that much better than us. It's just their two chances they took, pretty much. Jao Felix scored the winner. Man, this has been, like, not quite the start of the season we wanted. We've seen positives, but also a lot of negatives too which just proves that this job making manchester united the best team in the world again it's not going to be an easy one after that game tenog pulls us over and he says a lot of people are going to overreact over our start but this same thing happened last year and we turned things around after that so don't read too much into the media's reaction we're going to write this ship so later after that game we're leaving old trafford driving home and as we're driving we think like man we need to figure out some ideas to bring to eric ten Hag to try and turn this start around we can't help but be excited about our journey starting in english football so once again let me know in the comments what you think we should do with this team that is tactics transfers everything and next episode we'll get back to work okay our journey with manchester united has begun after being hired by eric ten Hag, i am now an assistant coach for manchester united and our first big blockbuster signing was neymar who so far has looked uh, pretty re-energized the transfer window closes in a few days though and we need to make two maybe three more signings otherwise this transfer window will be considered a failure so drop a like if you want to see more of this series and let's get back into it all right so we wake up bright and early because today is a huge day 
Monday, we have a meeting with Ten Hag and the coaching staff where we're going to decide on our final transfers for this window. So we eat some quick breakfast, but we're already running late. So we hop in our car and we're trying to rush to Old Trafford. We're not trying to be late in our first month on the job. Now, thankfully, we're not late. And we hand Eric Ten Hag our transfer report, which includes our idea on players we should sign. That, of course, you guys help me fill out. And Ten Hag says, who do you like best on this list? And we said to Ten Hag, considering our budget, these are the three players I like. First player is going to be the Juventus midfielder, Adrian Rabio. Now, United tried to sign him last year. And with his contract running out, he's going to be extremely cheap. And a very good option is a backup mid. Now, this second player is going to be a replacement. I'm recommending that we sell Harry Maguire and replace him with Kim Min Jae from Napoli. 25 years old, he just had a breakout season with Napoli winning the Serie A. I feel like he's a much bigger upgrade over Harry Maguire. And the final player is the most high profile player. It's going to be Mason Mount from Chelsea. Simply put, he's a player that can play in so many positions. Cam, right wing, center, mid. He's just an extremely good squad player to have. Now, is he a regular starter? I'm not entirely sure. He could be, but he also could be like our first option off the bench. And Ten Hag says he likes these ideas. He thinks these players fit well in his system. So he's going to pass it forward and see what he can do. So first, attempted signing is going to be Rabio. I mean, he's better than Fred. He's better than McTominay. So it does make a lot of sense. And I feel like he's not going to be that expensive because his contract is out in, I think, seven months or eight months. So 19.5 and they accept that. I mean, 19 move for Rabio, that's a pretty good deal. He's only 27 years old too. And just like that, Adrian Rabio has been signed up. Our Napoli accepted 23.5 for Kim J. Once again, that's a steal. So that's pretty much does mean Harry Maguire is on his way out. But I think, unfortunately, it was just time. Kim Min Jae has also been signed up. Now, the big one is going to be Mason Mount. 42.5 and... Chelsea accept that. Now, these negotiations have gone very, very smoothly. Now, Mason Mount does accept a rotation role, so that is interesting. And contract signed up, so Mason Mount, Kim Min Jae, and Asian Rabio all brought in, including with Neymar. I would say that's a pretty good transfer window for us. So, there's a quick look at our new signings, all wearing their new kits. And also, we were able to sell her Maguire. He's actually gone to Newcastle United. So, Maguire, uh, I'll see you later. And that is the transfer window now shut. So, that is how the team looks after our first transfer window. Okay, first comment, convert Bruno in a center mid, play Neymar at Cam, and then start Rashford at left wing. Yeah, so a lot of you guys suggested this. My only thing is, I don't know if Bruno can play that box-to-box -box role. Like, there's a reason in real life why Tenag prefers Ericsson and Casemiro as a midfield pairing. Still, though, I think we could try it. I think we could try Bruno, center mid, Neymar, Cam, and then Garnacho left wing, maybe. We're probably gonna try that at some point. Next one, focus on trying to sign or scout some Dutch youngsters. So, yeah, we are trying to make some more realistic signs for the series for the most part. So, if players like that are linked, then I have no problem going after them. And last, when you sign some targets like Harry Kane and Gonzalo Ramos. Yeah, so I think still Kane, Osman, and probably Ramos, and uh, probably Kolo Mwani. Those are our targets for the future, I think. Now, we signed Neymar in this window, so I didn't feel like we actually needed a striker. We're going to go with Rashford as striker for this season, or at least the first half of the season, and then we'll assess if we need to make a huge signing like Kane, Osman, or Ramos. But our plan is pretty much, since we signed Neymar, we don't need to sign a player like that yet, but only yet. A lot of you guys also said that you want to see Juan Misaka play more, so we'll give him a chance to play in this episode for sure. So the Champions League group stage is about to start, which is going to be huge for us, but first, we got a game against Newcastle away. Now, our first three games were two losses and a win, which was not the best start. Like, we need to turn this around quickly. And before this game, in Eric Ten Hag's press conference, he says it's true we haven't had the best start, but once our new signings get settled in, he thinks then the results will start coming. All right, so Tenog is inserted Mason Mount over Anthony for this game. Also, Harry Maguire starts for Newcastle. Let's see how we do in our first game after making these new signings. Okay, if we lose this game, the alarm bells are going to be very, very loud around Old Trafford. So this is really pretty much a must win game. Mason Mount on right wing, we'll see how we do. All right, Dallo right into Mason Mount. Mason Mount tracks it back to. Bruno Fernandez, his shot was blocked by Rashford, I think. Boys, what are we doing? All right, Mason Mount has got space to run into. Maybe not that much. Oh, man, he was just almost fouled there. Mason Mount turns that tackle, goes for a shot on his debut. Mason Mount, what a goal. Okay, skips a tackle, then pulls that out the bag. Mason Mount, welcome to Manchester United. I was not expecting that. He got, he pretty much got fouled there. He just, he just runs it off, though. 24.7 meters out, and that is just perfect. Okay, 1-0 to Manchester United. Welcome. Talking about your first goal for the club. Oh, we gotta start putting wins together. I feel like this game, we have started this one off very well. That's gonna pass into Alexander Isak, and De Gea saves the near post. Thank you. It was actually offside, but still De Gea. That's Solid save. Dallo, that's almost a good ball to Rashford. Almost. Mason Mount's looking very threatening on that right wing spot, though. Very threatening. Now, this attack also looks very threatening. Sandra Martinez tries to stop Isak. Now, Drillington is just pretty much saying they're trying to wait for a movement. He finds St. Maximin. St. Maximin is going to try to track it back. Oh, this, this passing is so quick. De Gea, amazing save at his near post again. That shot had a lot of pace on it. Now, Bruno Fernandez leading the counterattack. Bruno is going to lay it off. Lays it off to... Neymar and Neymar is going to score and it's 2 0. Okay, talk about just a well executed counter attack. Oh man, all oh, they're doing it. Hey man, this is our best start to a game so far in the series. 2 0. Let's just keep it up. Neymar dinks it up to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, good touch. Gets it back to Neymar. Neymar's got crossing options, I think. We're going to cross it over. It's going to be 
Is that Bruno? That's Bruno Fernandez, and it's 3-0. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've scored three goals in, I think, less than 30 minutes. What a cross by Neymar, too. Okay, we are coming to life all of a sudden. Bruno, great header. We are stunning Newcastle right now. 28th minute, it is 3-0. All right, now we got this lead. Let's try and slow the game down a little bit. Keep possession. Mason Mount over to Dallow. Our attack. This is why you don't sign here, McGuire. Their defense looks so bad. Bruno Fernandez out to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw's going to get a touch. Get it to Neymar. Neymar gets it back to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw into... Marcus Rashford, good save by Nick Pope. Neymar, long distance shot. That's going to be blocked. And it might fall to Rashford. Might not. He actually does get to it. His shot is going to be right at uh, Maguire, though. All right, Almiron. That's a good pass. And Isak. Isak is going to try to shoot early. De Gea makes a great save again. Okay, Sam Maximum behind. This is not good. He's going to try to track it back to Isak. I think he is. Varane, that is expert defending from Rafael Varane, though. Now we should clear that. Lissana Martinez clears it. And that should be the first half. And it is. Okay, 3 0. Man, that is our best first half of the season so far. Dallow through Mason Mount. Mason is having quite a good debut into Rashford. Rashford Rashford turns. Rashford crossover to Neymar. Neymar not going to get that. Maguire clears it. This first good thing he's done today. All right, Sam Maximin. It's a good ball out to Almiron. The man is a dangerous, dangerous player. Luke Shaw tries to get something on that. Martinez is going to block, though. Man, defense has been very solid today. Christian Eriksen going to switch the play out to Mason Mount. Mason got Dallow. Dallow options to cross it into. Dallow crossover to someone. It's going to be Neymar. Neymar almost got that. Mason Mount. Tries to head it to someone. It goes back to Pope, though. Rashford into Bruno Fernandez. Should be number four. And Bruno puts it wide. Bruno, you got to score that. Oh, left foot. He just sliced it. All right, three subs. We got Arnach coming on. We got Martial and also uh, Rabio for his debut as well. Rabio first touch. Welcome to United. I'm not sure you're going to get the same goal as like Mason Mount, but we'll see. Garnacho. Cross in. That's a great cross. Mason Mount is there. Oh, the volley and Pope saved it. Man, we got to be happy though what we're seeing. This team is playing so good today. Just dominating pretty much. A very good team in Newcastle. Martial gets it over to... Lissandro Martinez goes for something special. It's going to be blocked, though. Grab you out to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, get it out wide. Into Garnacho. Garnacho gets it over to Dallo. Dallo gets it into Martial. Oh, man, we almost had a shot there. Neymar switches it out to Dallo. Dallo first touch into Mason Mount. Mason Mount into Anthony Martial shot. And that is going to be 4 0. We have just cut Newcastle apart in this game. Man, this is how good we can play it right here. We now know. This is the standard we should set for ourselves. Now, I would like a clean sheet. So if we can keep it, that'd be very nice. Although, Sam Maxman's doing all these moves. Okay, we might keep it actually. All right, Wambi Saka, Anthony coming on. Mason Mount. What a debut for this team. Wambi Saka up to Martial. Martial gets it over to Neymar. Neymar's gonna shoot. I should have tried to chip the keeper. That was a golden chance to chip. Bruno, that is a very tall cross, and Nick Pope comes all the way out for it. Of course he does. Martial, dink up. Is that Rabio? That is Rabio. Rabio, the first touch is horrendous, but he actually almost scored too. No, clean sheet, please. Clean sheet. I want this clean sheet. It's gonna be Isak. Isak, what are you doing with it? No. Thankfully, ref blows the whistle. We keep our clean sheet. Man, 4 0. What a commanding performance by this team. Defense, midfield attack. Everyone played so great. Best win of the series so far. I mean, by far. All right, so after four games, we sit down in eighth place still. It feels like we're on the up and up, though, after that win. Now, next up is our first Champions League match. And our group is Inter, Salzburg, and Celtic. I mean, that doesn't seem too tough, but you just never know. Our first game is in Italy against Inter Milan. Now, we're going to be playing at one of the most legendary stadiums in world football. And this is our biggest test yet as a team. And before the game, the dressing room, Tenog is trying to get the players ready. He's trying to get them pumped up, but there are some nervous faces in this dressing room right now. Now, because of his experience in Serie A, we're going to give Kim Min Jae the start this game alongside Varane. So, we get his debut and i think once again mason mount for anthony we got to do that so that is our lineup facing a formidable inter milan team i'm not sure how this one's gonna go more importantly though united are back in the champions league so that's great but we can't just be back in the champions league. we got to be competitive in the champions league so first game we got to set the tone inter versus manchester united we'll see how we do all right immediately varan got hurt off a weird tackle so that's not good we do know he's uh pretty injury prone i'm hoping he runs it off but I don't know with Varan. Give me and Jay first touch for United. Uh, welcome to the club. All right, Luke Shaw down to Bruno in the middle. Get it to Erickson. Erickson might have Neymar. He does. Neymar is in. Does he have something? He's going to try to stop. He's going to try to do a fake shot. Go for the shot. Okay, that was a little bit awkward. I had no idea what to do there. That's a great ball into Edin Dzeko. He's going to try to square it. Okay, Varan is not hurt, and he just made a goal-saving uh, decision right there. It's not a good sign, though, that they had a chance. That free. That's a shot. Varan blocks that. Dzeko shot. That is blocked by Kim Min Jay. This is going to be another shot by Chalunolu. That is through the legs of, I think, both my defenders. And this time, Edin Dzeko does not hesitate. He scores. Man, they're cutting us apart pretty early on. This pass right here to go between the legs of... Uh, okay, maybe it wasn't between the legs. It was to the left of Kim Min Jae. Yeah, that's rough. Okay, 1-0 down, but at least uh, Varane is not hurt. He's good to go. We are down a goal, though, now. Erickson, Erickson just sent that defender flying. Bruno, that first touch was incredibly heavy. I didn't mean to do that. All right, Luke Shaw into Neymar. Neymar gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, great turn. Bruno... Finds space for the shot. Onana makes an amazing save, though. We score one. We're right back in the game. And Onana comes all the way out for that corner. Neymar 
Tries to play it back to someone, plays it all the way back though. Dallow into Neymar, Neymar gets it over to Luke Shaw. Now he's not going to cross on his right foot. He's on his left foot and that's going to be a throw in. All right, Mason gets it back to Erickson, Erickson into Bruno, Bruno turns. Bruno chance to shoot again. That one was not good from Bruno Fernandez. Man, they are finding a lot of space on our defensive line. De Gea could save though. Yeah, Jeco Martinez up top. They are causing us a lot of issues. Now they're bringing this right back in. Shot De Gea, another save. That is going to be out. No, it's not. Erickson off the line. And then second clearance by Dallow. Okay, Inter are making our defense look very bad. Erickson, Erickson, Erickson on Chalanolu. Can't get that. That goes all the way over to Lautaro Martinez into Gozen. We are getting... We are just under so much pressure right now. I mean, this is a team that was in the Champions League final a year ago, so we knew this was going to be extremely, extremely tough, and so far it's proven to be. De Gea will catch that shot, though. Man, Kim Min Jae against Barella. Barella gets it over. Octavio is going to try to drag it back. Luke Shaw, great defending once again. Neymar up to Rashford. Rashford not going to win that, man. Martak feels a little bit disconnected right now. Honestly, the whole team does. Oh, somehow that gets through. De Gea makes another save. De Gea has been very busy this first half. Oh, man. Eden Dzeko's in. I think he's going to try to pass it back again. I think he is. He goes for the shot. De Gea saves it. Bro, they've had, I don't know how many shots in the first half. We are lucky to only concede one. But I believe that's the first half. Yeah, it is. Okay. That was kind of rough. But we still have time to turn this around. And they also have time to seal this game. De Gea is in a catch. That header. Casemiro through Mason Mount. Mason and Dallo just literally ran into each other. If that doesn't show how disconnected we are, I don't know what does. Casemiro into Bruno Fernandez. Bruno gets it over to Erickson. Erickson is going to try to find Neymar. Just can't find him. Octavio is good defending. They're like 3-5-2 is giving us a lot of issues, both defensively and offensively. And that's going to pass through. Varane needs to make a tackle. Okay, Varane, that might be the worst slide tackle I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if that's because of the injury that it wasn't clean, but I was so sure he was going to tackle it away from Chalonolu. Instead, it's 2-0. Oh, man, I was so confident here. Varane, he just... Okay, wait, Varane literally got a touch on it. Varane gets a touch on it, and it actually sends it to Chalonolu's right foot. Oh, man, Varane, if he was 100%, he makes that tackle, but I guess he's not. 54th minute, we are down 2-0. Erickson, we need a quick response. Oh, man, Rashford was in there. Oh my. Kim and Jay just got hurt after that tackle by Eden Dzeko. Bro, this is going bad to worse. Martinez on for Kim and Jay, I guess. This is not good. He, that was a bad injury right there, I think. Our new signing from Napoli may have just got hurt very badly. This has not been a good day for Manchester United so far. Erickson, that's a good ball to Neymar. Neymar is just held up there. Neymar steals it, though. Neymar tries to cut inside. Neymar, what a run. Oh, man, what a save by Onana. All right, Luke Shaw, we need a good corner here. That's a good one. Neymar, Neymar is there for it, but it's right at Onana again. Bruno Fernandez, through to Neymar. Neymar is trying to get us back in the game. Goes for a shot. Bruno, rebound. And Bruno sends the rebound over the net. Okay, we're going to do Garnacho for Mount and then Sancho for Rashford. I'm going to put Neymar up top at striker. So Neymar seems like the one who's probably the, the most willing to get us back in this game. So he's now up top. Man, it might not be for much because Lautaro Martinez shot De Gea. That's a good save. We got 20 minutes. That's enough time to get back in this game. At least take a, get a draw at least. Oh, we got to score like right now. I mean, can't score if we don't have the ball. And right now we just literally... Don't have the ball. Barely a chance. De Gea is making some insane saves, though. Giving us a slight chance, at least. So Kaku might end this game with a goal here. He might end it. That's a shot. De Gea, good save. Rebound. The rebound from Chalonolu goes in. That's 3-0. That might be the nail in our coffin. Man, Inter has been the better team today, like, by far. There's no question about it. Oh, man. Lukaku's in. They might make it worse. They might make it worse. Lukaku tries to go for a shot, but that was terrible, actually. I and mean, once again, they're showing why they're a seasoned Champions League team. They just made the final last year, and why we... Have barely got back into the Champions League. Okay, Neymar. Great ball to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, we got maybe a sure goal at the far post. He's going to slide to Jaden Sancho. Sancho scores at least. All right, Sancho doesn't want to grab the ball. But you know what? That's something to celebrate at least. I thought that was going to be uh, intercepted, but barely slipped through. I mean, all that's going to do is make this scoreline look like it was more competitive than it actually was. Because we just got slapped by Inter. It's that simple. And that right there is full time. Man, our first big test in Europe. And we got absolutely smacked. We still got a lot of work to do in this team. A lot of work. And unfortunately, Kim Min Jae is going to be out for three months with a broken collarbone. All right, so much for our new uh, new center back signing. So Kim Min Jae out and Lindelof in for now. And we're probably going to have to play someone like Mengi as fourth choice until Kim Min Jae is back. Okay, we're back home for a little bit. Trying to relax. Trying not to think about football. And we also made some friends in our apartment building. So they're over hanging out. Man, we really need to like renovate this place because this place is not looking good right now. Feels a little cramped if you ask me. So I think we're going to really remodel this place in the next episode. But as we're hanging out, trying not to think about football, we get a call from Eric Ten Hag, of course. He says that we need to figure out the youth scouting soon. Which country to send our scouts to. So we gotta get on that. Now that loss for Inter Milan has kind of sent us on a mini run right here because we won our next four games. Drew against Everton, beat Bournemouth, and now we face Celtic away. And they're probably more of a threat than Salzburg. So this is a very important game to 
win. And also, we're going to try the Neymar, Bruno, and Casemiro midfield this game. So Garnacho starts at left wing. Now, right here, once again, it's a big game because if Celtic win or we win, basically, whatever team wins uh, kind of goes forward in the group a little bit. Builds some momentum against the other team. So this has got to be a win. We can't lose against Celtic, especially after losing Inter like that. All right, Garnacho getting to start this game. I want to see what we can do. Garnacho. Great ball. Oh, almost a great ball to Bruno. Neymar gets it over to Casemiro. Casemiro into Bruno. Actually goes to Rashford, then Bruno. Bruno, chance to shoot. Bruno shot. Rebound is going to be Garnacho, but he's offside. Oh, man. There was a reason why he was so close there. He's way offside. Unfortunate for Garnacho. Neymar to Marcus Rashford. Rashford waiting for some help. Finds help in Wannabe Saka. Wannabe Saka. Oh, Neymar, you got to get like a little bit more back there. Give Wannabe Saka a chance to play you in. Casemiro into Marcus Rashford. Rashford tries to find Anthony, but can't find him. Okay, our attack looks good, though. I feel like we look like the better team by far. We just got to actually execute on these attacks now. Neymar into Anthony. Anthony's got a chance for a finesse shot from distance. Oh, my. Okay. What is up with our right wingers scoring goals like this today? Anthony hasn't had the greatest start in this series, but what a goal. That's like the almost the same goal that Mason Mount scored. This time it's a finesse shot on his left foot. Man, they give him space. That's pretty much the same shot. 24 meters out. It was 24.7 with Mount, but oh man. Over the keeper, no chance, and it's 1-0. I like that start. We just can't let them score. Can't even let them have a chance in this game, which this is a good chance for them right when I say that. It's the good old Tyster Jinx to Haya. Good save. Man, don't let them score after we score a great goal and take command of the game. Don't let them score. Varane, good block, and get it out. Get it out. We do get it out. Neymar lays it off to Bruno. Bruno's got Rashford, I think. He does. Marcus, need a good first touch. Not the greatest first touch. Marcus, that is great. Dribbling, though. Rebound. Falls to Garnacho. Garnacho plays it into someone. Bruno. Oh, that trickles in somehow. Oh, man. Joe Hart can't get enough on that save. And Captain Bruno Fernandez makes it 2-0. Hey, man. Garnacho is very uh, good to get this rebound. He's very quick to it. Quick thinking. Plays into Bruno. Bruno, not the cleanest shot, but it's deflected. It's in. And this game is 2-0 to United. Rashford. Oh, man. That was supposed to go to Garnacho. Okay. That pass was terrible. That attack was just completely ruined. Martinez. Oh, no. He's in. That's going to be a good shot. Oh, man. What a shot. Is Kyogo, as I say his name? What a shot. It's 2-1. This is what we couldn't do. To the home team, can't give them life. It's just defense gets caught out, and it's a great shot. All right, 30th minute. This is uh, this is 2-1. We're not show good ball to Neymar. Neymar has got Anthony, I think. We're going to go all the way out to Juan Bisaka. In to Neymar. Neymar shot. Oh, Neymar just kind of scuffed that shot. He, like, sliced it. Don't let them tie this up. Oh, no. They're going to tie it up. De Gea, thank you. Man, Aaron Moy just missed a golden chance. I do not like the feel of this game right now. De Gea gets saved. Juan Bisaka doesn't get to it first. Now this chance is... Okay, Kyogo is just torching my back line right now. And it's 2-2. I thought we had him. I thought Varane was like shouldering up or squaring up against him. Oh, he just turns on his left foot. It's a great shot. This game is 2-2. This is what we can't do against the home team. We are showing our inexperience right now in the Champions League. Rashford and Neymar. Neymar through to Rashford. It was meant for Rashford. Swing it back around. Okay, Luke Shaw. That was uh, pretty nice. Neymar into Bruno. Bruno, good first touch. Get it back to someone who can shoot. Neymar. Get it back to Luke Shaw. Oh, man, I don't have any option here. I'm looking for something. Garnacho, great ball into Rashford. Rashford shoots, and it's going to go wide. Yeah, now we're just playing hesitant. All right, we got one chance for halftime. Wami Saka is making a great run. Now, he's got options in the box. We find a pass at the last second. We're going to go to Anthony. Anthony. Anthony finesse shot. Oh, Joe Hart. What a save. How do we not score that? Bruno Fernandez. That's a great corner. Rashford. Oh, man, he was there for that. It's going to be clear. Garnacho tries to get it back to someone, but the ref blows the whistle. This game should not be this close. Juan Bisaka up to Rashford. Rashford finds a Bruno. Bruno turns. Lays it off to Marcus. You know what? That was actually beautiful, but somehow Joe Hart makes that save. Oh, man. How is he doing it? That's a great corner. Rashford just literally missed that. And I think Martinez... Somehow handballed that. Neymar through to Marcus. Marcus, I need your pace. I need you to give us the lead. Marcus Rashford, that looked like a great shot. Man, I feel like they're going to take the lead. I feel like it. I feel like they're going to take this lead because their attack all of a sudden. After that first goal, it's just giving them life. And O'Reilly's going to score that. Where are my midfielders tracking the runners? 59th minute, this game is actually 3-2. I can't believe it. I don't know if this is proof that a Bruno Casemiro midfield doesn't work. I don't know. This game started off so well, but now it's so bad. Boys, we need to try and turn this around like right now. Anthony's got a pass back to Neymar, Neymar, gonna stop. Get it to Marcus Rashford. Don't like any of these shots. Neymar, dink it up to Rashford. You know what? That was a great idea. Whoa, Rashford just like went for a, a diving header or something. Then someone was offside. Neymar, oh man, Garnacho was so in there. Rashford through to Neymar. Neymar gets it over to Bruno. Bruno into Garnacho. 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 He needs to be running so much quicker there. That gave the defender so much room to track back. Is that gonna be a red? Okay, yellow for Martinez. That was a very uh, rough tackle. All right, Neymar off. Uh, Bruno to Cam and then Mason Mount on for Garnacho. Anthony through to Rashford. Oh, Rashford, you gotta get a touch there. When they score that first goal, I knew it. When you give a team a home team life, like I always say, it literally feels 
like the momentum just shifts. This might get worse. This actually might get worse. De Gea, what a save. We got 12 minutes though. All right, Bruno, good run into Rashford. Rashford, get it over to Christian Eriksen. And this is 3-3. What a big goal by Christian Eriksen. We needed that so badly. Okay, 3-3. We got like 10 minutes left. Can we get a winner now? Because we need to win this game. We got nine minutes to be exact. All right, final two subs. Uh, Sancho on for Anthony and then Dallo on for Wambisaka. We need to clear this corner and then get forward. Okay, Erickson, Erickson, great steal. Oh man, how does Carter Ricker steal it back like that? Erickson gets a touch on that. This is not good. And then Varane will clean it up and we get this ball out. Rashford through to Casemiro. I don't know why he's bombing forward like that. Casemiro, I need you to stay back. Right, Mason, we got options here. Who do we pick? Mason goes to Marcus Rashford. Marcus, oh, we tried to turn before he received the ball. Oh man, I think they get the final chance now. Actually, they don't. Ref just blows the whistle. Okay, at least we didn't lose that game, but it's a draw. Still a horrible result. Like, how do we not win this game? Once again, show us our inexperience in the Champions League. We're just not that team yet. So in the Premier League, we're sitting in fifth place. We are, what, six points off uh, Man City in first. In Champions League, we are sitting in second place, tied with Celtics, so it's not all bad, but I mean, Inter are pulling away. That's bad. And our next game is going to be a huge one against Liverpool, one of our biggest rivals. Now, we were heading home. We decided to stop at a gas station. You know, getting some food, getting some snacks. Now, as we're checking out, we see a TV and we see Jurgen Klopp giving a press conference. And Klopp says that his team is a lot more re-energized this season. And he says they're back to playing their game that made them so successful. And obviously everyone remembers their big win against Manchester United last year. And he's looking to do the same thing in the next game. So we leave the gas station and we think, man, this next game is going to be so big. We've been so up and down this year so far. This feels like a very pivotal moment in our early part of our season. So there is the Liverpool lineup. They have Skriniar at center back. I'm going to use the same lineup that started that first game against Newcastle. And once again, this game is so big early on in our season now there's just so much inconsistency with this team right now that i don't know what to expect in this one so man united liverpool one of the biggest uh, derbies in england and we are kicked off my boys need to get start erickson it's gonna find bruno bruno okay he's taken out there that's gonna be an early foul hopefully bruno's not hurt yeah henderson just pretty much clipped him there now neymar steps up to this one although it's a bit far out so we definitely got to get some really good curl on this see what neymar can do that's a decent amount of power from the free kick spot it still needed more than that all right to hey that is a great pass to Dallo, leading straight into a counter attack mason mount tries to get it to rashford and that chance is just completely ruined oh that is embarrassing that we don't get a chance from that at least a shot away that is terrible came out of nowhere even caught me off guard now luke shaw's got rashford rashford gonna try and turn try to get a shot away that was uh that was gonna be a very tough shot Thiago crosses it in martinez good clearance okay this is liverpool playing back to their high speed football and they just hit the post okay we got lucky there neymar has got luke shaw luke shaw uh, maybe across to rashford we're gonna try it actually goes all the way to uh i think uh bruno actually erickson great ball to neymar neymar is gonna cut inside Neymar, finesse shot, could pass it, decides to shoot instead, probably should have passed it to Bruno. Hello to Bruno, gets over to Mason Mount, Mason Mount, chance to shoot, and Allison makes a great save. Okay, we are getting chances right now, though. Bruno cross, Allison stays home, it's gonna be cleared by Fabinho, I think. Yeah, this, this Liverpool team look like they are in form. Dallo blocks that cross, but it falls, okay, falls to Salah, and then... De Gea takes out Salah. Apparently, that's clean. This game is pure chaos right now. Bruno, pass up to Rashford. Rashford, good touch. Rashford going to try and dink. Allison, if we can. What a goal by Marcus Rashford. Oh, man. I didn't think that would work, but it actually works. Allison was so far to the right. I thought if Marcus can get this, this chip shot perfect, it might be a goal. The first touch was so awkward. Marcus, what a chip shot, though. Oh, man. Completely caught Allison off guard. That is a nice goal right there, though. All right. 33rd minute. 1-0 to Manchester United. There's no way that's the only goal in this game, though. There are going to be some goals in this one. Oh, this is so dangerous. They just hit the crossbar, and I think Martinez just literally blocked the rebound from going in, and somehow we survived that. Oh, man. Dallo, good block on the cross. Robbo, Robbo. Oh, man. How did Robbo get that over Dallo? I am not sure. Bro, this is just this is just chaos. Diaz gets it to Nunez, and De Gea makes another good save. This game is being played at such an incredibly fast pace. Clear it, please. Erickson, good clearance. Gets it over, though, and please, halftime. 1-0. Halftime, I want the score to be 1-0. Diago, Diallo, Diallo blocks it, Diallo wins it. Okay, we might be good. Man, what an insane first half. We're 1-0 up, though. If we can make this 2-0, that would be such a big blow to Liverpool after being so good in that first half but not scoring. Mason Mount gets it over to Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford, this is his game today. Okay, his first goal was like a very smart finish. This one was just powerful. I called for it and we got it. Man, Mason Mount lays it off. Marcus outside the box. That is just a powerful shot. Allison has no chance. This is 2 0. All right, still got a game left, but we have a very good scoreline right now. All right, the attack feels pretty good in the second half. Neymar's in. Neymar can make it three. Neymar is being hounded. Goes for the low driven finish and Neymar scores. And just like that, it is 3 0. Okay, Neymar did a flip there. 3 0, though, that is a big goal. Man, 3-0, that pretty much flatters us in the scoreline because this game has been much closer than that. The second half, we have come out firing right now. Again, though, this game is far from over. That is to Mohamed Salah. Salah stops, plays it. Luke Shaw, good block, but 
Darwin Nunez scores and it's going to be 3-1. I knew it. I knew they were going to score at some point. Okay, we can't let's get a hand though. We got to control this game. Actually stay in control of the game. Rashford's got Neymar on a run. Rashford dink up to Neymar. Neymar, good first touch. Oh man, he overhit that shot so much. Casemiro, why not go for a power shot? Casemiro, power shot. Oh, that looked very good. Erickson over to Neymar. Neymar's got a lot of space. Going to play in Bruno Fernandes, though. Bruno should make it 4-1, and Bruno makes it 4-1. Man, even with their new signing screenier, their defense has been cut apart today. That might settle Liverpool's fate. It might. All right, first sub, Garnacho on for Mason Mount. Erickson over to Luke Shaw. Our attack has just looked... Is it their defense or is it our attack? I'm not sure. Bruno scores. It's 5-1. It might be a combination of their defense and our attack also clicking so well in this game. Hey, this is like mini revenge for that win last year Liverpool got. Yeah, for some reason, Ericsson in the midfield and Bruno at cam, it suits this team so much better. Oh man, Garnacho, chance to make it six. Garnacho scores and it's going to be 6-1. Liverpool absolutely having a nightmare at Old Trafford. Man, we are just so inconsistent to start the series. Can't beat Celtic. We lose against Inter like horribly. And then we beat Liverpool. 6-1. Don't let him score again. Okay, that's a great block. And De Gea saves it. Man, it's been an absolutely insane game, but it's going to be such a big win. Like, statement setting for the first half of our season. Crazy thing is, Liverpool have actually had a really good start to this season. They're in second place, I think. Oh, man, they're trying to get one more back. Martinez steals it, though. Man, today was just not Liverpool's day. We beat them 6-1, and we just smacked them. The attack looks so good in this game. Eric Tenag gets a better at Klopp this time. Statement setter for the first half of our season. So after nine games, we sit in third place. I mean, that top of the table is pretty realistic. And once again, Champions League, we need to break away from Celtic, but so far, it's not that bad. Now, next episode, we're gonna do our first run of youth scouting. So let me know in the comments where we should send our three scouts to. Manchester United are on the rise. With new signings like Neymar and Mason Mount, this team is starting to show glimpses of what we truly can be. We currently sit third in the Premier League, and we just had a commanding win against Liverpool 6-1. But still, this journey of making Manchester United the best team in the world again just barely started. We got some very big games ahead of us in this episode, and we also have a very special player that'll be joining us today as well. So drop a like if you want to see more of this series, and let's get back into it. Okay, we're at home on our computer doing a little bit of work. So a little bit ago, we sent out our youth scouts finally, and we sent them to Brazil, Romania, and also Portugal. And we're looking at these scouting reports, and we may have found a very special player and we need to show Ten Hag. So we meet with him in his office and we say our scouts in Portugal have found us someone. But instead of telling you, let me show you. His name is Miguel Ramirez. He plays for Sporting in Portugal. And we show Ten Hag a video of his highlights, you know, scoring goals, assisting, doing everything, skill moves, everything this kid can do. He looks like it could be the next big thing. And he's only 18 years old. Now Sporting are about to call him up to their first team. But we tell Ten Hag that he has said that he'd rather join us, making the move to a bigger club. And all we need is Ten Hag to say yes, give him the green light. And Ten Hag says he looks like he has potential. So you have my green light, sign him up. And then soon after, Fabrizio Romano reports that Manchester United have signed one of the most promising youngsters in Portugal. They're calling Miguel Ramirez the next Cristiano Ronaldo. So he's flying in from Portugal. We got to pick him up at the airport. We volunteered to do this, you know, give him a warm welcome to Manchester. So we pull up and wait for him. And finally, we see Miguel Ramirez walking up to the car and we say, Miguel, welcome to Manchester. We are so happy to have you here. And he says, thank you, coach. I appreciate you being here to pick me up. So on the way to his new apartment, we're trying to strike up a little conversation. And we say, so they're calling you the next Ronaldo. That's got to feel good, right? And Miguel kind of paused for a second, doesn't say anything. And he says that he actually hates being called that. He says, don't get me wrong, I love Ronaldo, but I don't want to be the next Ronaldo. I want to be the first Miguel Ramirez. And we say, hey, I respect that. And we tell him, you'll be playing for the academy team for now, the under 21 team, but play good and you'll get a chance to be called up to the first team. All right, first comment today, you should attach ownership in storylines. Yeah, so United's ownership changing in real life is a huge story, like the Glazers selling the club. I do plan for that to be a storyline in this series at some point. That's all I'll say for now. You should convert Sancho to right wing since he's playing well in that position IRL. Yeah, so I've made Sancho now a right winger and I've also made uh, Rashford now a striker. So I fixed uh, those positions. And then Mason Mount, he actually goes down like minus two to a center mid. So I might keep him at cam for now just to have his overall a little bit higher. And last time for tactical flexibility, you can alternate formations and play a 4-3-3 with two number eights. Yeah, I like this idea a lot because in a 4-3-3, it kind of does suit the players a little bit more. My worry is that we might be a little bit more defensively caught out because Casemiro is by himself in that CDM spot, but this would allow us to better fit Mason Mount and Bruno in the midfield together. So I think I want to give this a shot. And I think we'll try that in our next game against Arsenal at home. Now, this prem table is looking very realistic, other than Chelsea, I think. But Arsenal, one point above us, they've had a very good start. So, this one could be a bit tough. Now, unfortunately, Luke Shaw has a dislocated shoulder in training, so he's going to be out for six weeks. So, we're going to need Molassia to step up. He hasn't played much so far, so this is his chance to prove himself. So, we're going to go with that lineup today, trying out the 4 3 3. And funny enough, Arsenal are also using the same exact formation. All right, so far this year, we have been very inconsistent. We beat Liverpool 6 1, but then we draw against teams like Celtic, lose to Inter Milan. So, right now, I just don't know what to expect from this team. But Sancho starts over Anthony, and uh, we face an Arsenal team that is. 
is obviously very much improved over the last few years. Now, Saka, that's into Jorginho already. Looking very dangerous. Martinez, though, great defending. And that's a very interesting pass out, but I like it. It does the job good enough. All right, Martinelli in a very dangerous spot. He is just running past Dowell. He's not even there. Dowell recovered very well, though. Arsenal look like they're up to play today. They're running uh, They're running their offense very fast. Lots of uh, fluid passing, and that's another dangerous spot. We keep letting them get in these spots. They're going to score eventually. Gabriel Jesus scores, and it's 1-0 to Arsenal. They have started this game off so much better than us. It feels like we barely had a chance to attack. All right, not the story we wanted. 10 minutes in, 1-0 down. We're going to try and recover from this now. Erickson goes for a shot himself, and Ramsdale's going to save that. Neymar into Bruno Fernandez. Bruno tries to lay it off to Neymar. He does. Neymar, shot. That was a... Uh, that was well blocked. All right, we're starting to wake up a little bit at least. Erickson over to Neymar. Neymar. Malassia gets it over to Erickson. Erickson into Marcus Rashford. Turns. Shot by Rashford. And it goes just wide. Oh, come on. We got to score that. Marcus, you got to put that in. You got to at least put it on target. You got to test Ramsdale. Man, Dallow's having a tough time. Martinelli. A very tough time. Varane did so well there, though. All right, this is exactly how they scored the first time. Literally. The same thing. Bruno blocks it and Dalo will collect it and we'll get it out. Sancho to Bruno. Bruno's got Marcus Rashford. That needs to be a good touch. It is. Marcus gets it back to Sancho into Erickson. What a good block. Sancho gets it back to Erickson. Second chance. Saliba's going to clear it. Oh, man. That was such a good chance. Rashford over Neymar. Neymar cuts inside. Neymar oh, trying to find Marcus. He collects it, though. His shot is going to be blocked. Okay, we're getting chances, but Arsenal's defense looking strong. All right, Malassia. Great steal from Saka, I believe. Now, Rashford finds Christian Erickson. Erickson's in a shoot. I should have passed it to Bruno. I thought it'd be intercepted. Erickson anymore. We look like the better team in the last, like, what, 20 minutes? Malassia, chance to cross it into Marcus Rashford. Marcus tries to head it back to someone. That was very rough. Oh, man, our defense is so caught out here. Jesus, Casemiro blocks it. Okay, and we also clears it. Malassia has proven to have a very good game so far. Now, can he get a good cross? We got more options this time. Rashford, and that's in the back of the net. We've actually scored from a cross. Okay. Malassia, that cross was beautiful. And Rashford scores, and this game's 1-1. Man, I literally said as I crossed him, Malassia's playing good. He is playing good. And then Rashford, he just got to it first. Ever since they scored, we've been by far the better team, I think. So we just need to keep this up. Now, the problem is Dallo is struggling with Martinelli so much today. Like, I mean, a lot. I might have to bring on Wami Saka at halftime because I feel like Martinelli is causing a lot of issues on this left side. Dallo can't get Martinelli there. Dallo, come on. Show me you're defending. Show me what you can do. Show me what you can do. That's not great. That's not great. Varane just clears it and we survive. And that is halftime. All right, halftime. Wanna be sock on for Dallo. Um, Dallo, I'm sorry. I had to do it. I need like a better defensive right back right now. But so far after after they scored, it's been actually a decent game. Okay, Erickson in. That was supposed to go to Rashford. Jaden Sancho shoots. Good shot. Rams no good save though. Christian Erickson's got Neymar. He's got space. Neymar. Plays it to Marcus. Marcus gets it to Bruno. Should have got it to Bruno. Oh, man. That was such a good chance. Okay. Martinelli is just so quick. Juan Bisaka. That's what I brought you on for. That is a great defensive play. Bruno to Rashford. Rashford needs Sancho. Sancho's making a great run. Sancho. Back to Rashford. Get it back to Sancho. Get in Sancho. Chance to shoot. Ramsdale. Oh, makes an amazing save again. Bruno needed a good corner. Oh, Ramsdale's come out all the way out for that. Ramsdale, stay in your goal. I hate when they do that. This is not good. Martinez. Okay, we got like, it's six on one right now. We can't let him score off this, please. Martinez, thank you. Bruno Fernandez has got Neymar, I think. He might have, and we're going to try it. Long ball to Neymar. Neymar is not going to quite get it. Oh, he actually steals it. Rashford. Oh, no, that was supposed to go to Erickson. There was a chance there, at least a small chance. Oh, man, this is dangerous. This is so dangerous. De Gea, great save. All right, Erickson's played well, but he is tired, so I'm going to do Mason Mount for Erickson. All right, Saka is being allowed to just dribble inside our box, and we got five players there that no one can clear the ball. I thought there was no chance Jesus would actually get to that. Bro, Saka shields it, turns, and then we got so many players there, and we just can't mark Jesus. Oh, that is literally horrible defending. 20 minutes, we are now down 2-1. That's like their first real good attack since they scored. Neymar to Malassia. We need a response here, boys. Malassia. Rashford. Rashford to Bruno. I tried that again. Goes over to Neymar. Neymar cuts inside. Goes for a shot. That's going to be blocked. Oh, man. We are not executing on these attacks at all right now. There's been two chances I got today where I messed up both, and I feel like that's maybe the difference in this game right now. Because those should be clear chances of, like, Rashford into Bruno. Or maybe even Rashford just shooting. But because we missed those, that might be the game. Okay, we still have a chance. They hit the crossbar, though. Oh, man. They're trying to seal this. They're trying to seal it. Granite Chaka is going to try to drag it back. Varane. Great defending, though. Bruno. Through to Marcus Rashford. Marcus, I need something. Marcus, he's got to cut inside. Play it to the middle. Oh, Saliba, it's great defending. We had no chance there. All right, time is running out very fast here. Rashford through to Jaden Sancho. We're getting chances. We're just not executing. Sancho in the box. Sancho is going to try to drag it back to Mason Mount. It's just great defending by Arsenal, though. Also, this ball has not gone out, so I can make subs. So it's also bad. Neymar to Malassia. Malassia up to Rashford. That is just, it's so predictable. Of course, they're going to steal it. We got subs on, but I think this game is done. I think we have time. Man, we should not have lost this game. This should have been either a win or a draw. We played good enough to get a draw, but those two chances we messed up, it was like 
like the difference in the game. We score that and then we go on to win the game. Instead, we ruin them and Arsenal get the 2-1 win at Old Trafford. That is a very unfortunate result. But once again, it shows we're far away from being the best team in the world. If we can't win these kind of games, we feel like we're the better team and we still don't win. All right, after the game, Tenog is given a little press conference, a little interview, and he says that he feels like we played good enough to get the win today, but our attack just did not execute well enough. So credit to Arsenal. It's a big win for them today, but we need to be so much better than that. Okay, we're in the middle of a bit of an injury crisis right now. Luke Shaw is still three weeks away from returning and Christian Eriksen's out for eight days with a sprained ankle. And now Martial has a pulled calf in training. He's out for six weeks. So yeah, this is pretty much actually an injury crisis. With Martial out injured, I think I have an idea. So we have another meeting with Eric Ten Hag and we tell him considering Martial's injury, he's not going to be back until January. What if we call up Miguel Ramirez in his place until he comes back? And Ten Hag says, do you think Miguel is actually ready? And we show him some clips of him scoring for the under 21 team, the Academy Manchester United team. And looking at these highlights, I mean, he looks like he's on his way to being ready. Now against the first two opponents, it might go a little bit differently than this, but he's pretty much dominating the Academy teams. So we say, I think Miguel is ready. And Ten Hag says, okay, I'm trusting you on this. Let's call him up. So we call Miguel. We tell him that you're being called up for our next game against Inter Milan, that you might get a chance to show what you can do. And Miguel says that he's ready. And he also thanks us for the opportunity. So yeah, next game is Inter Milan. Now we were able to beat Celtic on the reverse home match 3-1. So if we beat Inter here, we'd have a chance to catch them. Maybe on the final match day to finish first in the group, maybe. So with Martial out, Ramirez goes on the bench. By the way, let's look at Ramirez's stats. So 18 years old striker, 71 overall. He's got good pace and good dribbling. So I mean, hey, he looks like a very solid player. I think he deserves a chance at least to show what he can do. So he's on the bench. Doesn't guarantee that he'll play, but he is on the bench. And oh man, Miguel Ramirez looks a little nervous in the dressing room. I can't lie. It's a big moment for the 18 year old. Now I think actually I'm going to go Rabio this game over Mount because I think I need a more defensive presence in the midfield against Inter. So we're going to do that. Now Inter slapped us last time around. So this time we want our revenge at Old Trafford. I think, of course, Inter are the more developed team, the more like in tune team. We're going to show them we're climbing towards that level. Because last game we played them, we did not show that at all. They look like by far the better team. Neymar, good ball, Rabio. Rabio gets it back to Neymar. Palacia tries to get it to Casemiro. That was a, that was a tough pass to make. Casemiro, great ball to Rabio. Rabio gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Could be the first goal of the game. Neymar rebound. Oh, it's going to be cleared. Man, that was a good chance. Rabio, good touch. Oh, Rashford's still in there, but I think he was offside at the last second. Ed and Jekko, that's a great ball to Lautar Martinez. De Gea. That might be the save of the season so far. Oh my. Bruno, long ball to Anthony. Anthony's in. Anthony, cut inside maybe. Anthony gets it back to Bruno. Over to Rabio. Actually goes to Rashford. I tried to get it to Rabio there and it went to Neymar. That is not what I wanted to do. Man, they're cutting our defense apart. De Gea, good save from Martinez again. That is a cross in. Rashford gets it out. Dallow, please win that Dallow. Great win. Bruno. Oh, Bruno's first touch was so heavy. DeMarco made such a good defensive play. That's a good tackle, but it falls right back to DeMarco. Man, we just look like we're out of our depth here a little bit. I feel like we're not too far in terms of players, but in terms of uh, the playing, the team playing together, they are the better team right now. This game might be 2-0 if not for De Gea. Oh, man, they might, they might go 1-0. That's going to be a shot by Chalunolu, and it's 1-0. Man, Chalunolu scored like three goals against us in two games. I mean, De Gea's already made three insane saves. We can't ask him to keep making saves. We got to help him out. Here at Anthony, we got crossing options. Anthony, crossover to Neymar. Neymar is not going to get that. Rabio can win that. Rabio just got literally clotheslined. Oh, man, this might get worse. Ed and Dzeko. Okay, Varane. That's such, such good defending, though. Bruno's got space. Bruno tries to get up to Rashford. Oh, Rashford gets a touch on it, but can't get a shot away. Lassie into Neymar. Neymar gets it back to Rabio. Over to Casemiro. His shot is blocked by De Vrij. All right, De Gea, please. De Gea, please. De Gea. That is good goalkeeping. I got a little bit nervous there. Dallo to Anthony. We got space here. We just can't exploit it. Anthony drives forward. Anthony. He has a pass down the middle. Oh, okay, we just missed a pass there. Rabio, Casemiro into Bruno. Bruno tries to get it back. Oh, our attack just looks so terrible right now. Rabio to Malasia. Malasia, I see a far post cross to someone. That is not where I wanted that cross to go to. Rashford through to Malasia. Malasia, we're going to try to go for a shot near post, but Onana catches it. I'm not sure our attack looks better with this formation. I feel like Bruno is not really getting into the attack. We're going to go back to the 4 3 1 for the second half, see if uh, that changes anything, because I don't know. We're just having a lot of trouble finding space. Bruno lays it off to Rabio. Rabio's got a lot of space now. Rabio goes for a shot. Of course, it's blocked and it's just ping ponged back to Ed and Dzeko. Okay, Neymar down the middle. Oh, Bruno, why are you so slow there? Brozovic is so much quicker than like, Bruno wasn't even ready for that pass. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, Varane just saved that. I don't know why Martinez didn't clear that. He let it just bounce off him. We're looking very bad today. Or I should say tonight. Rabio over the top to Neymar. Oh, Rabio. He didn't even pass it. Malasia into Rabio. Rabio, he is taking out. That's going to be a free kick at least. All right, so who's taking this free kick? Neymar or Bruno? Neymar has better stats. It's got to be Neymar. All right, Neymar, this is pretty far out. We need a little bit of power on this. Neymar, can you get us back in this game with an amazing free kick? 
Oh, yes, he can. Neymar, what a goal. Okay, we needed a moment of magic, and Neymar has given us a moment of magic. I can't believe he scored that. That was pretty far out. This game is 1-1. Oh, man, Neymar, what a free kick. 22.5 meters out. That is just literally... It is perfection over Onana. That is perfection. All right, 60th minute. This is 1-1. Is that going to change the momentum in this game, Dallo? Dallo's going to find Anthony. Oh, man, that pass slowed us down so much. Rabio. Yeah, it's into Neymar. Neymar, chance to give us the lead. And Neymar has given Manchester United the lead. Okay, what a turnaround all by Neymar. Literally, in like five minutes, this game has flipped. I mean, that right there is what Neymar can do. He can change games. But okay, I, I think it's time. I'm going to put Marcus Rashford at right wing. And I'm going to bring on Miguel Ramirez at striker. So the 18-year-old from Sporting Portugal is going to get his debut. And I'll give him a few words there. Miguel Ramirez, what can you do? We're going to find out. Now, he's 5'11", so he's like a, he is a crossing target. Not the, not the tallest one, though. Bruno to Rabio. Rabio, good time. Touch. Rabio. Oh, Neymar, look how he was in there. That pass was so weak, though. Ramirez almost got to that. Wait, Ramirez is pressing. He almost won that ball, actually. Moran, great defending on Njeko. Rabio over to Malasia. Malasia into Ramirez. Ramirez gets it to Bruno. Bruno has a chance to make this 3 1, and Bruno Fernandez does. Okay, what a turnaround. Miguel Ramirez got the assist there, too, by the way. And our captain gives us a two goal lead. Ramirez, that's a great pass. I mean, it's a very simple one, but Bruno Fernandez, great finish. Man, this game is just flipped. Ten Hag is loving it. Man, this game was looking so bad for us. All of a sudden, it's just changed so much. All of a sudden, Inter look like a shell of themselves. Bruno to Rabio. Rabio. Gets it to Miguel Ramirez. Miguel Ramirez, good touch. Miguel Ramirez, chance to go for a shot. Oh, it goes over the net. Looking for his first goal on his debut. Oh, man, he went for the side foot. Man, that he was hounded there. It wasn't a bad attempt, though. All right, don't let them back in this game, though, Martinez. Oh, man, this is dangerous. Martinez, great tackle. Martinez on Martinez. Bruno Fernandez out to Rashford. I think the formation change has helped us a lot today. Rashford. Tries to get it to Miguel for his first goal. Oh, man, I should have shot Rashford. I thought that was genuinely the better chance. As much as I think the 4-3-3, like, looks better on paper, I feel like 4-3-1, it really lets Bruno play his game at that cam spot, which is the reason maybe we've made this comeback. Oh, no. Check out, please. Please. Don't let them score and get back in the game, please. DeMarco, block. Oh, no, it's going to fall. De Gea. Great save. Jeez. All right, subs on. Neymar's coming off for Garnacho. Neymar, take a bow. He's the reason we came back in this game. That free kick literally started everything. Okay, it's 87 minutes. They got Onana up here. Why is Onana up? I am not sure. If we could clear this and run, we have an open goal, but I don't think we're actually going to get a possession of the ball. Wait. Oh, we don't. We could have had a free goal there. Okay, that's a shot. Varane, good block. And we... Whoa! 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 Wait! Wait, what, the, what just happened? Wait. That might be the craziest thing I've ever seen ever in FIFA. Martinez goes, is it going to show it? Bro, Martinez literally just went flying in the air and spinning. In all my time playing FIFA, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this where Martinez just literally is spinning in the air. You can't even see him. And then he lands like he's like he's Superman. Bro, what has happened? Martinez, he's, he's just spinning in air and then... He just comes down. I've never seen that before. Okay, this game has gone a little bit weird. Ramirez through to Bruno. Ramirez might get another assist because Bruno's in. Bruno is going to make it 4-1 against Inter Milan. Oh, man, what a second half by this team. Ramirez has two assists on his debut. They're very simple passes, but they're the right passes. It shows he's smart, his IQ level. This game had so much in it, but you know what? 4-1. This might be our biggest win of the season, I think. I mean, arguably Liverpool was a little bit better, but against a team that's in the Champions League final last year, once again, we've shown what we're capable of. What a win by this team. And also, what a debut for Miguel Ramirez. Coming off the field, we talk to Ramirez, and we say, two assists, you had an amazing debut. Keep this up, and you'll get much more playing time. Ramirez says that went better than he thought it would, and that he just wants to keep this up now. So we follow that win with a 3-1 win against Nightmare Forest, and then a 3-0 win against Burnley. So we're racking up these wins, but we still find ourselves in fifth place. Look at Man City, 13 games, one draw, 40 points. This shows how competitive the Prem is this year. Like, it feels like we're playing so good, we're still in fifth place. Now, next game is another tough one. It's going to be Spurs away. And in the dressing room, we see Harry Kane. We say, Harry, I mean, the January transfer window is uh, very soon. We joke around a little bit. We're like, are you looking to leave Tottenham? And he kind of brushes it off, says he's not going to talk about his future right now. But come back in January, we can maybe talk. I mean, as we know, Harry Kane is a longtime target of Manchester United. So we'll see. But Ten Hag is going for something different this game. He started Miguel Ramirez up top. So his first ever Premier League start. And then Kim Min Jae center back. He's back from his injury. Juan Bisaka right back. And then Rashford right wing. So Miguel Ramirez, first ever Premier League start. Bro, these jerseys, these lime green ones are so ugly. But they're the only ones. Like, I guess we could have worn the red today. But they're the ones that don't clash with Spurs. Now, a lot of you guys have said to get the new kits. We're going to have new kits for season two and every season, of course. But I thought for the first season, why not use just the regular, like, this season kits? That is an early cross in. Juan Bisaka, great clearance out to Ericsson. Okay, that is a ball down the middle. 
a Hoybeer. I don't know why he has that much space, but to, hey, it makes a good save. Kuliszewski drags it back, and now Hoybeer gets another chance to shoot, and he scores. All right, another bad start to a game. It's like Arsenal, where we just let them score pretty much an easy goal. It's a simple corner routine, and then no one's marking Hoybeer. No one can block the shot. All right, one nil down literally immediately. Lassio to Miguel Ramirez. Ramirez. Holds it up, gets it back to Erickson. Now Spurs love that five of the back formation, so they look like they're pretty much parking the bus against us. Juan Misaka tries to get it back to Erickson. That is terrible. Kim Minjay versus Kane. Kim Minjay, that is a good tackle right there. Malassia into Miguel Ramirez. Miguel Ramirez gets it back to Malassia. Malassia finds Neymar. Oh man, Neymar was so free there. Swing it down the middle. Swing it. This movement is good. Very good. Oh, that was in a fall to Neymar for a shot. Casemiro, great block. Bruno Fernandez has a chance to fire one in and it goes over the net. Neymar is taken out there. There wasn't even a foul call. That's insane. Oh, then Erickson plays a horrible pass to Bruno. Okay, boys, we need to sharpen up. I'm seeing some very bad passing right now. Juan Bisaka, great ball to Bruno Fernandez. Gets it out to Marcus Rashford. Marcus has a cross to someone. We're going to try digging up to Neymar. No one's in a good uh, heading spot there, though. Ball into Kuliszewski. They're going to try to find Kane Martinez, though. Maybe saves a goal right there. All right, Bruno. Oh, Neymar's just offside. That is so unfortunate. Wait. He's, wait, he's on side. Okay, Neymar, what a goal. Bro, Neymar is scoring some insane goals in this episode. I totally thought this was timed wrong and offside, but I guess he must be just on side there, barely. Neymar, what a finish. He's also like completely taken out as he shoots. That should be a penalty. He's literally just taken out. Okay, the game is 1-1. What a goal. And we are back in this now. This is not good, Kane. Over to Sun. Kim Min Jae, great tackle on Sun. Erickson, are you trying to long ball to Miguel Ramirez? Miguel, good first touch. Miguel Ramirez goes for the shot, and what a save by Loris. Oh, man, Miguel, that looked really good. Bruno crossing the box. Who can get this? Kim Min Jae gets to it, but that's going to be right to Loris. Now, that is a great ball to Kane. Kane is going to go for the shot, and De Gea makes a good save. I thought we took him out there. Ball to Neymar. We got a little bit of space here. Miguel Ramirez, I need you. Neymar gets to Ramirez. Ramirez gets it back to Neymar. Neymar, can you fire Ramirez? Finds. Miguel Ramirez. Oh, his shot is right at Loris. That was a tough angle, though. All right, first half, it's a competitive game, but it is still tied up. Rashford, great ball to Wami We got Ramirez. Ramirez calling for it. Goes out to Neymar instead. Neymar just went for like a diving header. I don't know what that was. It's like a half diving header. Malassia can't get it to Neymar. Okay. Well, I feel like we're starting to assert our control in this game. Bruno has got options. Goes to Erickson. Goes to Ramirez. Oh, man. That was the better option. He just couldn't get his shot away. He's getting in good spots, though. Miguel Ramirez. On into Kane. They're going to drag that back. Oh, I had to stop that pass. That's going to be a shot. I had to stop that pass right there. I knew they were going to score if I didn't. Harry Kane scores, and it's 2-1 to Tottenham. Yeah, I went way too aggressive there. I should have I should have stayed home. All right, this game is 2-1 in the 66th minute. Ramirez. Great ball to Neymar. Neymar doesn't have the most pace, but he's running. He's got a pass down the middle, too. Bruno Fernandez, and this is tied up again. Okay, what a weird counterattack came out of nowhere, but this game is tied up. Ramirez played a great ball to Neymar. Neymar was making a good run, but Spurs just couldn't get back. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. We are once again back in this with, like, what, 15 minutes to go? Oh, somehow that gets by Malassia, but Martinez on Kane. What a challenge. Casemiro out to Juan Bisaka. Juan Bisaka cut inside. Gets it out to Rashford. Oh, man, that was a bad pass. That is unfortunate again. Oh, Malassia, what a tackle. Neymar lays it off to Malassia. Malassia is going to shoot, and... Oh, that's off the post. Rashford rebound. It's going to be blocked. Rashford gets it over. Someone, please. Whoa, that pass had so much pace on it. I didn't put that much power on that. Oh, that was a great chance again. Oh, no. Kuliszewski, he's got no help, though. Malassia, Malassia, we need to make a tackle here. Again, I need something. Someone to make a tackle. Kane. We gave Kane too much space, and he might have just scored the winner against us. Man, two mistakes on Kane. He's, he's punished us for both mistakes. We didn't even get to see a replay on that. Okay, subs on. We got five minutes to once again tie this up. Anthony up to Ramirez. Ramirez, good touch. Ramirez has got no help whatsoever, though. They got so many numbers back. Okay, we're trying to pressure them, though. We're trying to pressure Spurs. If we could... Oh, what a turn. You got to be kidding me. Man, only one minute added on. That is so just... That's so fake. This game needed more out of time than that. We didn't even get a chance. It's going to be 3-2. Man, that is such an unfortunate loss. That is infuriating. Our two mistakes will cost us the game. Just two simple mistakes. I guess that's our current margin of error right now. So another tough loss against, uh, against a decent team. Not even a great team, though. So that keeps us out of the top four for the time being. Now, our next game is the final match day of the Champions League group stage. So if we win and Inter lose, we will finish first. So we face Salzburg they face Celtic. Celtic, we need you to get something off into Milan. Because if we finish second, we're going to get an extremely tough run of 16. Now, before the game at a press conference, Bruno Fernandez was asked about Ramirez's impact so far. And Bruno says he might not have scored yet, but he has two assists in three games. So he's making an impact out on the field. And for a young player to come in and do that, it's been a big boost to the team. I would say so far, Ramirez has played pretty well. Still looking for that first goal, though. So this game, Ramirez gets to start at left wing instead. And yeah, we're going to try our best to give us a chance to finish first in this group. So final match day of the Champions League group stage. I mean, there's obviously a great chance that Celtic uh, 
lose to Inter, but we got to try at least. Ramirez. Miguel Ramirez. Okay, showing some pace to start the game. Ramirez tries to track it back to someone. It's going to be a corner instead. I mean, that's not a bad little start by Miguel Ramirez. That's a great cross. No one gets to it. Whoa. Dallow just went for a bicycle kick. More like a scissor kick, I think. Mason Mount. Dink up to Neymar. Neymar header. Oh, man. That was such a good little header by Neymar. Bruno Cross. Varan, that's yours. Varan, that is yours. Thank you. Okay, we finally score from a corner. Rafael Varan makes it 1 0 to Manchester United. That was a great cross by Bruno Fernandez. All right, Mason Mount has been given a lot of space. Now he scored an insane goal in his debut. That one wasn't too far off. Now that's a great ball. Varan can't defend that. Over to. The left winger, Dallow, Dallow, that is also good defending. Now, defense, straight into attack. Dallow's got space. Dallow, we got a cross to Ramirez, I think. Ramirez, oh, that was going to be right to him if that got over Soleil. That was right there. Sancho's going to find Neymar. Neymar's got passes down the middle. Goes over to Mason Mount. Mason Mount into Miguel Ramirez, and he scored his first goal for Manchester United. Okay, Miguel off on the scoring sheet, finally. He's from Sporting. He's a he's a forward. Joins Manchester United. He's Portuguese. The Ronaldo comparisons, they're impossible to ignore. But so far, at that low overall, he's making an impact still. Scoring, assisting. Like, he may be the next big thing. Well, Martial's been injured. He has slotted in very well in the team. Here we got people running forward here. That is such a weird pass. Uh, Sancho somehow collects it. Jaden Sancho is making the run of his life and then his shot of course goes flying over the net samito into bruno fernandez neymar tries to get into someone that was uh not the best attack i mean salzburg so far have not really uh been that much of a threat did i just jinx it though what a pass you gotta be kidding me what a pass clear it lindelof clears it i just almost jinxed it in real time i think i actually jinxed it i think i actually jinxed it oh my i jinxed it it's now gonna be 2-1 oh i should never say anything like that ever again but i still always do all right 2-1 we should win this game still. I am not going to try and lose the lead against RB Salzburg. Ball to Mason Mount. Mason Mount. Oh, he's taken out from behind. That's going to be a free kick. Now, Neymar, he's got to step up. He's the one He's the one been doing it from the free kick spot. Now, this one, we're going to try to go for a little more power because it's a little bit farther out. Neymar, free kick. Oh, my. Neymar is a free kick specialist. That one was even farther out, and Neymar scores another free kick. Neymar is just in form right now. Now, I couldn't really see. I thought the keeper did something weird, though. He goes... It's a 24.3 meters out. It's hit well, but the keeper... He kind of just, I don't know why he doesn't dive for it. Is it a bad goalkeeper mistake or is it a good free kick? Might be a combo of both. Oh man, though, this is 3-1. What a free kick by Neymar Jr. I think this episode he's shown that he's a, he's been a good signing. Dallow, Mason Mount, through to Neymar. A chance for, oh, he's taken out from behind. Is that a penalty? Oh, that's a double yellow, I think, too, right? Yeah, it's a red card for that guy. I think this is just outside the box. Oh, it's just outside. All right, Neymar is letting Ramirez take this one. Miguel Ramirez has got 77 free kick accuracy from the free kick spot. Miguel Ramirez hits the hits the post. Oh man, that would have been such a good goal for him to score. Get his brace. But okay, second half begins. We're throwing up, so we're on our way to at least winning this game. He's got to hope that Celtic uh, beat Inter, which is very it's a very slim chance. Mason Mount over to Jaden Sancho. Jaden's got Ramirez. Ramirez down the middle. Oh, Jaden, we gotta get that pass through to Ramirez. That is so horrible. And Malasia is gonna switch it all the way to Sancho. Sancho. Decent first touch. Cross in is very good. It's a great clearance, though. Mason Mount goes for a very interesting pass back, but it's going to be intercepted. Don't let them score again, especially when they're down to 10 men. They're going to score again. Oh, man. This feels like that Celtic game where they just keep getting these little chances and they've taken each and every one. Oh, we're just falling asleep, boys. They're down to 10 men. It's only a one goal game right now. Sancho passed to Mason Mount. Mason Mount has got Ramirez. Ramirez turns. Ramirez shot. Oh, Ramirez goes slightly wide. Mason Ramirez keeps getting into very dangerous spots. I don't know what's happening. Palacia back to Ramirez. Ramirez pass it over to Bruno. Bruno chance to shoot. Oh, that was just perfectly right at the defender. Oh man, our defense looks so incredibly shaky. De Gea, thank you. Okay, it was offside, but still De Gea. That's a great, great save at least. Mason through to Bruno. Bruno gets Neymar. Neymar. Should score that. Neymar scores. There's a little bit of comfort. Okay, 4-2. Man, Neymar has had such a good episode. All right, Garnacho and Rabio coming on. Two-goal lead. This should be secure now. But the last time I've said that, it hasn't been secure. Oh, no. You got to be kidding me. How does he break through? Varane is actually catching up very well here. Varane using everything he has in his legs. And that's off the post. De Gea saves it. I can't believe they even got a chance off that. That makes me absolutely sick to my stomach. Okay, Varane, good tackle. Can we get this forward, please? Mason Mount gets it. Oh, that's to the wrong player, bro. What is happening right now towards the end of this game? Neymar gets it over to Garnacho. Garnacho over to Diego. Dallo, cross up. Can't, no one can get that one. Okay, Dallo, through ball to Adrian Rabio, And this game is now, it should be settled. I think three goal lead. I feel comfortable enough to say this game is over. Please, Celtic, please have beaten Inter Milan. Otherwise, a round of 16 is going to be very, very tough, I think. Oh, man. Rabio over to 
Alejandro Garnacho, and he drags his shot wide. This should be 6-2 right now. Okay, that is full time. So 5-2 we beat Salzburg. Was a bit shaky, but you know, we got the job done. I can't be too mad. Ramirez scored his first goal for the club. That's great to see. Now the question is, did Celtic beat Inter? And have we finished first or second in this group? But we shall remember this day as Miguel Ramirez, maybe the next Ronaldo, scores his first goal for Manchester United. All right, so Manchester United have finished. We have finished. Oh, we finished second in the group. Okay, so Inter beat Celtic 2-0. So we finished second, man. We're going to get a tough round of 16. Like Juventus, Barcelona, uh, teams that get Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, Arsenal. We're getting one of those teams. Those are all insanely tough teams. But once again, still in fifth in the Prem. I can't believe how competitive this table is. 10 games, four losses. We're still in fifth. That's crazy. Well, Miguel Ramirez, I think, had a very solid debut episode. Our first youth player, maybe the next Ronaldo, looks like it could be something special. Now, next episode, we're in the January transfer window. We got about probably like 50-ish million to spend. So let me know in the comments what you think we should do, whether signing like a striker, signing something let me know in the comments down below we have made some insane signings so far in our journey of taking many united back to the top and the team is showing a lot of promise but also a lot of inconsistency we're not exactly where we want to be yet but we enter the january transfer window in this episode if we want to continue this may united transformation players need to be signed and also players need to be sold so drop a like if you want to see more of this series and let's get back into it all right so we're at home chilling in our apartment i should say our newly renovated apartment is as you can see this place looks a little bit different okay the whole place looks new we hired a professional to clean this place up and it's looking amazing now we also have a new clean work area and that's a good thing because we have been busy planning for our next game the manchester derby but before that we have a meeting with ten hog and he says the january window is approaching let's go over our transfer plan for january he says we're planning to do a good amount of business in january we're gonna look to sell at least four to five players and also look to sign four players he says we need a goalkeeper a center mid a cdm and a striker and he wants to focus on younger players so he wants all of us to bring him targets by january 1st and then we'll get to work when that time comes we have some pretty good players in mind but okay first comment you should give Jaden sancho garnacho more playing time yeah so sancho garnacho both have played nine and eight games respectively i am trying to play them more but it's honestly kind of hard this prem season is so competitive that i feel like i have to play my best team most of the time but i'll try to fit them in more next one mold mason mount to a center mid to take over ericsson's role yeah a few of you guys uh, said to do this i feel like ericsson mason mount i mean there's similar players a little bit and bruno fernandez is so much better at cam than like a number eight center mid so we might actually try and do that and that means basically moving Mount to a center mid and also working on his defending so that he could be a box to box. I think he has potential too. We'll try it more. And last one, next season you should use the May United 23-24 season jerseys. Yeah, so that's the plan. Next season we're gonna have new kits, of course. We're gonna have new kits every season. And I'm not sure if United have released their new kits for next year. If they have, we'll definitely use those for next season and season two. So our next game is our first ever Manchester Derby in this series, and they are flying right now. In first, 14 wins, one draw, and one loss. So as usual, they are the team to beat in the Premier League right now. And we might try something different for this game. So Neymar is currently on top score 15 goals in 24 games rashford has 6 in 20 games now that made me think what if we play neymar at striker and then rashford down the wing because i mean rashford is faster so it does make sense i feel like rashford hasn't been bad at striker but he might be better on the left wing so we're gonna try that in this game against man city we're gonna debut it something pep guardiola is probably not expecting so we're gonna try that speaking of pep during his press conference he says that he's seen the improvements we've made this season that we're not the same man united from last year and he says we can't be underestimated and then in eric ten Hag's press conference he says last time we faced man city was in the fa cup final which we lost and a lot of the boys have been thinking about that loss for a while. So hopefully some of that energy can translate into a good performance today. So there's the Man City lineup. Surprisingly, no Erling Holland. Turns out he's injured. He has a sprained ankle. He's out for three weeks. So we're a little bit lucky there. First game, try Neymar at striker. And we still can't underestimate this Man City team. All right, our very first Manchester Derby of this series. Now, I feel like this might be pretty rough, even without Erling Holland. Because Man City are just Man City. But Neymar at striker. Now, if this actually works, then it might change our strategy a little bit in terms of signing a striker. So this game might be very big also in terms of that okay what a tackle on erickson man city you guys calm down oh no okay to run please stop okay tell me he's offside wait that's how they start what is the fa cup final they've scored as quick as they did in the fa cup final we have just been like blitzed oh man i can't believe how fast that was we're already one nil down i don't want it to be this realistic okay one nil down in three minutes to man city that literally felt like unavoidable rashford can you get Neymar? Good water, Neymar, Neymar. It's got Anthony, maybe. Okay, goes out to Dallow instead. Dallow into Neymar Jr. That could have been an immediate response. All right, Bernard Fernandez corner. That looks pretty good. Varane's there. Oh, Ederson. How does he save that? And how do we not score that? That was basically like an open free header. All right, Bruno, let's try this again. Varane. This time, okay, that wasn't a free header this time. Anthony is going to stop. Tries to control the ball and uh, doesn't really control the ball. He does steal it, though. And Anthony into Bruno. Bruno. 
tries to let off someone and he's got that's a great tackle by someone this game has started already very intense this is very dangerous Gundogan shot and De Gea makes a decent save it's gonna be a corner again though and Gundogan he just loves playing against uh, United I guess oh that's a bad tackle by Nathan Ake that's gonna be a yellow I think it should be indeed it's a yellow for Nathan Ake Martinez and Erickson Erickson into Neymar Neymar turn into Bruno Fernandez and this game is 1-1. Okay, there's a response. That was actually pretty simple the way we worked through their defense. Neymar playing like a false nine roll, like picking the ball up a little bit deep. I mean, that could also work too. All right, Bruno Fernandez. And this game is 1-1. Uh, one, one. Anthony to Dallo, Dallo. Great turn. Dallo's got Bruno again. Okay, Bruno. That first touch. That why was the pass from Dallo so powerful? That just ruined that chance. Mares into Alvarez. Alvarez Varan. Man, that is good defending right there. Neymar lays it off to Erickson. Erickson's got. Rashford is kind of running free now Neymar might be free Neymar Rashford that pass was terrible the shot wasn't that bad I think he handballed it though yeah Neymar gave the ball a high five man we are finding space though right now Rashford into Bruno Fernandez and it's 2-0 or it's actually 2-1 okay their defense feels so wide open Rashford driving through picks out Bruno again Bruno's finding space look how simple this was they're just not they're not tracking Bruno at all he is exploiting the space and this is actually 2-1 this game is flipped very oddly but I doubt that's gonna be the last goal of this game Grealish Grealish don't go down for a penalty please don't fall over thank you okay Dallow good tackle now Erickson has a yellow I am not sure why Erickson has a yellow I don't remember getting a yellow with Erickson, but I guess he does Erickson. Okay, that was almost handball, but we're just gonna clear it. Oh, Erickson almost went down for another yellow. Oh, Martinez, please, please clear it. Oh man, Martinez got like a little mini touch on that. Probably saved a goal. Oh no, Alvarez. Okay, I, I dared him to shoot that and he shot that. Thankfully he did. Now we got one final chance maybe. Oh, Neymar can't get it to Rashford. Okay, 2-1. It oddly doesn't feel like we're up here, but somehow we are. Yeah, the Erickson on that yellow, I gotta bring on Mount for him at some point because I cannot risk getting a red card against Man City. We will get destroyed if that happens. Dallo. Oh, Grealish, she just dove. That's not a foul. Free kick sent in. Why is the, why are the crowd going crazy? I have no idea. There's no foul there. Now, Casemiro has a Anthony, and this is so wide open. Neymar, chance to shoot, and it's 3-1 of Manchester United. This game feels so weird. It does not feel like we're the better team or playing better. Oh, we are two goals up. We are shocking the league leaders here. Neymar, it's a great finish on his left foot. 49th minute. This game feels extremely weird. But you know what? Scoreline, not mad. Bruno gives it to Anthony. Man, their defense is the problem, I think. They're just wide open. Neymar gives it to Anthony. Anthony's going to try to find Neymar again. He does. Neymar for four. Oh, Ederson makes the save. That should have been 4-1. That's a great corner. Rashford was there for it. Goes to Anthony. Anthony, left footed finish shot. Anthony, that was so far wide. All right, now I'm not risking the red card. Eric Tanox bring on Mason Mount for Christian Eriksen. Wait, wait. Uh, Erling Holland is on the field. I thought he was injured. Somehow he's playing and De Bruyne scores. Why, where was that space? Why was there space? And why is Holland playing? I thought he, I thought he had a sprained ankle. Okay, this game is 3-2. Holland plays it in the middle, Gundogan. I mean, that's just a great move. It's bad defense, but it's a great move. Okay, this game is 3-2. We got to keep playing our game because now this game has gotten serious. Neymar through to Bruno. Bruno is going to try to find Neymar. Oh, Bruno, what a ball to Neymar. He went for the chip and it goes over the net. Oh, Neymar, that was the right decision, but just not executed well. All right, Shaw is going to try to play up to Rashford. I think he might be offside, though. And it feels like this game has shifted momentum, like, I don't know how many times. Like, maybe three. Mason Mount's got space to work with, though. Mason is running forward now. He has got a lot of space. That was a great shot from Mason Mount. All right, Sancho on for Anthony. I'm on a corner here, a corner goal. Would be beautiful, Varane, that's yours. Oh, Varane, it was yours. Oh, who was that, Martinez? Oh, went just wide. It was actually uh, deflected, I guess. Bruno cross in. Come on, Varane again. Varane gets to it, but it goes over the net. Grealish gets it to Holland. Holland's going to try to play it down to Rodri. I think he was. Oh, man, he plays it back. I don't like this. I don't like any part of this. Good block. That goes back to De Gea, and we survive. Casemiro, great dribbling now. Bruno's got Sancho, I think. Bruno, up to Jaden. Sancho, Jaden. Oh, first touch, not the best. Plays up to Neymar. Ruben Diaz is going to clear it. Man, that was not a good chance. Casemiro gets it back to Sancho, though. Oh, Grealish steals from Sancho. What a play by Grealish. Oh, my. That pass was amazing. Casemiro win that. Casemiro, great win. Bruno, through Neymar. Neymar doesn't have the stamina or pace to win that, but Rashford might. Rashford, can he win that? Rashford, what a ball by Neymar. Oh, Rashford. That was the sloppiest touch I've ever seen. We could have had like an easy shot at goal there. Oh man, we got like what? Six minutes and this is this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Holland defending needs to be so good here. Martinez gets tackle. Someone mark Holland, please. Why is everyone backing off Holland? This is not good. This right here is not good. Kyle Walker on Mount. Mason Mount makes the tackle. Beautifully done. Okay, just clear it. All right, Miguel Ramirez is on for Neymar, and then Garnacho is on for Rashford. We need fresh legs up top. You try and hold the ball or something. If we do get a chance to hold the ball, because Man City, all this possession, Dallow, or actually Shaw, great tackle. We just need to survive. 
this onslaught. Please, Shaw again. Great tackle, Shaw. Plays it forward. Miguel Ramirez is going to pick it up. Ramirez gets it to Garnacho. Alejandro Garnacho will try to seal this game for us in front of Ederson. Okay, we should have held it. Mistakes were made. Wait, Garnacho seals it back. Okay, wait, boys, boys, relax. Everyone relax. We may have just beat Manchester City at the Etihad. Casemiro is driving forward. He's going to steal it, but ref, please. Ref blows the whistle. What a win. We had to fight so hard for that. It was very shaky at times, but we just beat Man City. Man, Aaron Ten Hag gets the better at Pep Guardiola this time. I mean, United have had some shock wins at the Etihad, so this is just one of those. What a weird game. We get all three points, though. All right, so we are now in the January transfer window. That win against Man City propelled us to a very good end to December, and we now sit third in the Prem, six points behind both Man City and Liverpool, who still remain the teams to beat this year in the Prem. And we got 59 million pounds to spend, and we're still going to try to sell some players, too. So like we planned January 2nd, we head to Eric Tanag's office and we tell Tanag that we have two players we think he should look at. And he says, okay, tell me who they are. The first player is going to be one of the world's biggest midfield prospects, Arthur Vermeeren playing for Antwerp. Now he's only 17 years old, but the Belgian midfielder is considered one of the biggest midfield prospects. And with Casemiro getting a little older, he could be the future starting CDM of this team. And then the next player is going to be the striker from Atalanta, Rasmus Hoyland. Now 19 years old from Denmark, 6'2". He's one of the biggest striker prospects in the world too. And Tanag says, okay, this is what we'll do. We're going to travel and go watch these two players play and see if they pass the eye test. So we went back home. We packed our bags in the car. We're going on a little business trip with Eric Ten Hag. So we drive to the airport and we take off for our first destination. That's going to be Belgium as we're going to a Royal Antwerp game to watch Arthur Vermeeren play. And I mean, while he's not the tallest CDM ever, he's definitely a force to be reckoned with in the midfield. I kind of see a little bit of N'Golo Conte in his game. And only 17 years old, his potential is through the roof. He could be Casemiro's future replacement. And we talked to him after the game and he says it'd be a dream come true to play for a team like Manchester. United. Now, next up, we're at an Atalanta game in Serie A. And of course, we're watching Hoyland play. Now, some have called him Erling Holland 2.0. And that's a pretty crazy comparison, but I mean, he's tall, he's quick. You can kind of see why. He's going to need a lot of development still. But you could see Hoyland becoming an absolute force at that striker position. And after the game, he also says that if we can get the deal done, he'd be happy to join us in January. So the next day, we arrive back at the airport. We're back home. And Tenog says both want to join us. So let's see if we can get these deals done. So first up is going to be Vermeeren. Now, he is only 71 overall, but I mean, potential is through the roof so if we could develop him it might be worth it 14 million they accept that 14 million for Vermeeren that is a done deal right there and just like that Vermeeren has been signed up the biggest CDM prospect in the world is now a Manchester United player now let's try and go for Hoyland this might be a little bit more expensive because I mean he's the arguably the bigger prospect he's higher rated so let's try 32.5 see what Atalanta say to that it's not a terrible offer and they're just gonna accept that okay 32 million that's a respectable amount I think uh, we've also signed up Hoyland now now another wonder kid brought into Manchester United have we just signed Erling Holland 2.0. We're going to find out. Rasmus Hoyland, welcome to Manchester United. Now, this does mean players need to leave the club, and uh, quite a few of them. So, we're going to try and sell Donny van der Beek, Henderson, McTominay, Brandon Williams, Fred, and also Anthony Martial for the right price. We're going to try to sell all these players to, uh, of course, get our budget back up because we want to take this team back to the top of those players. They're just not really good enough where we want to take this team. Now, first game of January is the uh, Carabao Cup semis, actually. We made it to the semis. We're facing Southampton. So, this is a perfect chance for Hoyland and Vermeer to get their debuts. So, we got Hoyling, Garnacho, Sancho, Ramirez, Rabio, Vermeeren. Okay, hold up. Vermeeren can't be captain. We can't do that. He's 17 years old. Uh, we're going to make... Let's do De Gea captain. Let's do that. Uh, Rabio, Malassia, Kim Min Jae, Lindelof, and Juan Bisaka. So we get a very young attacking force in this game. I mean, hey, there's also the care pick up semis. Like, we don't want to get knocked out here. First leg, even with our younger players, we should still do good in this game. So the biggest CDM prospect and maybe striker prospect both get their debuts for United alongside the next Ronaldo, Garnacho. This game might be interesting. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's not a penalty. Wanby Soccer got all ball there. You gotta be kidding me. Just because how the Southampton player does like a triple dive. Bro, we got all ball there. We got all ball. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, first tag of the game. First chance goes Southampton. David Gea. Penalty. Oh, what a save from David De Gea. It's almost like it never happened. That's a long shot. De Gea will grab that one. All right, boys, can we get an attack going? I want to see the next Ronaldo. Miguel Ramirez, Garnacho, and Hoyland. Maybe the future of this Man United team. Rabio gives it to Hoyland. Hoyland. Gets it back to Rabiot. Okay, maybe not. Not the greatest first touch for Hoyland. Am I saying his name right? I hope I am. Oh my. James Ward-Prowse is going to score. Okay, Lindelof did nothing there. Paul is playing Ward-Prowse and Lindelof just stands there. Like, no one's marking Ward-Prowse. Literally, he's just right. He's behind, actually, Lindelof. He's not even looking at him. Okay, 14 minutes in. What a terrible start for us. Penalty, and then we actually concede. All right, Vermeeran gets it out to Wabisaka. Now, Sancho, this should be a game where you should dominate in, really. Into Rabiot, though. Rabiot. Rabio. Oh, Hoyland. So much space there for a shot. All right, Hoyland. Great touch. Great touch. Goes for a shot. Okay, Hoyland. That wasn't bad right there. 
definitely look threatening. We need to tie this up Garnacho. Decent touch. vermirian has got a little bit of space. Not going to shoot this though. Plays it into Hoyland. Gets it to Rabio. Over to Garnacho. Garnacho into Hoyland. Oh man, that was almost worked beautifully. One Bisaka into Miguel Ramirez. Ramirez tries to play it too. Jaden Sancho. He does and Sancho ties the game up. All right, Miguel Ramirez, another assist for him. And rightfully so, we are now tied up. We should really win this game, to be honest. At home, we should not be drawing or losing the first leg of this uh, semifinal. Grab out to Garnacho. Garnacho's got Hoyland. Hoyland plays it back to Sancho. Man, he was almost fouled there. Sancho, good ball to Miguel Ramirez. Miguel Ramirez, chance to score. Oh, that shot was kind of crazy. All right, corner in by Jaden Sancho. That looks decent. It's going to be someone. I don't even know who that was. Rebound. Falls to Ward Prowse and he's going to clear it. Okay, we're starting to get in this game though. We're starting to, as I say that, we play a horrible pass, of course. Okay, Ramirez, great ball to Ramirez. Now, Ramirez, Hoyland, 6-2. He's actually a crossing target. Okay, that was, okay, I was going to say that was handball, right? Like, ref, are you going to call it? Okay, what do we do here? Do we shoot this? Do we cross it in? I'm going to call for someone else and we're going to try to work this this way. Ramirez, Ramirez, okay, get it back to Sancho. Sancho, get it to Malasia. Now, Malasia. good cross in Sancho. It's supposed to go to Hoyland. He's not there for it though. That's a good header though. Sancho, Garnacho was actually taken out. You didn't tell me that wasn't a foul. That was clean. Oh, this ref today is horrible. Okay, 1-1. One, one, they might have scored first, but since then, we've looked like the better team. Let's uh, continue doing that. And okay, don't give up another penalty. I feel like for some reason, these Southampton players are looking to try and win a penalty. Rabio, good defending. Garnacho into Hoyland. Hoyland. Okay, there's the... There's maybe Erling Holland 2.0. There he is. Okay, that was very good from our new striker. Hoyland scores his first goal for Manchester United. He might be the world's best prospect. I don't know. World's best wonder kid. Him or Vermeeren could both be that. Man, left foot. That's a good strike. All right, 2-1, 50th minute. Oh, man, Rabio, That is a very good tackle. Hoyland, that is great dribbling. Hoyland to Garnacho. Hoyland's it again. Is Hoyland coming alive? Hoyland, oh, that first touch. I jinxed it by saying that. That was a horrible touch. Vermeeren wins a header, though into Garnacho. Garnacho, the shot is horrendous. The youngsters are showing some energy at least. Oh, Garnacho is taking on some players right now and he is dribbling a few into Hoyland. Hoyland, first touch is very good. Okay, Rasmus Hoyland might be the next big thing. He's got a brace and Garnacho and him are combining so well. Maybe the future of this team. And Garnacho dribbled like past three guys in the midfield into Hoyland and then it's pretty much same spot, but it's a it's a good finish. Maybe that's his spot. Come on, 3-1. I like the scoreline. Let's make this even more comfortable. We're second leg. It won't even matter. Aiden Sancho up to Garnacho. Now Hoyland Hoyland's on a hat trick. We're gonna go over to Ramirez. Ramirez heads it into. Oh no, that was almost perfect. The header just wasn't at Hoyland. Oh, we got an injury. Who is it? It is gonna be. Is that Rabio? Oh, Rabio is hurt. Okay, that is not good. 3 1. Man, hopefully that's not bad. That is not good though. We're gonna bring on. Let's do Mount for Rabio. Oh, let's do Mengi for Lindelof. Man, that's not a good injury. The fact that he was taken off and he can walk, it's probably not good. All right, Mason Mount just brought on into. Okay, Sancho. Why are you running so fast there? Just stop and Mason can play you in. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. He's onside. Wait. How is he onside? De Gea, I need you. De Gea. De Gea. Oh, I brought him out. I think maybe too early. I don't know. Man, 3-2. How do we let him in like that? I don't even know how he's onside. It must have been just timed perfectly. Okay, this is 3-2. That does not make me happy. Okay, they are looking to do something here. Mengi. That is a great defensive play, though. We get two minutes. We just can't have them tied up. 3-2. It's bad, but you know what? It's better than 3-3. We at least have to take a lead back to Southampton to St. Mary's. Sancho, Baldo, Ramirez. Ramirez has Hoyland for his hat trick. Hoyland, a chance to make it. Four, two, okay, Rasmus Hoyland on his debut scores a hat-trick for Manchester United. World's best wonder kid, he might have just taken that title. Oh man, what a signing he could be. I like 4-2 so much better. Ramirez, again, by the way, another assist. I mean, it's a great finish. Man, Hoyland looks really good. 4-2, that's full time. What a debut for Hoyland. Now, Vermeer had a good debut, not a great one, but Hoyland definitely stole the show today. Look at that, Hoyland hat-trick hero against Southampton. That was an insane debut. Now, fortunately, Rabiot's only out for two weeks with a damaged elbow. So that injury is not actually that bad, that's good. Okay, we've sold a few players here. We've sold Scott McTominay over to Tottenham Hotspur and also sold Martial to Lazio. Now, Martial was 21.6 and then McTominay was 13.8. And we also sold Brendan Williams to Valladolid for 8.3. I mean, with Vermeer and Hoyland, it made sense that that's the replacement. So those players just had to leave. So now we have 54 million to spend. And Eric Ten Hag has one more player on his list. That is Quinton Timber. So the brother of Urien Timber. Now we need basically like one more midfielder for the reserves. And he's Dutch. He's got the connection to Eric Ten Hag. So for 12 million, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. He can play at center mid cdm cam he's a pretty versatile player and he's also now a manchester united player so timber welcome to the club so we did end up beating southampton in that second leg so we're facing arsenal in the Carabao cup final and we're also edging closer and closer to man city liverpool in first and second next game is a big one against chelsea we can't stop this momentum we gotta keep it going now rabio is not fully back yet so timber is on the bench for this game we'll see if he gets his debut but we go with our strongest 11 i still can't believe how competitive the top of the table is this year in the prem like man city liverpool they're on fire and we're hanging on there in third so this title 
race, this top four race is so close, we just can't afford to drop points. Especially against a team that's competing with us for top four. That's an early yellow for Sterling. Now, Neymar and Striker worked against Man City so far. It has been working. We'll see if it works also in this game. I just feel like Rashford might be actually better at left wing and Neymar might be better at striker. Okay. Felix is in. Felix, please stop. Varane did enough there to at least stop that attack or slow it down, I should say. That isn't a matter way, okay. Hey, I saves at the near post. Okay, that was very dangerous. That is a good cross in, and Rashford gets it out. Gallo, great ball to Neymar. Neymar got Anthony. Anthony gets it back to Neymar. The Brazilian combo. Neymar shoots, and it's gonna be one 0 to Manchester United. Yeah, Neymar as striker might be the way to go. He's such a threat, like either assisting, being a false nine, or being like an actual striker. That was pretty simple, and it's one 0 in 11 minutes. Okay, matter way, okay. great cross, Gallo. That is an insane clearance, but it's good enough. Bruno, I think has Neymar. Yes, he does. Neymar is in. Neymar versus Thiago Silva. Neymar cuts inside. Beautifully done. Okay, Neymar is on fire. Neymar just turned his Brazilian teammate Thiago Silva. I mean, he's got the years on him. He should be able to turn him. Oh, Neymar, that is that is disgusting, actually. And then the finish is beautiful. Man, 2-0, a brace from Neymar. This so far has been a beautiful start. Don't ruin this start. Okay, Xiao Felix almost just scored something incredible. That cross in is incredible also. And then Koulibaly sends it over the net, though. And so far, we have been the better team in this game. Anthony stops. Anthony destroys him. Dallo into Neymar maybe a first half Patrick Neymar holds it up gets it to Bruno Fernandez oh we should have shot to the left I was aiming to the left Luke Shaw that is a great corner but Mendy is gonna come out and catch it okay I think this free kick is uh, way too far out so I'm gonna try to lay it off who's gonna shoot this Bruno you know what Bruno you're shooting this Bruno Fernandez outside the boot it is 3-0 in 28 minutes. What a goal from Bruno Fernandez. Oh, man. Chelsea have just been destroyed today already. This shot, though, is incredible. That is just absolutely amazing. Outside the boot, right over Mendy. Man, 3-0. This game has gone very unexpectedly in a very good way, though. Don't let them score. They're going to have an immediate response, and it's Jao Felix, of course. Okay, 3-1. Just like that. That was very quick. Bruno to Neymar. Neymar's got Rashford. Rashford's not making a run, though. Neymar, that is great dribbling into... Christian Eriksen, and that goes just wide. Okay, they're trying to make this 3-2, which they might. Nope, they're not. Okay, we can't lose control of this game after having such a good start. Bruno's got Neymar again. Neymar is looking for his hat trick. What a good touch by Neymar, and this is 4-1. That is hat trick complete for Neymar Jr. Yeah, him at striker, Rashford left wing. I think it's the way to go from now on. All right, that might stop any Chelsea uh, recovery in this game. Anthony to Bruno. Now, this game might get worse for Chelsea because Anthony is finding space. Anthony on his left foot finesse shot mendy good save come on make this 5-1 half time make this 5-1 bruno good delivery varan's there for that mendy oh, okay the the header was right at him balls erickson erickson into anthony anthony a second chance okay what a finish from anthony bro we have destroyed chelsea today the scoreline is 5-1 at half time this game's done i did not expect this game to go like that but what a beautiful game from us once again this game's done and that is how the game ends now dallo picked up a knock in the 57 minutes so uh that's not good oh man so dallo has a pulled groin he's gonna be out for five weeks i mean it's not it's not the worst injury but it's still kind of bad and we are on transfer deadline day here and maybe one of the last players leaving this window is gonna be donnie van de Beek. So once again he's not getting any game time it's it's time to move on and he's going back to Everton. Okay, actually, one more. We have Fred leaving to Napoli. Once again, Fred, he's just not playing. Rabio is kind of his replacement. So a lot of players leaving the club this window. A lot of players brought in. This is the transformation of Manchester United happening before our eyes. So that is it for the January transfer window. Look at that. Eric Ten Hag, manager of the month of January. We have been playing pretty good. It's just crazy that Liverpool Man City have been that much better. But we are right there. Now, this Dello injury does hurt. Wambi Saka is out to play for him. Because our next game is the Champions League run of 16. An absolutely huge game. So we finished second in our group. So so round of 16, we actually are facing Juventus. So it's Manchester United versus Juve. It's very funny. But once again, you finish second, you're going to get a tough team. Juventus, despite their struggles, are a very good team still. So first knockout game at Old Trafford in a long time in the Champions League is coming up next. And before this game, David Beckham's giving an interview. He's at Old Trafford for the game tonight. And he says that he feels the club is going in the right direction. Some really good young players brought into the club. Some unhappy players sold. He says as a fan, he likes the direction of the team. And that tonight is a very big game for this club's future. So that is the Juventus team they got. Looks like they got Koke. I mean, it's a good team. It's a very good team. Now, I pretty much got to go with my best lineup. There's no reason to change anything after that win against Chelsea. So, we go with that. Rabio's back. And uh, the Champions League knockout stage officially begins. This is a very big night for the club. Really a true test of where this club's at right now. And I'm a little nervous because, like, I don't want to get knocked out in round 16. That would be terrible. I mean, it could happen. This team is so unpredictable. So, we're going to find out. Champions League round 16. First leg is going to be officially kicked off. Let's try and have a solid first leg. Okay, already, man. These teams, every team we face in this episode has started against us 
so quick. Okay, Martinez, good tackle. We survived that. Okay, already. I am sweating. Neymar, great ball. Okay, who's making a run? Is that Luke Shaw? That was Luke Shaw. It's going to be dragged back for a foul, though. All right, boys, come on. We need a good start here. We need a solid start. Casemiro is going to find Christian Eriksen. Eriksen in to Neymar. Neymar gets it over to Marcus Rashford. That was almost a very good start. Luke Shaw, corner in. Chesney does come out for it. Varane's there, and it's going to be 1-0 to United. Okay, Chesney should have come out for that. That cross was very close to him, but Varane scores the first goal in the knockout stage for us. That is a picture-perfect start. Luke Shaw, great delivery. Yeah, Chesney, you got to come out for that. He can't stay home on that header or that cross. All right, seven minutes, 1-0 to United. Oh, Christian Eriksen, what a steal. What a pass to Neymar. There is some flair on that one. And Neymar can't make it 2-0. Oh, that was such a good chance. I underestimated Eriksen in the series. I thought he was going to be sold pretty soon. But he's been good, Anthony. I'll take that free kick. That's a very good chance for a free kick. I'll take that. We got Neymar. This is a very good chance. Oh, man. 13 minutes in. We have a chance to blow this wide open. Neymar Jr. steps up. I feel like that's a good amount of power. Neymar. Free kick. He has done it again. Neymar has actually done it again. I can't believe it. He has scored yet another free kick. It's 2-0. That's like our third free kick with Neymar in this series. Only four episodes. Bro, he's just a free kick specialist, I, I guess, at United. Man, 2-0 in 13 minutes. Juventus are shocked here. What a great start to this game. Neymar, ball out to Bruno. Bruno's got Rashford on his run. Oh, man, Juventus. The prison team are no, Rashford, you got to score that so I can finish my sentence. Now I can't finish it. Oh, we should have made it 3-0. We can't miss a chance like that. Man, they're looking so bad. Casemiro, long ball to Neymar. Neymar heads it down to Christian Eriksen. Almost makes it 3-0. We are creating some very good-looking chances. I don't know how they cleared that. It's been like 25 minutes. Feels like they're already on the ropes. Casemiro, great ball to Neymar. Neymar flips it through to Rashford. Rashford, oh, I try to get it back to Neymar. Martinez, good tackle. Man, we are playing amazing right now. As I say that, we lose the ball. I should stop saying that. It's the Tyster Jinx. Bruno Erickson to Marcus Rashford. It is 3-0 to Manchester United. These two games, what has gotten into us? We're all of a sudden playing amazing. Like, this attack is just perfect. Erickson to Rashford. It's beautiful. Oh, man, Juventus are actually in the mud. 33 minutes in. Luke Shaw has a chance to cross it in. We're going to cross it in. What a great cross by Luke Shaw. Neymar can't get it. Luke Shaw, another chance. Crosses it in. Bruno. Bruno fights for it. It's in a fall, and they barely survived that. All right, Wambi Saka versus Kesa. Kesa is obviously one of the best players. Into Pogba. That's a shot to hey a good save, I think, on Di Maria. Don't let him score halftime. That is uh, blocked by Varane, and then we get it out. Okay, Vince, that's a very good first half. 3-0? That is an extremely good first half. All right, Anthony picked up a little knock before halftime. He's not injured, but just to be safe. Oiland is on at striker, and Neymar is out to right wing. So uh, the world's best wonder kid gets a chance in the Champions League round of 16. Erickson's taken out there. That's a foul, right? Yeah, ref, I was about to say you're not going to call that. Jeez. Lissandro Martinez over to Marcus Rashford. Rashford, Oiland, where are you at? Then to go to Neymar. Oh, Neymar can't get that. Bro, Hoyland 6-2. How are we not aiming for Hoyland? All right, Marcus Rashford tries to find Hoyland, but that's going to go right to Chesney. It's a great pass if Chesney's the target. Hoyland out to Wan Bisaka. Neymar to Wan Bisaka. Hoyland, where are you at? Wan Bisaka in to. Wait, that, why didn't Hoyland go for that? That was literally right at Hoyland. Neymar to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno in to. Hoyland goes for the shot, but it's going to go right at Chesney. I think it was actually a tackle from uh, one of their players. Di Maria is looking for a chance. There goes to Chiesa. Don't let them score. First leg, I want a clean sheet. Great tackle, Wan Bisaka. Oh, Neymar. Look at this space. Neymar to Bruno. Bruno in two. It's going to be Christian Eriksen, and it's 4-0. Bro, Juventus never stood a chance in this game. They're playing so bad. We are running circles around them. Neymar in to Hoyland. Hoyland, chance to score. Oh, that shot goes deflected right over the net. Oh, Hoyland looks actually like the next Erling Holland. He is looking that good. Varan should have got that actually. Hoyland, Hoyland on his left foot shot. I thought that was in, bro. He is looking very dangerous right now. All right, we got Ramirez, Sancho, and Mason Mount all coming on. I mean, at this point, 4-0, this game is, this tie is very close to being over. As I say that, are they going to score? As I say that, did I just jinx it? No, I did not. Wait, I might have. I might have actually just jinxed it. No, please no. Oh, Martinez, thank you. Hoyland out to Jaden Sancho. Sancho, the dribbling is pretty good there. Gets it over to someone. Okay, back to Sancho. Sancho to Juan Bisaka. Juan Bisaka to Jaden Sancho. He's going to shoot, and Chesney makes the save. Come on, make this 5 0. Make it 5 0. That hits the crossbar. Ramirez tries to head it to a teammate, but can't. Okay, Luke Shaw has Hoyland down the middle. Hoyland, a chance for another goal. The world's best wonder kid, maybe, just scores. And I think that might be the nail in Juventus' coffin. 5-0? These last two games have been so weird. I think it's a combo of us being really good and the other team also being very bad. We might get one more. Over to Miguel 
Ramirez goes for the finesse shot and our homegrown talent basically oh, almost makes it six He had a chance there could probably pass it too, but that is full time five nil. I think this is already done I don't think there's any way even has come back in this suck uh, round of 16 We have just dominated them like this is a statement from this club that we're coming for the big teams All right So third place in the Premier League into the Carabao Cup final and also pretty much already into the Champions League quarterfinals Once again, this team is on the rise But considering that we have to start looking towards next season already. I feel like Neymar he's 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 definitely good for now at center forward but i feel like in the future we might need a more like traditional striker where neymar goes out to the right and then we buy a new striker that could be something we do next season and also something we might start working on in the next episode a little bit early to see what we can do Okay, today we have a chance to win the first trophy of this series. We are in the Carabao Cup final against Arsenal. Now, it's only the Carabao Cup, but we still want to win it. We currently sit third in the Prem, 26 games in. We are pretty much through to the Champions League quarterfinals, so we're pretty much entering the most important part of our season. And we may even get started on transfer business for the next season a little bit early. So drop a like if you want to see more of this series, and let's get back into it. So we're at home getting ready, you know, putting our suit on, the one suit we own, because today is the Carabao Cup final. It's a very special day. And as we're getting ready, we get a call from Ten Hag and he says, feeling nervous? And we're like, yeah, maybe a little bit. He says, just relax. It's a normal thing. These are the kind of big days we fight for. And he also says that he has big plans for the start of season two, plans for potential big signing and that he needs us to start laying the groundwork for it. And we say, anything you need, we got it. And he says, all right, let's focus on this cup final first. So we head out to the car. We may have gotten our car resprayed and it may have been to match Manchester United, but okay, it's time to meet up with the rest of the team. First comment, love how Hoyland literally looks like Leo Harrison. Yeah, so last episode we signed Rasmus Hoyland and he scored a hat trick in his debut and yeah he may look a little bit like leo harrison you're not supposed to notice that and next one for goalkeeper i think you should sign diogo costa yes i mean a lot of united fans seem to think that de gea should be sold that united should sign a new keeper i'm not entirely sure i mean i feel like de gea has been okay he hasn't been like amazing we could sign a new goalkeeper in season two and someone like costa or even onana would be i feel like a good option as a replacement keeper and last one sign david beckham's son romeo and play him at the fullback positions yeah so david beckham's son doesn't he play for brentford right he might play for like their b team i mean it's something we could do we'll see but before the final Mikel arteta is giving a press conference and he says this final is a defining moment for this season pretty much feels like the team that wins will take the momentum and then run with it while it could be a big blow to the team that loses and he says his players are ready that they have passion and they have belief and i mean it's very true win this and it could propel us forward but then lose and it could be the reason our season starts to crumble now we may be the team that's in slightly better form but in a cup final that's pretty much thrown out the window so arsenal manchester united care about cup final let's see who uh, takes trophy home it better be us now Jaden sandra gets the start of our anthony on that right wing so it's a big decision hopefully Hopefully it doesn't uh, prove to be a bad one. Luke Shaw, early chance to cross it in. That's going to be handball or a corner. It's going to be a corner. All right, Bruno, I need a good cross here and a good start. Varane has been dangerous in corners. That falls awkwardly. That's going to be another corner, I think. All right, Luke this time. Luke Shaw, that is a very good delivery. Oh, Ram still came for it at the last second. Bruno, over to Casemiro. Gets it over to Wannabe Saka, who's in for the injured Dallow. And that pass right there wasn't the greatest. Dallow should be back pretty soon, I think. Okay, more out to Wannabe Saka. Wannabe Saka's got Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho, can he go all the way? He might go all the way. Jaden Sancho gets the start. Rebound. Oh, Ramsdale, the post, and then Ramsdale saves it. Oh, man, Jaden almost gives us the first goal of the game. And Bruno, I mean, that was a very tough rebound chance. Can we get this cross in? Varane's there. Oh, Ramsdale. Ramsdale, that is an insane save. That was such a good header. All right, not a bad start from us, though. It's going to be... Sancho again. Sancho. Okay, that was a tough shot. Casemiro's got Wambi Saka. Great ball. Wambi Saka. I'll take the corner. We are putting pressure on Arsenal to we'll start this game. That's another good corner, and this time it's Neymar. Bro, Neymar has been the star man of this team this season. He has played amazing, and this has been a great start for us. All this pressure finally mounting into a decent goal. Neymar from a corner. It's a rare Neymar header, but you know what? We'll take it. It's actually over his Brazilian teammate, Martinelli. 19 minutes in, 1 0 to Manchester United. Right, Odegaard, please stop. Odegaard, good tackle by Varane. Now, Saka and Odegaard scare me because in FIFA, they always do so well against me. Oh, Casemiro, what a block. He's actually getting onto it. He, I think he actually is. He is. Okay, we look up for this game today. Bruno into Marcus Rashford. We got to shoot this early because of the defenders. Maybe I should have shot that a little bit. Maybe a few seconds later. Rashford to Bruno. Bruno has got Sancho if he could find him. I should have looked that over the top. Okay, Arsenal's defense is not looking great today. They look like they have a lot of holes at the back. Luke Shaw into Marcus Rashford. We got Bruno down the middle. Bruno is in a try and turn. He does. Okay, Gabriel just stopped that attack. I was looking for the Bruno finesse shot. Saka, please stop. Vran. Vran, I need you. Oh, I thought Saka was in a shoot near post. Okay, Saka finesse shot. This game's 1-1. That's just a great goal. Now, Luke Shaw pretty much stood no chance here. Saka had the had the first touch on him pretty much. Oh, man. I thought he was going to go near post. That's a great finish. Okay, this game is 1-1. Feels like their first actual real attack and they, they take advantage of it. Feels like the sliders of play on. Some of those goals are just unpreventable. It feels like at least. But you know what? These sliders create an actual challenge for us most of the time. So sometimes you got to just live with that. Bruno, Bruno. Oh, once again, Bruno has a pass. He can't get it to one of his forwards. Right, Sancho's got Neymar, maybe, if he can find him. Sancho, 
What a good ball to Neymar. Neymar tries to... I tried to draw a foul there, actually. I mean, that looked questionable, at least. Luke Shaw, that is some great delivery. Goes right back to him, though. Luke Shaw, good first touch. Gets it over. It's going to be... Why is it Varane? I need someone else. Okay, go to Sancho. We got time. Just relax. Oh, Martinelli just stole from Sancho. How does he actually steal it from us there? Now, Saka plays it. Odegaard, what did I say? These players, I am terrified of. Oh, man. De Gea makes an amazing save, and it goes right back to Martinelli. That is so unfortunate. Okay, we have been too sloppy in this first half. Man, pass over De Gea. That's an amazing save, but rebound just falls right back to Martinelli. At halftime, we're now down a goal. This game has been weird. They've pretty much taken their two chances. We need a big second half now if we want to win this. We can do it as long as we don't concede any more quick goals like that. Erickson just stole that ball twice, and he's going to stop. Oh, they're dribbling. Wait, that's not a foul. Wait, okay, that's a lucky bounce for us. I'll take that. Neymar, oh, we can't get it to Sancho. They're defending those wide passes so well. Whoa, they're playing very loose at the back, though. We got numbers, but they're going to break out of it. All right, where's the response? Where's the tying goal at? Erickson up to Rashford. Rashford is going to get his Luke Shaw. Shaw, back to Rashford. Rashford, I need you making a run inside the box. Goes to actually Erickson. Erickson goes for a shot, deflected. Goes right to Ramsdale, though. Casemiro has space. Gets it to Neymar. Neymar through to Marcus Rashford. Oh, it's just great defending by Ben White. Header one, though. Okay, Neymar to Rashford. Rashford. Gets it to someone. It's going to be Jaden Sancho. The shot. He can't get the shot away, though. Bro, this attack is so sloppy right now. Casemiro steals it. We're getting chances. We got to tie this up, though. We can't let this just keep going. Oh, what a tackle again. See, they're blocking so many shots, and now I'm nervous. I'm trying to get a perfect shot, and we keep getting horrible shots, actually. All right, Anthony for Sancho, and then Rabio is on for Ericsson. We're going to try that. First, two changes. Try to get us back in this game. Corner in. That looks pretty good, but Ramsdale comes all the way out for it, and Rashford takes a tumble, actually. Whoa, Neymar taking out from behind from Odegaard. Is he going to be sent off? Odegaard, I think he's sent off. That is going to be a red card for Odegaard. Okay, we got like 20 minutes left. They're down to 10 men. That is a very big call. I mean, is this the red? Is this a red? I feel like that's a yellow. We got to go ball there. That's not a red. You know what? I'm not going to say that to the ref. Anthony to Bruno. Come on. This is where we take control of the game. Rabio gets it over. Oh, no. We're getting these chances. They're right there. We just can't get a clean shot. Neymar out to Wambi Saka. Anthony is making a great run. Anthony, get it right back to the middle. It's going to be Bruno Fernandez, and this game is tied up. Okay, without Odegaard, their midfield is wide open. Could that be the reason we take control of this game now? Man, Bruno, that was not an easy finish. Not the greatest angle, but still scored. Okay, 15 minutes, and this game is tied up. Oh, no. Saka gets by both my CDMs. Martinez, though, in good position. Rashford, you've been a little quiet today, but he's using his pace right now. Marcus is using all of his pace. Okay, I'm not going to cross it in. We're going to stop. Get it to Neymar, or at least try to. Swing it back to the middle. It's going to be Bruno Fernandez. Falls to Anthony. Anthony turns. Oh, Ramsdale. That is a great save. Good delivery. Ramsdale doesn't come off for it. Varane's there. Ramsdale is keeping Arsenal in this game right now. Come on. Same thing. Bruno. That is a very good cross again. Varane's. Oh, Varane heads it. And Ramsdale just catches it. Doesn't even save it. I mean, doesn't even like parry it away. On Misaka. Anthony to Neymar. Neymar. Oh, we're just so close to getting that ball through. Rabio. Oh, we need to win that. Oh, I'm worried all of a sudden. I'm worried. I am worried. That's a shot. De Gea, I need you to grab that. Okay, at least it's not a corner. Neymar to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has got Rashford. Rashford's got Bruno. In to Bruno Fernandez. Shot across goal, and Bruno drags it wide on his left foot. Oh, man, two minutes left. I think I'm going to move Neymar out wide, and we're bringing on Hoyland. Up top for Rashford, I got to do that. And then Malassia for Shaw, we're also going to do that. Yeah, uh, maybe the best Warwick in the world gets a chance with two minutes left. Question is, is he actually going to get a chance, though? Bruno gets it out wide to Wanby Saka. Hoyland's kind of free there. Hoyland has a chance. Oh, man, that was going to fall right to him. Okay, then what is that pass? Was that Wambi Saka? I didn't mean to play that. Man, this might be going to extra time. It might be. I think it is. All right, League Cup final. This is going to extra time. Man, it felt like we could have won that in, in regular time, but we have the momentum. We have the more energy. The extra player. We should win this. Neymar cuts inside. Gets it to Bruno. Bruno. He's got Hoyland. Hoyland. Oh, once again, it's so close to getting through. That's happened like now four times. Oh, great steal, though. Neymar. Oh, I didn't mean to play that. Hoyland keeps it to Hoyland. Gets it back to Neymar. Neymar shoots and Ramsdale is going to somehow save that again. Bruno, cross in. That's Varane's. That's Varane's. Yes, it is. Okay, finally, Ramsdale can't save that. 3-2. We have the man advantage. This is now our cup final to take. And all of a sudden, we're kind of threatening from corners. Like, Neymar scored. Varane scored one now. Come on, 95th minute. 3-2. This is our trophy to take. Bruno to Anthony. Anthony's going to try and stop. Get it back to Bruno. Now, Bruno's got a lot of room. We're going to shoot this. Bruno's got room. He shoots and Ramsdale is going to catch it again. He's got glue on his gloves. You got to be kidding me. How does that ball get through? Saka, Varane, Varane, I need you. Oh, we just missed the tackle. No way. Okay, we need to defend this with absolute perfection. Martinez got around him there, but Juan Bisaka, great help defending. One, one goal might steal it. Anthony, cut inside. Can you play it to Hoyland? Oh, man, it told me Asu. They're just defending on those passes. has been so good, but Anthony steals it. Hoyland, 
back to Anthony. Anthony shoots, and that's going to be 4-2. Could that be the goal that seals the Carabao Cup final for Manchester United? Oh, man. Ten Hag's running over at Celebrate. Where am I at? I want to join in the celebrations. Great still by Anthony. Hoyland plays the smart pass back to Anthony. Oh, man. 50 more minutes, and we got a two-goal lead. All we must do now is just wrap this up. Man, right when we went down to 10 men, this game uh, pretty much changed. I feel like their attacks all of a sudden went so bad. I mean, it makes sense, though. As I'm saying, I'm not jinx it. Okay, Moran, that's a very rough tackle, but it's clean. Now, if Odegaard doesn't get sent off, I'm not sure we win this, but that is how football works. Neymar gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland, chance to shoot. Okay, he was fouled there. Hoyland steals it. Goes for the shot, and then Ramsdale saves it again. Jesus gets it over. Okay, Martinez blocks it. Varane blocks it, and then De Gea will catch it. Man, that's good defending right there. Anthony is going to try to flip it up to Hoyland. We're going to flip it up, Hoyland. And he passed it back to someone. I don't know what Hoyland tried there. One final shot. Hoyland gets it over. All to the middle again. Man, they defended that pass so well today, but it's not going to be enough. Manchester United win the Carabao Cup again. Pretty sure they won it last year, right? This is back-to-back. -back. That was not easy, but right when Odegaard got sent off, this game changed. Once again, we've been very inconsistent this season, but these are signs of progress. Winning trophies, cup finals. We may not be exactly where we want to be yet, but the results are showing that we're taking Man United back to the top. Slowly and slowly, as Bruno Fernandes gets to lift another trophy for Manchester United. It's a beautiful thing. Hopefully many more in this series, but this is the first one of the series. So we're going to celebrate this one, but we got many more trophies to get. Of course, in the dressing room, everyone's throwing a party, pretty much. The team worked hard to get to this point, and now we can celebrate. But Tenak knows this is just the start. We still have a lot more we want to achieve this season. All right, now it's time for the second leg versus Juventus in the Champions League. I mean, we're up 5-0. We are not losing this lead. So second leg is going to be 3-1, 8-1. We knock out Juventus, Neymar, Rashford, and also uh, Ericsson. And now we push on to the Champions League quarterfinals. All right, Tenag calls us into the office, and he says, so about that big signing in the summer, these three players are the potential options right now. First one is going to be Ryan Gravenberch from Bayern. Munich. 20 years old, center mid from the Netherlands. He's got potential to be like one of the best midfielders in the world at some point. He's so young, he already has a lot of experience. Now, he would cost us near 100 million. Second option is a different route. Victor Osman from Napoli. Now, this would complicate Neymar's striker spot. We'd have to figure out how to work Rashford, Neymar, and Osman together. But obviously, Osman is an absolute beast and would be insane for this team. But Ten Hag's preferred option is going to be Frankie de Jong. This is Ten Hag's dream signing in this team, at least dream midfielder signing. 25 years old, he's 87 rated. For the way Ten Hag wants to play, Play. De Jong is his dream number eight alongside Casemiro. Now he says, since Neymar has played well at striker, he wants De Jong to be the priority. And Barcelona are open to sell De Jong due to financial reasons. But Frankie is undecided. He says that he wants us to go have a meeting with De Jong in Barcelona, just us, so that it doesn't raise too much attention. And we say, okay, you got it. We'll try to see if we can convince him. Now this is perfectly planned out because the Champions League quarterfinals have been drawn. And we are facing Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. And the first leg is in Spain. So while the team heads to Madrid, we're going to head to Barcelona first. And that's in about two weeks. But first, before that, we have a game against Liverpool at Anfield. This is second versus third. And we're only two points by Liverpool trying to keep up with Man City too. So this game is huge. And the last time Man United played at Anfield, it did not go well. We'll see how it goes this time. So it's a nice little afternoon at Anfield. Now, if we win this, it gives us a good chance to leapfrog Liverpool in a second place. If we lose, it gives them a very good advantage over us. So once again, this game is very big in terms of like league position and trying to catch Man City. Now, this is not the greatest start because Luis Diaz is in our box and already looking threatening. Now, Mason Mount gets the start. Kim Min-Jay gets the start. We got some rotation this game. Whoa, Sancho was just destroyed there. You're telling me that's not a foul? Okay, don't score off that, please. You're telling me that somehow wasn't a foul. Moran collects it and we do get it out. I can't believe Sancho's not hurt after that. All right, Mason playing the number eight role that we're trying to mold him into. Gets it out to Malassia. Malassia, oh man. Okay, then he's taken out. Liverpool are playing so physical. Uh, Ref, you gonna call anything? Kim Minjay for Salah. Kim Minjay, that is a great tackle on Mo Salah. Oh, now Mason Mount is taken out. Thank you, Ref. At some point, gotta call something. The Ref is losing control of this game. Now, it's also Dallow's first game back, which pass into Varane. I don't know why that took so long. Neymar is gonna try to find Sancho. That was such an awkward attack, the way Neymar collected that pass. That should have been so much better. Now, somehow Nunez gets by there, and they might score the first goal. He just like shouldered us, bumped us like we weren't even there. Mr. Nunez scores and it's 1-0 to Liverpool. I didn't think he would just shoulder bump us and just push us like that. Okay, that's a horrible way to concede. 1-0 down in 14 minutes. Casemiro gets it to Neymar. Neymar has got uh, Rashford into Mason Mount. Mason, oh, that second touch. Good pass to Salah. Salah tracks it back. Malassia, great tackle and also prevents a corner. I don't know who's better, Malassia or Shaw. I do not know who's better. Neymar lays it off to Mount. Mount into Rashford. Gets it over to Bruno. Oh, that's not the pass I exactly wanted. That is into Thiago in a very bad spot. Thiago trying to stop there. Kim Min Jay, again, good defending. Sancho has got, oh, the touch by Sancho over Van Dijk is beautiful. Sancho then Van Dyke recovers and steals it from him. Yeah, we're like waiting too long on the ball right now. Whoa, that's a bad pass. Mason Mount over to Bruno Fernandez. Good chance to shoot. And he sends it over the net. Salah into Naby. Keita Kim Jay is having a great game. That's like his third tackle right there. Bruno, good ball to Rashford. Rashford 
Gets it to Neymar. Neymar turns. Mason Mount. Okay. What a tackle on Neymar. Once again, they're not really giving us any time on the ball right now. Okay. Dude. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Diaz. Go for a slide tackle. Molassia. Get it out. Oh, man. That's desperate defending. Oh, man. Nunez. I don't know why he wouldn't shoot there. Well, this ball is bouncing around. De Gea makes a great save, though. Now, Bruno. Okay. That was meant for Neymar, but you know what? It's fine. Molassia gets it over to Mason Mount. Mason Mount. Good turning. Gets it to Bruno. Bruno into Marcus Rashford. Turns the shot. That was so awkward. We are struggling right now to like create clear chances. All of our shots look so bad. All right, second half. One nil down. We're still in this game. It's not all bad. But we got to start playing better quick. Bruno. Neymar might be in here. Neymar. Good first touch. Great first touch. Neymar shoots. Neymar is tied it up just like that. Literally come out of halftime. Neymar is truly the star man of this team. If he's playing this good up top, like I'm not sure we need an Osmond or Harry Kane. Maybe like a better midfielder is where we should go. I don't know. But this game is 1-1. After playing not great in this game so far, that's a great way to start second half. I want to see more of it. Sancho, good ball to Casemiro. Okay, that was so awkward. I thought it was Bruno and thought he was more uh, nimble on the ball than Casemiro there. This is a good attack. This is a very good attack. Oh, gets it to Diaz. Oh, I thought we had something on that. I also thought he was offside. All right, Liverpool have an equally as fast response and it's back to being one goal for them one goal lead man what happened here i guess luke shaw kind of got turned right there okay luke shaw is tracking right there was was that luke shaw it was pretty bad if it was it was someone it was very bad though oh wait no it was dallow i think dallow kind of like just lost his man there all right we need another response mason mount has a chance for a finesse shot mason okay mason mount this game is 2-2 man mason mount scores some great goals for us like some beautiful looking goals doesn't score incredibly often but just turns finesse shot over kanate and that thing is in basically the corner all right 55th minute this game is 2-2 that is a cross in and i thought they just scored again that quickly well, this game right now is turned into all attacking no defense we're no good ball to dallo we got now sancho sancho against van dyke van dyke's gonna catch up sancho though it was a good chance to cross it there that's going to fall. Oh, man. That almost fell to Neymar, I think, right? Mason Mount gets it to Bruno. Bruno back to Mason Mount shot. Oh, man. Mason almost with a double right there. All right. Bruno crossing it. Uh, Allison does not come for that, but it's going to be saved. And Varane is an absolute threat on corners. Neymar is hurt. That is not good. When did Neymar get hurt? I didn't see it. That's going to be caught by Allison. Oh, man. Neymar is hurt. That is that is extremely worrying. Sancho to Neymar. A injured Neymar. Swing this around. Rashford, chance for a finesse shot of his own, and that is going to be blocked. And I hope Neymar runs it off that injury, because if he gets injured, our season is pretty much... It feels like it's over if he's hurt. Okay, Varane just literally elbowed, I think, Salah in the face and then didn't get called. This is truly a derby right now. Malassia gets it to Rashford. Rashford. Okay, no, I didn't think that would go to Bruno. Bruno, another chance to shoot, and Allison is going to save it. Yeah, I think Neymar is fine. He's not hurt anymore. Okay, thankfully he's not. Uh, let's do Garnacho for Sancho, and I think that's it for now. Bruno cross in Varane. Varane is there for that. Oh, man, how many chances has Varane had from corners towards the end of the season? I feel like he's had so many. Give me another one. Varane, again, that's going to be clear by Van Dyke. Header by Garnacho into Casemiro, who's got some shooting. That is going to be blocked, though. Goes out wide. Is that Garnacho? Garnacho has some space. Garnacho tries to take on Robertson, but absolutely fails. We got 15 minutes, and this game is extremely tense. That's a great ball, though. Mason Mount. Oh, I should have flipped it over the top. Casemiro, great tackle. Okay, this game is still. Could go either way. Mount gets it to Bruno. Bruno. Pass to maybe Garnacho. Oh, man. Van Dyke shielded that so well. Great pass back to Neymar. Neymar. Van Dyke. Oh, Neymar tried to steal it. Man, this game is so close. Someone scoring a goal. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Varane, that is very good defending. All right, Neymar to left wing. Miguel Ramirez brought on for Rashford. And then Arabio on for Mount. One of our young talents give us the win in this game. Clear that, please. Dallo, good clearance. And we got four minutes. We got to steal this right now. Oh, man, we were so close to stealing that. Now they might get a chance. Oh, no. Oh, what a back heel. De Gea, great save. Oh, it's going to be a corner, though. Man, De Gea may have just saved us right there. That's a corner. That's dangerous. Okay, very dangerous. Let's get it out. Bruno. Oh, man. Bruno just runs into trouble. Now, we should get this and have a chance. This is dangerous, but we're going to try to do it. Get the ball out. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, De Gea. No, I wanted I wanted Download to, like, run wide and play it out to him. I can't believe I just did that. Just literally throwing away three points, or at least a point. Oh, man, I knew it was risky. I shouldn't have done that. This is called being too greedy. I, I wanted... It was actually Varane. I wanted Varane to, like, tail out there. But he kind of went back towards the penalty spot, and then Gakpo just reads De Gea's pass. Look at De Gea. Why does it look so real? Realistic. Oh, that's such a bad mistake by me, though. It's a realistic mistake by De Gea, but it's also me. We may have time here, though. Okay, we may have time to try and tie this up. Neymar to Miguel Ramirez. Ramirez gets it to Neymar. Neymar gets it to Miguel Ramirez. Chance to score. And Allison saves it. I can't believe it. We had a chance to tie it up. Oh, Miguel Ramirez. I should have maybe chipped the keeper. I didn't trust Ramirez there quite. Oh, that is such a tough loss. That should have been a draw. It should not have been a loss. A realistic looking mistake. But it's not De Gea's fault. It's mine. 
Oh man, so we're now five points behind Liverpool and what? Seven points behind Man City? Of course, Jurgen Klopp is ecstatic about that win in the post-game press conference. He says mistakes are part of the game and today they win in our favor. And he says this win now gives us a chance to try and catch Man City. I can't believe the eyes lost like that. That is so bad. Now, if I want to try and have an excuse, hey, is handling kicking our 78 and 71. That's all I'm going to say. That's my little excuse there. Okay, we actually have one more game before our trip to Spain. We have Crystal Palace at home. Now, win this and we'd only be two points behind Liverpool, four points behind Man City. So a win here could maybe correct or at least make me feel better about that past mistake. If we lose this, then it's pretty much us out of the title race, I feel like. So this game's big. Now, before this game, there's a lot of rumors going around of a potential Manchester United takeover. The Glazers selling the club as for Ritz Romano reports. I mean, there is rumors all year long, but there might actually be some traction now. We're talking to Ten Hag about it, and he says there's starting to be some real progress, and that next season, we might have new owners. So that has a lot of uh, implications for this series. But for now, let's just try and beat Crystal Palace with a rotated team, pretty much. So in this game, we got Hoyland, we got Ramirez starting, we got Ramirez on the bench, so we got some youngsters in the squad, at least. We still got Neymar. Bruno in there. Very big game. We should win this and we need some uh, young energy to help us win it. Miguel Ramirez has got some space here. Why not go for a shot? Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. If that had a little more power on it, it might have been a goal. Now, funny enough, Ramirez has assists a lot. He hasn't really scored that much though. I mean, he's called the next Ronaldo. Like, he's got to start scoring at some point. He is the lone youth player we found this season. Luke Shaw dribbling into Erickson. Great pass. Now, Christian Erickson looking for the right pass. He's going to stop. Get it back to... Bruno Fernandez, that is a good block. That makes me so sad. All that space, and we shoot it right at the Chris Palace player. Bruno gives it to Hoyland. No, I need Hoyland to get more on a run there. On Misaka to Bruno. Gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland, oh, okay. It was a little eager to shoot there. Neymar tries to dink it over to Luke Shaw beautifully. Dylan, get it back to Neymar. Back to Luke Shaw. This is like ping pong football. Luke Shaw crossover. It's going to be Bruno Fernandez header, and it's going to be 1 0. Okay, all that passing somehow works, and. We have scored the first goal in this game. That was definitely a bit of uh, too much passing, but you know what? In the end, it works. Now, I don't want to see an immediate response, Varane. That is very solid defending. Casemiro to Miguel Ramirez. He's got Hoyland. He's going to find Hoyland. The pass was a little weird, but Hoyland scores again. Oh, he might be the next Erling Holland. He feels like a little bit shorter version of Holland. He's got such a big presence in like the box. And once again, Miguel Ramirez, another assist. And now he's looking like the Portuguese David Beckham, not the next Ronaldo, but hey, we're 2-0 up. I'm not mad. Luke Shaw, Hoyland. Okay, I didn't think Hoyland would actually get that, so I stopped. I should have kept running. Maybe I had a chance there. Oh, they might score though. Okay, De Gea, great save at the near post. You guys gotta let me know. Should we sell David De Gea? Should we sign a new keeper? If you look in FIFA, Devin Hayes' rating is probably a little bit more than it should be compared to real life. So I do feel like he's a little bit better than he should be, but does that mean we should sell him? Do we replace him? I'm not sure. Hey, Margaret still into Bruno. Now look at Hoyland run. Hoyland, he's just an absolute force. Hoyland! Okay, get him around the last guy. Oh, man, I thought he had actually had a chance to. Every time Hoyland gets on the ball, it feels like something good's gonna happen, though. Okay, what is this attack? They, this is like a four on two. What a touch. De Gea makes a great save. Making his case. Okay, that's a lot of... Uh, Passing in her box and De Gea makes another amazing save. Bro, he is hearing me talk. Literally, he's trying to make his case. Casemiro, Hoyland is running flat. Hoyland, he is an absolute force. Hoyland, chance to score again. And Hoyland scores again. We may have found an actual beast. Like Erling Holland 2.0? I think so. And also 3-0 in 41 minutes. Neymar, Hoyland again. Hoyland again. Goes for, okay, what kind of header attempt was that? I wanted you to volley that. Okay, don't let him score immediately. De Gea makes another save. That might be like five saves in the first half for De Gea. And that is the first half. Now, in the scenario where we buy a striker or we play Hoyland up top next season, say, I feel like if we do that, De Gea makes another good save. We would have to sell either Garnacho, uh, Sancho, or Anthony. And I feel like probably right now, I think Sancho is the most likely to be sold. I feel like he's probably the worst out of those three. Actually, Anthony's had a lot of issues lately. He might be signing for Prison FC, so actually, I don't even know. It might be Anthony. Point is, if we sign Osman or someone, I feel like we'd have to sell a winger. What are we doing right now? Maybe I should focus. Maybe I should focus so that they don't score. De Gea makes another save. This might be De Gea's best game of the season. I feel like even fans who uh, liked De Gea, I feel like they've started to turn on him now, too. I don't see many people defending him anymore. Christian Eriksen, chance for a beautiful finesse shot. It's the crossbar, and that would have been nice. Ramirez to Bruno. We got Neymar down the middle. Somehow, Bruno got that to Neymar. Neymar is going to score the chip. Oh, that is just dirty from Neymar Jr. And this game is 4-0. Okay, I'm going to try and protect some players here for that uh, Real Madrid game. So we got Garnacho. We got Vermeeren coming on. We got Timber coming on. I don't think I've played Timber yet, so this might be his first appearance. Our, our midfielder we bought from Feyenoord. This is 4-0. I feel like this game is getting into very... Comfortable territory for us. Sancho Cross is linked in. Varan was there for that. Falls to Martinez. Down. Okay, Ramirez had a chance for rebound. Okay, like, I wasn't even going to say anything. 
Like, I was just in shock that De Gea made those two saves. But it's going to be a penalty. Bro, the fact that De Gea still made this double save, that's incredible, though. He's literally playing for his job right now. If he saves this, it, okay. De Gea, this might be his best game of his career, maybe. Because he is on fire this game. Oh, no, De Gea. You might have to make another save. You might have... He's actually made another save. Bro, I cannot believe how good De Gea's played. Vermeeren, get it to Garnacho. Youngster to youngster. Garnacho, okay, Garnacho's first touch there was a little bit shocking. Whoa, whoa, what are they doing? Okay, Vermeeren shot attempt, and it goes wide. Our CDM prospect. This game has erupted into chaos. Timber, good ball to Hoyland. Hoyland stops. Gets it to Jane Sancho. I thought he would. Sancho, dink up to Hoyland. Hoyland, volley attempt. Oh, man, that was for his hat trick. Sancho cross in. Who is that? Is that going to be Ramirez? It was Ramirez. Garnacho, get it back out to Sancho. Sancho, left-footed, dink up of the box. Hoyland's there for it. Hoyland is literally Erling Holland 2.0. He has scored another hat trick. Bro, heading. He's got the pace. He's got the shooting. Jaden Sancho is a great cross, but oh man, Hoyland fights for it over two guys. It's a beautiful header. Hoyland already has two hat tricks. He's only played for United for probably like what? Three months? Maybe two months, really? Oh my, that is another save by De Gea. This is the David De Gea game. I think he's made probably like nine saves. And they've all been like not easy saves. There's been a lot of tough ones. His fate might be sealed. He might be already going to be sold, but still. He's proving in this game he can still be a solid keeper in FIFA, at least. Final corner. Will David De Gea get his clean sheet in this game? Lofted in. De Gea, one more save. It's so fitting. That's how the game ends. But man, Rasmus Hoyland, another hat trick. He's playing amazing. And a 5 no win, so now two points by Liverpool. That was a very good win with some of the rotated players. And yeah, David De Gea had 11 saves that game. So pretty much that win means we stay in the title race, albeit barely. And there's still eight games left. I mean, a lot can happen in eight games. But okay, we're back home. We're packing our bags. We're getting ready for a little trip to Spain for the Champions League. And also, of course, a little side trip to Barcelona. So we get all our stuff. We head out the door, pack our bags in the car, and we head off to the airport. Now, the team is going to Madrid. We're going to Barcelona. Barcelona first. So we land in Barcelona and we have a meeting scheduled with Frankie de Jong. Now we're meeting up at a restaurant downtown. Just ourselves and de Jong just to talk. So we're walking along the beautiful streets of Barcelona looking for this uh, little restaurant. We find it and we sit and wait for Frankie de Jong. And about 10 minutes later, he shows up. Now I fast forward about 20 minutes. We're deep into this conversation about his future. And he says he likes living in Barcelona. And we see, of course, I mean, Barcelona is great. But since you joined Barcelona, have things gone as you expected? And he says, to be fair, no. With the whole messy saga, the financial stuff, it's not exactly what he thought it would be. And he says because of financial reasons, Barcelona have even told him that if he wants to leave, they won't stop him. But for the time being, he's happy living in Barcelona playing for them. And we tell him, look, if you stay at Barcelona, you'll be remembered as a great player that played for Barcelona. But Eric Ten Hag wants you to be the centerpiece of our midfield. And if you join us, you'll be remembered as a Manchester United legend. So you have time until the summer. Just think about it. And Frankie says, okay, I will. And we say, we'll be in touch. So we call Ten Hag after and he says, how'd it go? And we say, we think it went well, but De Jong is a hard guy to read. So we're not entirely sure how he feels about it. We'll have to see in the summer. And then Ten Hag says, okay, it's time for you to get to Madrid because we got the biggest game of our season coming up next. Champions League quarterfinals, Real Madrid versus Manchester United. I mean, we're facing arguably probably the second best team left in this Champions League. So this is going to be a true test for this team. And the first leg is at the Bernabeu. And before this game, Rashford is giving an interview and he says this club has made a lot of strides this year. For us to be in the Champions League quarterfinals, it's a mark of progress for the club. But we don't want to just stop here. We want to keep moving forward. So this right here is a big moment. And it is because we are facing this uh, Real Madrid team that looks absolutely insane. Other than Man City, this is probably the best team we faced all year long. So I'm going with my best 11. Champions League quarterfinals first leg. We're going to see what happens in Spain. And I also can't wait till we get to next season because these green kits are horrible and we won't have to wear them anymore. I'm telling you, th those green kits, these are not good. But Champions League quarterfinal first leg kicked off. I am not sure what to expect, but this is the biggest test for this team so far in the series. Anthony over Sancho this game, I think just based on form, Anthony's played a little bit better. Casemiro, okay, that is a little bit sloppy. Not the greatest. Uh, first pass by Casemiro. Man, Real Madrid are playing so fast right now. The speed at which they're playing at is a little bit alarming. Okay, now we have some space in Luke Shaw. Now Luke Shaw up to Marcus Rashford. Good touch. Rashford tries to dink it up to someone. Okay, that was supposed to go to Neymar. That was such a weird pass. Erickson wins to Anthony though. Anthony, oh, his touch was terrible off his chest. Benzema finds Vinicius. I can, we can't. Oh my, De Gea, what a save. We had no chance there to catch up. De Gea, that was amazing. It does show that there are some dangers though. A lot of dangers. Another good ball to Vinicius. That is a terrible pass by him though. Okay. We need to slow this game down a little bit because right now, this is all Real Madrid. Oh, okay. He just got poked from behind, I think. Oh no, Vinicius, Vinicius trying to block that pass. He's going to stop. Get to the Benzema. Martinez, what a tackle. Okay, we got to be more patient than this. That's a shot, De Gea. Man, De Gea is in form. Modric cross in. Anthony. Anthony. 
That is such a bad clearance, but Casemiro just saved us. Okay, we need to wake up. That is into Vinicius, and we can't save it this time. Real Madrid score the first goal of this game. Vinicius got Vinicius has gotten free now like three times. It's gonna happen. It was bound to happen at this point. It's just why is he free? He kind of goes towards the middle. I guess Casemiro. Did I bring him over? I don't even know. Why is there so much space in our right in our box like that? All right, first punch is thrown, and it's Real Madrid. Oh, Vinicius gets it, Benzema. Whoa. If he would have dribbled more and got closer, he would have scored that. We just got let off the hook by that shot. Okay. I don't know why they're getting so much space, though. Benzema. Cross in. That is Casemiro to get out. Okay, Casemiro does well there. Anthony, just get it out. And even Vinicius. Okay. This passing is insane. De Gea, save. Benzema will collect it. Gets it back. De Gea, another save. Man, this is just a lot of pressure by Real Madrid. I mean, they're the home team, so it's not surprising. But it's just like, how much longer can we withstand this? Without conceding a second, this is getting out of hand. Hey, uh, another save. This is already their fifth corner. Like, this is getting out of hand quickly. That's going to be over the net. I think finally, it will be a goal kick for us. Luke Shaw, great ball to Erickson. Erickson's got Neymar. Going to try to find Neymar. Neymar turns, shoots, and Neymar scores. This game is tied up. Okay, that, that chance came out of nowhere. Luke Shaw, great ball to Erickson. Erickson, great ball to Neymar. It's just like that. Oh, man, we needed that so badly to alleviate some, like, pressure. And Neymar, good turn. That was almost closed down by the uh, Remage defender, but nope. This game is 1-1. Okay, tied up. Dallow, we got Neymar. Far post. Neymar? Chance to climb for that. Oh, Bruno. Good touch. Gets it to someone. Oh, Anthony was so free there, and Courtois was so out of his goal. That was so weird. Oh, no, Vinicius now. Man, Vinicius is just so good. Oh, that, what a pass to Benzema. Benzema, please no. Okay, Valverde kind of loses it there. It's going to drag it back, though. Okay, please get it out. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, we missed our tackle, and then Benzema missed the ball, I think. Bro, this is such a weird first leg, weird first half. Good pass into Benzema. Back to Chumeni. Chumeni cross in. Just please get this ball out. De Gea grabs it. And that's first half. Okay. This has been a very chaotic first half. That Neymar goal was so big. Because if we were still 1-0 down and they're putting all this pressure on us, it would have been so bad. At least now he has some like footing in this game. Albeit it feels like not that much. Vinicius to Benzema. Martinez tried to stop that. Martinez, great defending. Chumeni gets it to Rodrigo. Martinez, Martinez. Okay, De Gea. Oh, man. They are so close. This is the most pressure any team has put on us. Martinez, again, another clearance or block, actually. Erickson out to Rashford now. Rashford, we got Neymar. Neymar, gonna try to find him. We do. Neymar gets it back to Luke Shaw. Get it towards the middle again. Erickson. Oh, man. Casemiro, I need you to, like, provide an option there. He's just standing with, I think, uh, their forward finishes. Okay, Rashford has space again. This time, we gotta execute at least. We need to create a chance. Rashford cuts inside. Beautifully done. Neymar. Get out the way because it's Marcus Rashford and Courtois makes the save. Bro, Luke Shaw looks like the Hannibal Lecter. What is up with uh, his and Rashford's face? There's some glitch going on. I am not sure what that is. They both look hilarious. We're going to ignore that for the time being. Now, we got about 20 minutes left, and I feel like Real Madrid have by far the better team this game. So, if we can escape here with a draw, I think I'll be happy with that. Okay, Luke Shaw, just get it out. Just clear it. And they just look so threatening every single attack. Modric gets it over to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, long shot. De Gea is going to save that. Man, they're taking some long shots tonight. First sub is going to be Sancho on for Mr. Uh, Mr. Anthony. Short corner to Vinicius. Sancho, that's a very good tackle by Sancho. Cross in, out by Sancho again. Doesn't win that header, though. And now they're bringing this right back Vinicius gonna try to pass it over I think he is Erickson okay Sancho's actually down hurt Neymar oh man that's a bad place to give it away Vinicius please Vinicius please okay that is some great defending by Varane on Vinicius we just like can't get any attack on right now oh as I'm saying that Rashford oh Rashford has got space out to Erickson Erickson dinks it up to someone okay okay Sancho's hurt and he just fell over again Sancho just stopped moving for a second oh no back to Benzema Benzema somehow gets it back to Rodrigo doesn't shoot Stops. Okay, Martinez, great clearance. So many to Rodrigo. Martinez, again, that's probably like his third interception to save a goal, I think. Sancho, out to Dallow. Dallow, crosses it to Neymar. Neymar, Neymar, what was that header attempt? What? That, that was like a, that was worse than a pass. Vinicius, chance, Vinicius, chance to win the game for them. He's actually scored that. He literally got like two inches of space and he just, I can't believe they just won the game like that. We gave him like inches of room there. I did not think he was going to score from here. He's got, that's outside the box. I'm trying to close him down. I guess he wasn't that far out. I thought he was. I thought he wasn't going to score that though. That came out of absolutely nowhere. In what? The 90, 90, that's it. That's final kick of the game. Oh man, that's probably what they deserve to be honest. Like they were by far a better team. We're still only a goal down, so it's not bad for the second leg, but still. To concede a goal like that, just a great shot by Vinicius that late. That is the definition of unfortunate right there. Lane Drama sees Vinicius seal Real Madrid win. Man, I hope that goal doesn't come back to haunt us. So next episode will be the season one finale. We are seven points off Man City in first. Now we are out of the FA Cup. I think we got knocked out by 
Arsenal in one of these rounds. They got revenge for us. Yeah, 2-1 in round five. So we're out of the FA Cup. We won the Carabao Cup. But more importantly, we are down 2-1 in Real Madrid in the Champions League quarterfinals. So this sets up a very interesting season one finale in which we'll face Man City to start. Our whole season comes down to this, a Premier League title race and also the Champions League quarterfinals against Real Madrid. Now we've made a lot of improvements this year as a club. That includes winning the League Cup again. But is that it? Is that all we're going to achieve this season? So with potential new owners on the horizon, this is quite literally a season defining episode. So drop a like if you're enjoying the series and let's get into this season one finale. So we're at home right now in our apartment and we're actually starting to pack our stuff up because we're going to be moving to a new place in the summer. Could potentially be even a new house. Uh, hopefully still in Manchester. I can't see Tanag firing me, but honestly, who knows? So we're in training before the next game and Tanag wants to talk to the team. He says, we're very close to the end of the season. I know a lot of you are tired. It's been a long one, but we still have so much to fight for. If we can beat first place Man City in the next game, it would blow the title race wide open. And then after that, we have to try and make a comeback against Real Madrid in the Champions League. So these next two games are without a doubt the two biggest games of our season. Okay, first comment is basically saying, don't forget that Garnacho is the biggest youth prospect for Manchester United. Yeah, I feel like I probably haven't played Garnacho enough this season in season one. I think it's pretty much been a development year for Garnacho, which I think season two, that's going to change. The next one, are we possibly going to see you coach a national team in the series? Yeah, I mean, since we're an assistant coach, I can actually see us maybe managing a national team. Now, I don't know which country could be like a small one, could be a big one. I mean, Miguel Ramirez next Ronaldo, maybe we manage Portugal and try to win him. Maybe like the Euros or World Cup. So it's a possibility if you guys want to see that. And last one, you should do your own upgrades and downgrades to rating potential at the end of the season. Yeah, so I'm going to do this before actually the start of season two. So I'm going to give players upgrades and also downgrades depending on how they play this year. For example, like back to Garnacho. Garnacho, I would probably upgrade him to like probably 77 rated. Maybe like Hoyland up to like 78. And then I'm not exactly sure why I downgrade. Maybe I would like Ericsson, Casemiro, or like Varane due to age. But the point is, at the start of season two, there's going to be upgrades and downgrades for some of the players to make things a little bit more interesting. But okay, our next game is the Manchester Derby at Old Trafford. So in this game, we could either blow the title race wide open at Old Trafford, which would be incredible, or Man City could basically secure the Premier League title by beating us, or at least take a large step towards that. So this game is so big. This might decide our Premier League season. Now, unfortunately, Sancho was hurt. He got injured in training, so he's gonna be out for this game. I'm not sure. Do I just put an Anthony? I feel like I probably should just play Anthony over him. We're gonna do that. So this time, Holland starts for Man City up top as we now face this trouble winning Man City team. Okay, I didn't realize how tired Varane and uh, Luke Shaw were, and also even uh, Dallo. So Kim Min J for Varane, and then uh, Wambi Saka for Dallo. That's changes we made. Because we also faced Real Madrid in like two days, so players are gonna be tired, but that's just how it is towards the end of a season. So the biggest Premier League match of the season kicks off. We wanna try and prevent Man City win the title, so this game is just so big. But Man City are Man City. They're just terrifying. Now, we did beat them last time we faced them, but it did feel like a little bit lucky. It was a very chaotic game, so I'm not sure how this one is going to go. Andre Martinez out to Luke Shaw, who's toughing it out today. The man is rinsed, but he's going to try to tough it out. Rashford, almost a very good chance there. Back out to Luke Shaw. We got some options. Okay, I didn't want that to go to Neymar. I wanted that to go to Bruno. Anthony up to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno to Anthony. Now, Anthony's got options. He's also got a chance to just drive forward. Go with the finesse shot. Anthony, that's a very good shot. Bruno Fernandez, corner in. That is Neymar. Try to climb for that. I don't know who that bestiani, whatever his name is. Oh, Erickson just loses it from behind. I don't know who that guy is. Man City always have like a weird fullback in their team, always, in every series. Oh, De Bruyne, that's great touch. He's going to try to find Holland. He is going to find Holland and... Okay, thankfully Gundogan's offside. Puts him on the back of the net, but he was like right in front of De Gea. I don't know what we tried there, but at least it worked. It is a very big warning sign though. Neymar can't get it up to Bruno. Gundogan into Holland. Oh, Kim and Jay gets a good tackle there. But okay, De Gea got something on that. Gundogan still scores though. That shot didn't even seem powerful, but it still goes in. All right, league leaders go up 1-0 uh, in this game. This just felt weird. Holland, good pass Gundogan. I thought we were at, I thought we had space to block that, but De Gea can only get like a hand to it, I think. I mean, is that De Gea's fault? I am not sure, to be honest. Gondawan just loves scoring against Manchester United. It's 1-0 in the 18th minute. We missed Brandon this game, but I had to rest him for Real Madrid. He was so tired. Casemiro to Bruno. We got Neymar and Rashford. Now, I tried to I tried to pass it to one of them. You know what? This actually might be better. Oh, I thought Rashford was going to get that. That almost worked. It was almost a very good mistake. Okay, Neymar. Oh, Neymar. Great ball to Marcus Rashford. Marcus, I need you to score this to make it 1-1. And Marcus Rashford scores. Man, Neymar playing a little bit of false nine there. Great ball to Marcus. Okay, game is 1-1. We're back in this. On his left foot, I was a little bit worried here, but Marcus still gets the gets the goal. All right, 28th minute game is 1-1. Okay, Erickson, great steal. Now, Bruno's got options here. We're going to try to play it up to Anthony. Anthony. Tries to take it down. Cleared by Laporte. Casemiro wins that. Wambi Saka has got a little bit of space. Gets it to Marcus. Oh, I try to play it to Neymar right there. I try to slip it into him. Okay, no, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, Martinez got something on that. Barely enough. We are playing a dangerous game here, though. Christian Eriksen, good ball to Bruno. Goes over to Neymar. Neymar has got Marcus Rashford. 
again in front of goal and i thought rashford actually scored that his face is back to normal last episode was a little bit weird oh man i thought we scored that rashford into neymar those two are combining very well today neymar tries to cut inside nathan ake just takes him out fans want a penalty neymar could be injured you're telling me that's not a foul all oh, these refs never give us these calls neymar is on the floor hurt in the way rashford's gonna go for a finesse shot ederson save anthony can't collect it neymar is hurt this is not good but that's first half game is 1-1 can neymar continue to play that's the question here okay he's still hurt we're gonna see if he runs it off though if not he's gotta be taken off bro before real madrid if neymar is hurt our best player our higher top goal scorer that is gonna be such a big blow to us holland oh what are you doing holland stop oh kim and jay gets by him kim and jay recovered there so well against holland actually that's a shot by gundawan he just loves playing against us huh that's gonna be a corner De Bruyne into the box is that Dallow? No, that Ericsson off. Someone had a good clearance, but it's right back in the box though. Mares, Mares, stop. Luke Shaw, good tackle, but there's a lot of pressure right now. Feel like the more they're just chilling in front of us, the more likely they are to score. Holland had almost a free header there. Yeah, Neymar still he's got to be taken off. Unfortunately, Anthony can't get the ball either. Man, Neymar has to be taken off, and I think he's actually hurt. Before the cycling like versus Real Madrid, it's the worst timing possible. Luke Shaw. Up to Rashford. Rashford can't turn there. Laporte is in the clear again. Look for this ball to go out, so we get Neymar off. But you know what? It's just not getting off. Bruno. Lays it off to Anthony. Anthony shoots, blocks. Bruno, another chance to shoot. Also blocked. Oh, man. Those are two really good chances. All right, three changes. Hoyland, Garnacho, and then Mason Mount coming on. So Hoyland for Neymar. It's not the change I want to make, but we got to do it. One, boys. Withstand the pressure. De Gea. That is an amazing save on Holland. Oh, man. That's a big save. All right, we're going to try to find something here. Hoyland has got a little bit of space to work with. Out to Gallo, a left back who's in for uh, Luke Shaw. Rashford turns in to Hoyland. Over to Bruno Fernandez takes his time and we actually have taken the lead. Without Neymar, we are 2-1 up against Man City. Oh man, that was so patient. Hoyland, Rashford did so well there. Dallo. Hoyland gets the assist and Bruno, it's a very calm finish from our captain. Okay, United take the lead in the 68th minute. If we could win this, it would be so big. All right, Mares, that's a great touch. Is he going to try to find Holland? I think he is. Whoa. Oh my, I barely knew what was happening and they've scored. That was the quickest cross and first time shot I've ever seen. I did not think they were going to do this. Holland gets in front of Kim and Jay here. Oh, the worst timing. Man, that was so quick. They just totally caught us off guard right there. Man, okay, this game's 2-2 now. 20 minutes, it's all tied up again. Right after we score, bro, that's so unfortunate. Mason up to Hoyland, Hoyland to Rashford. Oh, Bruno, are you still on side? It doesn't matter because that was a bad pass. Ball in the box again. And okay, Kim and no, Martin is actually. Martinez just prevented a maybe Man City winner. Hoyland, are you free here? Hoyland, you are Erling Holland 2.0, and he has got no support. He's going to try and stop, try and play a ball. Okay, that's so awkward, but it falls. Gets it to Rashford. Okay, this is extremely weird. Hoyland shot. Falls to Mason Mount, and he scores. Okay, 80th minute. That ball just fell so kindly to Mason Mount. Oh, man, what a fortunate, just weird bounce that goes our way. All these horrible shots that are blocked well, and the ball just gets over to Mason Mount. What a good first-time finish from Mason. Just hit that as cleanly as he could right into the back of the net. Okay, 80th minute. We have retaken the lead. Can we actually hold it now, though? Hoyland, great steal. Hoyland is the future of this team. I think we're seeing that now. Rashford, Hoyland, get it to Bruno. We can steal this game right now, Bruno. Gets it over to Mason Mount again, and that's going to be the game 4-2, I think. Oh, man, what a closely contested game, and I think we're actually going to win it. And Mason Mount has come up big, too. All of our subs, Hoyland, Mason Mount, all have come up so big in this game right here. Mason Mount is the definition of a super sub. Eight minutes left. There's no way we give up a two-goal lead, right? There's no way. Bro, if they score again, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind if they score and make this a close game. Because that goal should literally seal it. Oh, okay, I didn't expect. Really, I should do that. Okay, just clear it, just clear it. You got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me, Gundogan scores. You have got to be joking they actually got a chance like that. That is the worst defending of my life. I'm getting, like, destroyed by Jack Grealish over here. And, of course, it's Gundogan. Okay, we got what? We got four minutes, bro. They scored in what? Four minutes? Oh, we just got to try and keep possession. Just don't lose it in a bad spot. Bruno gets it to Garnacho. Garnacho, be smart. We got a minute left. Just be smart. Hold the ball, Garnacho. That was uh, pretty nice. Four minutes added on. Ref, are you crazy? Okay, we got to throw in here. Gonna, we got to try and be super extra smart. I am not... Losing this lead. Dallo, use your strength. Use everything you have, Dallo, please. Okay, a minute left. Dallo, you're offside. Dallo. Okay, don't lose the ball. Mason Mount. You know what? We might have actually done it. Oh, man. I was not going to lose this lead. Garnacho sends it over the net, but that should be it, right? That is it. Oh, man. It's so loud in here. I came in here. 4 3. We beat Man City, though. And this title race is wide open now. That is a instant classic Manchester derby, though. Oh, man. Neymar is hurt, though. He has a bruised shoulder. It's only six days, but he's going to miss the second leg versus Real Madrid. Oh, man. That is so unlucky. It's only in, yeah, two days. He's not making it back. We're going to have to try and make the comeback against Real Madrid without Neymar, man. That's so unfortunate. All right. So we sit four points behind Man City, though, now. Yeah. If they would have beat 
beat us, that would have been pretty much a uh, game over for us. Now it's bowl wide open because Man City play Liverpool in their next game. So that's big. We got to hope for either a Liverpool win or a draw. If Man City beat Liverpool, that's really bad for us too again. But that win pretty much keeps us alive in the title race for now. Now before Madrid, Tanag calls us in for a meeting and he says he has some news. He says there's a lot of pressure on the Glazers right now to sell the club. There's a lot of fans protesting and they're putting a lot of pressure on the Glazers. So he might have some news for us in a few weeks. Now this Real Madrid game is tomorrow. We're trying to relax a little bit, not think about football. And we have some extra money saved up. So we're actually looking at buying a new car maybe. I mean, don't get me wrong. We love our car, but we're just looking around seeing what we can buy maybe. I mean, what do you guys think? What kind of car should we buy? Because I feel like for season two, we'll probably get another check where we could afford to buy a maybe a second car and we do have a lot of options so we'll see so no neymar what do we do here uh sancho's back so that's good we could either do hoyland for neymar or like rashford up top and then sancho in for uh, neymar pretty much i think hoyland's played good enough to where i think we do neymar for hoyland we, we gotta do that i mean hoyland's got seven goals in eight games so i think that's the right choice we are down a goal coming back to old trafford now our champions league hopes and dreams come down to this one game here as unfortunate as it is it does feel realistic for neymar to be out in a big game like this it just feels a little bit realistic but it's so unfortunate to happen that way real madrid united we're down a goal this is gonna be big and what a tackle by real madrid to start the game okay they're looking to close this out today with a lot of uh, aggressiveness casemiro oh that is so unfortunate that missed tackle into vinicius they just dragged it back through De Gea, and they've already scored. Wait, wait, wait. They came at us so quick there. I've never seen a team start that quick. Man, we made a tackle on too many, but the ball just bounced right back to him. And then, okay, Vinicius, what is that pass back to Rodrigo? He got it through De Gea, and also Martinez tried to block it, but can't. Okay, we are down two goals within three minutes now. That's a nightmare start. Okay, we need a response quick. Casemiro, Casemiro. Oh, man, they're just putting so much pressure on him right now. This... This is not good. Vinicius, Vinicius on Varane, Varane. That is some good defending right there, though. We need more of that. Oh, this is just so bad. They have so much space. Martinez tracking back. Oh, that's a bad pass, though. Oh, no. If they score one more, it might be done. They have really scored twice within the first 10 minutes. Man, they're just putting so much pressure on us. That was a bad pass by me. But the pressure that we're facing right now is insane. They're just like all over us. It is 4-1. This is going to have to be one of the best comebacks of Champions League history if we want to win this now. Almost like uh, Liverpool-Barcelona at Anfield vibes. Now, that's a good pass into Rashford. Rashford. Oh, there's an open net. Hoyland shoots. Okay, that is what we needed. Courtois came all the way out for that, and he's literally an open net. Rashford. Oh, man, Courtois. That is a blunder right there. Okay, it's only one goal, but that's giving us a little bit of life now. Hoyland. I mean, he has an open net. You better score that. Okay, 4-2. There is a chance. That is such a weird goal to get us back in it, though. I feel like Ericsson's really good, but in facing a team like this, it's this good. I feel like it's where our lack of having a really good number eight definitely shows. Where a player like Frankie de Jong or Gravenberch, I mean, they'd be much better than Ericsson. Especially in, like, FIFA terms. Bruce gets it to Vinicius, who's been absolutely annoying in this game. He's been so good. But we break? Okay, we have a chance here, definitely. There's a lot of belief in this team. Hoyland gets it to Bruno. We need more help, though. Bruno turns, tries to lay it off to Erickson. Erickson can't get it. We're putting pressure on uh, Courtois to make another mistake, though. Bro, they're just pressing my back line so much, and it's causing issues. Oh, Rashford. That should have been a simple pass to Bruno. He would have had a simple one-on-one -on -one that probably would have been a goal right there. Now, Rodrigo crosses it. Varane, get it back to De Gea. No more mistakes. De Gea, just, just kick it. Benzema to Vinicius into Valverde. I'm waiting for the track back. That was such a weird shot. De Gea. Makes the save, at least, though. Bro, Vinicius is just creating so many problems for us right now. Him, Rodrigo, Benzema, they are just creating issues. You gotta be kidding me. It's just as simple as a pass like that. Vinicius is free, and now this is 5-2. Our defense today is just not good enough to withstand this Real Madrid attack. Just getting cut apart, and we're now down three goals again. Even four goals scored in the first, what, under 40 minutes? Just not what we wanted. Anthony to Hoyland, Hoyland. Two, Bruno. Bruno has got Rashford. Okay, is that handball at least? That's not even handball. Oh, man. Nothing's going our way the last, like, 15 minutes. Now, Varane against Benzema. Benzema is going to just speed past Varane and scores. This is 6-2 against Real Madrid. I mean, Benzema. Like, Varane stood no chance there. And then De Gea can't guard his near post. It's a weird angle to shoot from. I mean, we're down four goals now. Crazy as it sounds, I feel like it's still possible to come back, but it's becoming less realistic by the second, literally. They're playing just so much quicker than us. This is now going to need to be like one of the best second halves of all time for us. Otherwise, we're knocked out. Problem is, they're not even sitting back now. They're still trying to kill this game off even more, which they might, De Gea. That is a very solid save. And they're just pressing like crazy. They're up four goals and they're still pressing like crazy. Oh, we can't even... Bro, we are getting smothered right now. Anthony out to Luke Shaw. We continue to fight, though. Luke Shaw up to Rashford. Rashford. Okay, that is not at all the pass I wanted. Anthony steals it. Okay, boys. We're going to need something special here, Hoyland. 
Gets it to Rashford. Rashford gets it to Christian Eriksen. Somehow we have scored that. I do not know how, but we did. Okay, fit, okay, Eriksen, grab the ball. He doesn't want to grab the ball. But 55th minute, we are within three goals now. Bro, this chance is so weird. We barely got these passes through. Rashford, great pass. Eriksen, a great finish on his left foot. Okay, three goals in 30 minutes. We can do it, but we just can't let them score. Anthony is taken out. Is taken out. That's going to be, oh, it's going to be a yellow for Modric. I thought it might have been a red. If we can get them sent off, that'd be, I mean, obviously be good for us. Bro, just look at the pressure they're putting on us we can't even pass it back we're in okay we somehow survived that ball's going backwards we got five Real Madrid players running at us at our two center backs like they are just they're they're playing like psychos oh they steal from Anthony this is psychopathic from Real Madrid Moran, good defending. Bruno over to Anthony. We need some kind of thing here. Hoyland is free Hoyland oh Alaba it's good positioning Rodrigo oh touch forward shot long shot thankfully the hand saves that all right now i'm gonna do Jaden sancho for anthony because i feel like i have to then mason mount for erickson we got 25 minutes to score three uh three right vinicius gets it over to valverde blocked by luke shaw and we survived that now basically 20 minutes to score three goals marcus oh hoyland this is not gonna beat oh rudiger almost actually lost that that was a little bit shaky bro they're just working through our press like we're not even there luke shaw good interception though oh that's gonna be a foul right yeah okay it's foul on them again man time is running out we need to score quick towards the middle good ball rashford rashford is in marcus rashford oh we needed to score that i want to get a little bit closer but those defenders are right on marcus owner by luke shaw i need something here i need something varan is there varan is there the header just went oh we, he didn't even hit it cleanly bro i think if rashford scores that chance we have a real real chance okay calm down benzema Jeez. but time is going by so quick now sancho up to hoyland hoyland waits gets it to bruno bruno needs one more one more gets it over to oh i don't know who that is but the shot it was mason mount i think man time is slowly Running out. Oh, Bruno loses it to Carvajal. Sancho. Hoyland, Hoyland. He's got Marcus Rashford. Rashford goes for a shot, and it's going to be blocked. Oh, man. Is that going to be it? Dallow is using all the energy he has right here. Dallow in the box. Dallow goes for a shot. It's blocked by Rudiger. Bye. Luke Shaw. Moran is there for it, but Kurt Swatt's good punch out. Oh, man. I just don't think we were good enough today. Their, their attack was so much better than ours, and our defense was not good. That is full time. Real Madrid knock us out 6-3 on aggregate. Bro, that is so unfortunate. They're just a better team, though. Like, honestly, they played better. It's obvious. We're not quite there yet to beat a team like Real Madrid. All I can say is we fought till the end, at least. We didn't really back down, but better team won and won by a pretty wide margin tonight. Man, dressing room after that game, everyone looks defeated. We had chances throughout the game to win, but but we're just not good enough yet. And I think everyone knows that. And now Tenog has to go see the media after that loss. And he says, look, it's very simple. Real Madrid were the better team. They wanted it more. They played more together. And that's the reason they beat us tonight. We are making improvements as a club, but we're not there yet. So now all we have left is the Premier League title race, which I mean, four points, it's still there. But as of right now, we're not in a commanding position at all. So next two games, we won against West Ham, but then we drew 1-1 against Arsenal. So Man City beat Liverpool, but they also drew a game like us. So five games left, three point lead for Man City up top. This title race is still on and we face spurs next at old trafford but apparently united fans are planning to protest this game having demonstrations outside the stadium now this is all to put pressure on the glazers to sell the club it's what the fans want and the fa have announced that this game will be played behind closed doors no fans due to safety reasons that is how serious these protests are now in the dressing room before the game tanak says i know it's gonna be weird without the fans there but we're still in a title race so just let the fans voice their opinion and just focus on winning this game so varan has heard this game so kim and jay again comes in for him him. Um, Neymar is back, but this is about to be very weird playing without any fans this game. I mean, they're pushing the Glazers trying to sell the club, so we understand it, but without the fans, it's basically like a, an away game right now. So, empty stadium, United vs. Spurs, fans are protesting outside Old Trafford right now. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be weird. We just gotta hope it doesn't affect us, but Lucas is already in, and Tottenham score within the first, what, three minutes. This has literally gone bad to worse in two minutes. Like, how do we let them score again like this this early? They just run at us like, bro, they're playing like Real Madrid. They've been watching, they took notes how they they rampaging got the better of us just by running at us and playing aggressive man it is dead silent in this stadium right now into hoy beer hoy beer cracks it back okay kim and jay has stopped kane okay that's great defending by kim and jay actually though rashford luke shaw come on boys we gotta try and persevere here even without the fan support oh luke shaw what is that pass and who is that even to oh you gotta be kidding me is that a penalty i think that's a free kick though i don't think it's a penalty okay outside the box thankfully but still a very dangerous spot now i think that's all oh, sunday wasn't gonna take it who's it gonna be it's gonna be dragged and then volleys Okay, ball is random in the box, and then Casemiro gets the ball. Okay, that was extremely dangerous and weird. Dallo up to Bruno. Bruno needs help. Bruno goes for the shot instead. That's a great shot by Bruno Fernandez. All right, Luke Shaw, corner. Bruno is there. It's going to be cleared again. Well, we need a response here. 
even without the home fans to tie this up and show that we have actually have a chance in this game. Neymar, great header. Okay, this game is 1-1. On the box, Neymar. Man, he got, he got between two defenders there. He got taken out too by Sanchez, I think. Bro, Sanchez. I don't know what Sanchez tried there, but okay. This game is 1-1 in the 15th minute. Erickson, great ball to Neymar. Neymar, he's got no support though. Need players to get back in to Bruno. Bruno, decent turn there. Decent turn. Holds the ball up though. Into Erickson. Erickson gets it to Neymar. Oh man, that was a great chance. Bruno, that's a great corner. Kim Min Jae is there for it, I think, but it goes over the net. Bruno is trying to find Erickson, but it's going to be caught out by Pedisic easily. Bruno, Neymar, Neymar's got Marcus Rashford, but Christian Romero puts in a foot there. Okay, at least we're making good chances now. Bouchaw into Rashford. He was taken out there. That's a great challenge. Anthony to Dallo. Dallo. Cross it in, deflected. That's going to be a free kick for us. Okay, I don't know what to do here, though, because what? I guess we got to loft it in, huh? All right, Rashford lofts it in. Okay, actually, that might work. Balls to Casemiro. Oh, the ball was right there in open net, but it's grabbed by Pickford. Kane, Kane, stop. Okay, Dallow, great attack on Harry Kane. Dallow into Bruno. Oh, Rashford was going to be so free there. Game feels so weird. It's just so quiet. Only thing we hear is like actually the players and coaches talking. Oh, Pettisic, good dribble move there. And now this is dangerous. Dallow's done well though. Kane out to Benton Kerr into Sun. They find the angle and Sun is going to score. And Kane, pretty good pass there. Then Benton Kerr found Sun. Why are we, why are we so far away from Sun there? 42nd minute. This game is now 2 1. Anthony, Goes for a long ball to Neymar. Beautifully done. Neymar can't control it though. He's got too many bodies around him. Rashford to Bruno. Bruno tries to hold it up there, but is that Orban? That's a good tackle. Oh no. Lucas gets away from Martinez again. Martinez. We try to block the pass to Kane. De Gea saves it. De Gea saves it right into Sun though. Oh, De Gea. That's just not a good place to save it like that. Pretty much run at halftime. We go down two goals now. That is so unfortunate. Halftime. And this is now 3-1 to Spurs. Hey, lose this. We might actually give the title to Man City. This could be the day where we lose the title race. Neymar to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that's not a foul? He literally just clipped Bruno's legs. You gotta be kidding me. Man, Pettisic has so much room to pick out a pass. Dallo, good defending at least. This is just not good. We need to score this second goal to give us a chance game and also not concede a fourth, which if we do, that could be it. Okay, Luke Shaw. I don't know where that shot went, but at least we didn't concede. Erickson to Rashford, Rashford into Neymar. Neymar just needs support though. Gets it over to Anthony. Anthony, back to Neymar, Neymar. Left-footed shot. Oh, we just hit the crossbar. What a shot. We needed that to go in. That is so unfortunate. Okay, we got a free kick. This is way too far out, though. I'm going to lay it off. It's going to be Bruno Fernandez. Bruno on his left foot. It's just such a heavy touch. We had to do that because the defender was putting so much pressure on us, and now Lucas is in. All right, thankfully, Rashford does a little bit of defensive work. Neymar to Erickson. Erickson is in a find. Luke Shaw. Get it back to Marcus. In to Neymar. Neymar. Another chance. Oh, it's defended so well. And they also block right back to them. Whoa, what are they doing in the back there? Pickford. And I think uh, Christian Romero. Oh, Kane in behind now. This is not good. Kim and Jay, I need your speed. I need Kim and Jay's speed. And oh, I thought he scored that. Bro, the ball is literally glued to Harry Kane's feet there. Luke Shaw has got options, but it's going to be blocked by Orban. Boys, we got to score quick here. This feels like the Rummage game. Just, we just feel so desperate. In to Neymar. Neymar. Turns, goes for a shot. Pickford saves. Wasn't enough in the corner. Bruno, oh, can't get it to Neymar, bro. These chances are there. We just can't execute. In that crossbar, it's hurt our momentum so much. Now, Kane has numbers to seal this game. We're going to go for a tackle there, and it actually might have worked. Okay, they have a free kick here. I'm not even actually sure how they got this, but Sun, a chance to maybe seal the game. Hits the crossbar and rebound. Hey, saves it, and we barely stay alive. I don't even know how they got that free kick. Might have been handball on someone. Look, our nitro's on for Anthony, and then Mason Mount on for Erickson. Just my final little. Uh, hope here. Lassia into Rashford into, okay, Neymar. What is this chance? Goes to Bruno. He goes on the wrong side and then Mason Mount on his left foot sends it so far wide. Oh man, that might be the end of our season maybe. Without the home fans today, we couldn't get it done. Spurs were just that much better, slightly better and it shows in the goals. We definitely had chances to get back in the game, but just feel like it might not be enough. Bruno finds Neymar for maybe a slight chance here. Neymar scores. 2-3 with a minute left. Is there a chance at least to get a draw here? Bruno Neymar did good there together, but we got a minute left. Do we have a chance or is that it? Rashford, oh, we just fouled him there. I can't see how much time is left because the scoreboard has not changed, but it might not matter because Sun is going to score. It's not going to matter. We only had like a minute left there, even if we did not concede that. Oh, man. We lose to Spurs 4-2 in a game we could have won. Definitely could have at least drawn. Rashford trying to do his best to play the final whistle, but that's it. There is the final whistle. I don't know what this means in terms of the title race it might be over it might still be on i have no idea but this is like just a big blow to our hopes of winning the premier league this season all right so man City have not played their extra game yet so it's still a three-point lead but they face burnley which is probably going to be a win and then it'll
it'll be what three or four games left with a six point lead but at that point it's just not very likely but we still have a chance we're gonna play it till the end so we got fulham next this game against fulham is gonna be a one nil win okay we stay alive rashford and then next is sheffield united that's gonna be a three nil win erickson bruno and uh bruno okay neymar go to red that's not good but it's still a win all right so man city finally played that extra game so four point lead for them with two games left so this next game if they win the next game that's it we need to win our next game and we need them to draw or lose and they face villa oh that's just so unfortunate i feel like they're probably gonna win that now before this game we have a meeting with ten hog he calls us in and he says due to the recent protests it's not officially announced yet but he has news that the glazers are 100 percent selling the club next season united are gonna have new owners and he says there's a few potential options we got surgeon ratcliffe we got sheik jasim and also there's a couple other mystery investors and he says he's not sure exactly who will be the new owner yet but he's sure there will be a new owner next season so there's gonna be some changes around here so second last game of the year if we win this we stay alive this game is gonna be a 3-1 win okay rashford bruno and uh hoyland now if man city beat villa that's it so we're gonna sim past the 17th that's when man city play villa now did they win or lose oh they won man city beat villa and that's it four point lead with one game left the title goes to man city once again and that spurs loss has literally costed us any chance of winning the title that is so unfortunate man city are just man city though they're gonna be so hard to beat in this series so final game burnley this one does not matter though it's still gonna be a three one win bruno rashford and uh martinez so we end the season on a strong note but knocked out in the champions league quarterfinals and also finishing second to man city in the premier league what's pretty crazy though in real life may united finished uh, what third or second on 75 points we finished second on 92 points like bro 92 points is a very good season still i'm going down our bournemouth sheffield and luton town it shows that we were not good enough to win the champions league or the prem title this year so very quickly fa cup goes to man city are they gonna do the treble again champions league is won by sevilla over man city oh my man city almost did the treble for the second time in a row sevilla prevents it though thank you sevilla uh, associated with the europa league and then west ham win the conference league. okay that's realistic and it's just like it feels like we had a good season but also like we didn't feels like we're making strides still but oh man we're just not there yet still neymar 38 and 24 in his first season at united is insane uh bruno 30 and 24 rashford 21 is amazing anthony 13 and 4 hoyland 9 and 11 hoyland next season with upgrades might be actually scary so it feels like we're going upwards but there's still a lot of work to do to make this team the best team in the world a lot of work to do now for britzio romano reports the official news the glazers are in the process of selling manchester united for about six billion he says there's a number of potential owners and the sale will be completed in the summer so season two we're gonna have new owners of the club in our first season as an assistant coach for manchester united we finished second in the premier league won the carabao cup and also made it to the champions league quarterfinals but then we got knocked out by real madrid so for us it was a solid season that was completely overshadowed by man city's dominance now in season two things might change we have all brand new kits supposedly the next season's leak kits we got new player upgrades we have new owners of the club and we also have some very interesting potential signings as we continue the journey of making manchester united the best team in the world so drop a like if you want to keep seeing more of this series and let's get right back into it okay so we're pulling up to a house this is our new house okay i'm just kidding we have a meeting with eric ten hog today so we're going to his house this is eric ten hog's house there's no way we could afford something like this right now but we are pulling up in our new car yep that is right so we've bought a second car we're slowly leveling up in the world but okay we walk in to meet with ten hog and he says thanks for stopping by and he wanted me to come over to tell me something he says that he's promoting us we are now the lead assistant coach on his coaching staff and basically his right hand man he says we've proved how valuable we are to the coaching staff so this promotion is 100 percent deserved and we're like okay that's great i thought you brought me over here to fire me and tonight's like no 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 but don't get too comfortable there needs to be some changes this year and with our new owners we need to take this club to the next level yep that is right manchester united have new owners a qatar takeover has happened at old trafford so sheik jasim is the new majority owner of manchester united the glazers are out but sheik jasim has reassured fans that this new ownership will not ruin the integrity of the club like this is pretty big for the future of this club but first comedy you should sign onana since he played under ten hog at ajax yeah i feel like onana would be a pretty good keeper if we decided to replace the which honestly i mean we'll talk about it later but it's looking likely now i didn't just hear that onana is linked to chelsea though so we might have to look elsewhere for a new keeper next one since mbappe is probably gonna leave psg you to sign him for season two yeah all of a sudden mbappe it's a whole other summer of mbappe leaving if he's gonna leave psg actually now do i see him going to united probably not but honestly you never know i feel like it's a lot more likely he goes to real madrid but it's something we can keep our eyes on and last one there's only one right answer when it comes to who the owner should be manchester united feels qatari yeah in the comments you guys thought uh sheik jasim was a much better owner than uh sir jim ratcliffe apparently if sir jim takes over then the glazers will still be there so i think to satisfy the fans guitar was the best option but it's gonna come with a few uh let's say a few incentives which we'll talk about later on but here we are officially into season two of this series and our kids this year are the supposed elite kits we'll show the away in third a little bit later but that's the home kit i mean it looks pretty nice it's simple but our budget for this uh this season is gonna be 
136 million pounds. So, I mean, it's not crazy, but it's still a healthy amount. And we're competing with Man City here, so we gotta use it to make this team better. But we gotta make the right choices, though. So, a few days later, we're at Old Trafford, walking up to a boardroom, because today is a little preseason meeting. So, Tenog says they've worked with some of the younger players over the summer, and a few of them have improved a lot. Like, Alejandro Garnacho has gone from 72 rated to 77 rated. He's improved his physical stats, his dribbling stats a lot, and the finishing is starting to come around. Also, Mason Mount has made a big uh, improvement as well. Now, he spent all summer working on his defensive ability, because he might be Christian Eriksen's replacement this season, more as a box-to-box -box role. And also, Miguel Ramirez, the next Ronaldo. Now, like our notch, Ramirez made a big improvement over the summer, working on his finishing and passing a lot, and he looks like he's ready to take the next step. And Tanag says, now with that in mind, we are going to look to sell a few big players in this transfer window. First one is going to be David De Gea. Now, I don't think he's a bad keeper, but I think it's just time for us to move on. If we want to be the best team in the world, I don't think it'll be with uh, De Gea in goal. So we're going to try and sell him. Next is Victor Lindelof. He wants to leave. He's our fourth choice center back, so we're going to sell him. He's literally requested a transfer to leave. Now, this one might be controversial. We're going to try and sell Jaden Sancho. I just think his time at United has not worked out. We got Garnacho Ramirez coming through the academy, basically. So I think Sancho's time at United is up, and we could get some decent money for him. So we think it's time to cash in on Sancho. Now for our biggest targets in this first window. First one remains Frankie de Jong. He remains Tenog's dream signing for this team, especially the midfield. The question is, does he want to leave Barcelona? We still don't know. Next player is Victor Osmond from Napoli. Now, if we signed him, we'd have to move Neymar to either Cam or right wing and Bruno to center mid, maybe. And he's also extremely expensive, maybe too expensive for us. I don't know. And third biggest target is going to be Diogo Costa from FC Porto. Now, he is technically a downgrade from De Gea, but we're going more looking at the future here. He's only 23 years old. With Onana being linked to Chelsea, we think Costa is the best option to replace De Gea. So, Tanag says, before we make any signing, our priority is to sell the players first. All right, first domino to fall is going to be Lindelof. Now, he wants to leave. I like him, but he wants to leave. So, I think it just makes sense. He went into Milan. I mean, that's not a bad move for him. And that was for 10.7 million. Okay, offer for Jaden Sancho. And this is a big one. Newcastle wants Sancho for 56.4 million pounds. Now, if that is a lot of money, we can maybe even get more too. I don't think he's that good in FIFA especially. So, I feel like it's the smart thing to do. 60 million. And they accept that. 60 million for Sancho? That's definitely not that bad. Oh, man. Jaden Sancho has been sold. So, he's going to Newcastle. I feel like that's maybe not the most unrealistic move of all time. It might be controversial, but I think it's for the best. All right. Offers for De Gea now from Monaco and then Napoli. I think honestly we'll just accept both and then he can choose whether to go to uh, France or Italy. All right, this one kind of hurts to be honest. I like De Gea, but in real life, it sounds like Tenag just needs a, a different type of keeper. So De Gea has been sold. I don't know which team yet though. It's a sad day. He spent what, 12 years United? He has gone to Monaco and France. Okay, for 27.5 million, it's not, the, it's not the worst amount. So now that De Gea is gone, we need to sign a keeper because Ericsson will not be our new keeper. So we meet with Ten Hag and he says Diego Costa is the obvious option to replace De Gea. But the problem is Porto are going to only accept his release clause, which is 65 million. And we say, honestly, he's 23 years old. We think it's worth it. And he says, after thinking about it, he thinks it's worth it too. He's just the best option to replace him. And Sheik just him has approved the transfer too. So his value is 40 million, but release clause is 65.7. I mean, the realistic thing to do is to pay the release clause. So we're going to do that. And now Tanag will try to sign our new starting keeper, Diego Costa. Now I have used him before in FIFA and he actually wasn't that good. So I'm hoping in this series, he can have some sort of comeback, but Diego Costa is signed up. We have our new starting goalkeeper. So Diego, welcome to the club. Now he is the only keeper on our squad. So we need to sign another keeper as a backup because we lost Heaton and we also lost Butland. And we could actually sign Jasper Sillison for only like 800,000. So that seems like a no brainer. All right. So Sillison brought in to be uh, DeCosta's backup. And I think I'll try and find a third choice keeper in the youth academy, but I'm hoping Costa is good. And now that's a big move, but the biggest move to make still needs to be decided here. So our two options are to either sign a new starting striker or a new starting center mid. If we sign a center mid, I think everything would stay the same. Mount would go to the bench. And then like, for example, Frankie De Jong would slot in at that number eight spot. And the front four pretty much remain the same. That is if we can sign a player like De Jong. Now, if we sign a striker, let's say Osman, then I think I'd move Neymar to Cam, Bruno to center mid, and then Osman would start up top with Hoyland as his backup. So it might sacrifice some of uh, Bruno's ability at Cam, but I think if we did sign a striker, that'd be the best option to go. Now, I need you guys in the comments to let me know what we should do. Center mid or striker, what should we target? Leave a comment down below because we do have money here and I need your guys' help to decide. So let me know in the comments down below. Now, Diego Costa is getting ready in training, trying to get acclimated to his new team, and he's got to get ready quick because our first game is already coming up real soon. Now, there were a few more like minor upgrades to players too. For example, Kim Min J 82 at 85, Casemiro 89 to 87 due to his age, uh, Vermeer in 72 to 76, uh, Short T Ray 66 to 74. Good play apart this year, one of our youngsters. And then Hoyland 76 to 78. And we also sold a Langa to Valencia for 11 million. Because once again, we got Garnacho Ramirez coming through, so we just don't really need a Langa. And also started loading out some of the youngsters as well. But our first game of the season this year is actually the Community Shield. Now, last season, Man City won the Prem and they also won the FA Cup, which means us as League Cup winners play them instead in the Community Shield. So it's quite a game to test out our new keeper, but it is what it is. We face the best team in the world pretty much.
much to start the season. Now, start of every season, I always show the sliders to play on. So once again, ultimate difficulty. Now, I've actually made the sliders even slightly tougher now by increasing the CPU speed a little bit more to make it even more of a challenge. And then also the first touch error is on 10. Now, before this game, let's show off our new kits for season two. Now, you've seen the home kit. This is supposedly the leaked kit for next year for May United. Once again, I think it's pretty clean. And then this is the away kit. Now, it's very simple. It's just pretty much white and red. The away and third kit are supposedly the leaked kits. It's pretty simple, but I kind of like it. And the third kit is kind of a little bit crazy with the stripes, but it's like a greenish color. I think it's better than the neon green ones of last year, so I'll take it. But they're definitely not bad kits. Now, we're in the tunnel before the game starts, and we see Pep Guardiola. And he actually comes up to us, and he says, I've heard of you. You're quite young for an assistant coach. Sounds like you've been doing a good job at United. He says, have you ever thought about being an actual manager? And we say, yeah, I mean, probably down the line more, though. We're not sure we're ready to be a manager. And he jokes around and says, maybe you'll be my replacement at Man City. Or we're like, whoa, we're, we're not sure about that. I mean, we couldn't betray Ten Hag like that, right? Anyways, we go with this lineup today. So Diego Costa and goal Mason Mount at that center mid role. And uh, first game of season two against the champions. This one is going to be interesting. Now, Christian Eriksen's pace has really dropped off even more. So I'm going to use him as a backup to Bruno now at Cam, I think. And Mason Mount for now takes over that starting center mid spot. I'm not sure if I actually like it, if it'll work, but we're going to try it. First game of the year, let's try and get a win. If Costa turns out not to be a good keeper, I'm going to be so mad. So there was a lot of pressure on him to actually be a good keeper. All right, Luke Shaw's got Rashford making a run. Okay, Luke Shaw with maybe the greatest pass of this. Okay, obviously, it's the greatest pass of the season so far. But okay, Rashford, what a finish. That is how we start. That Luke Shaw pass was literally amazing. Now, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I mean, it's perfect. It's also bad defending by Man City. Rashford, good finish. That is how we start season two. I'll, I'll take it. That is incredible. All right, De Bruyne in the box. Dangerous. Don't let it get to Holland. Okay, De Bruyne goes all the way backwards with it. That's a little bit weird. You don't usually see that. Salo is going to find De Bruyne again. He's looking for Holland. Varane? a rough tackle but apparently it's a goal kick that is an amazing tackle actually now look about anthony man their defending is all over the place right now into neymar neymar oh that touch by neymar was disgusting and it's 2-0 okay this has been not the start i expected what a start for us in this game man neymar that touch to get by all oh, it's just dirty and beautiful 2-0 to man united in in what 15 minutes this is after we made the sliders even harder i, didn't, I was not expecting this is this a sign that we are coming for that top spot bruno oh man their defense just looks so incredibly wide open how did i lose it in the opposite direction though now that's a good ball holland is okay luke shaw great defending if there was any question about luke shaw this season i mean good tackle he has a good assist so far he's having a very good start that is a very good corner okay diogo costa first save as a manchester united keeper and that right there that's a very good save oh though hand to it that is beautiful actually that makes me feel good about our keeper signing all right mares stop you're supposed to be not even at Man City anymore. Anthony is taken out by... Was that De Bruyne? That's a yellow for De Bruyne. That was a very rough tackle. Neymar into Bruno. Bruno's got Anthony. He's going to try to hit Anthony. Okay, keeper. Ederson, I thought he was going to make a mistake there. Casemiro to Neymar. Neymar dinks it off to Anthony. Over to Diogo Dallo into the back of the net. We are destroying Man City right now. 3-0 in 25 minutes. I was not expecting this. All that work in the summer is paying off right now. Dallo, that is a great finish from our right back. Now, we can't overreact. It's only pretty much a preseason game, but this is still a bit shocking. Oh, that's a good pass. That's a great pass. Diogo Costa, great goalkeeping though. Okay, he's had two very good moments so far in his United career. Uh, very early United career. Luke Shaw, do you have another pass in you? Luke Shaw, that is a very, uh, still a good pass to Anthony. Oh, Mares cuts inside. Very well there. Holland versus Martin Martinez is a pretty big height difference there. Mares, no. Well, Mares gets it over into Holland. Costa, good save. And then, oh, Dallow off the line. They almost scored that. Costa again with a very good goalkeeper move. Now, we break out and we could really counterattack here. Oh, Rashford should have got that to Bruno. Then Neymar, I was going to be in. Oh, another counterattacking Dallow on Foden. Okay, they have a lot of options here. But Martinez did so well twice there. Okay, our defense is looking good. Mason Mount up to Bruno. The midfielders combining Rashford over to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has Neymar goes to Anthony instead. Probably the wrong choice. It was the wrong choice. Don't let him score for halftime. Don't let him score. Oh, how does that ball get through? No. Holland in. Shoots. Costa, good save. Rebound is going to be caught by Costa. Okay, I am like what I'm seeing from everyone right now. What a good first half. I got no complaints whatsoever. All right, Man City are starting to press a bit more, which might cause us to make some errors because I feel like last season, that's kind of what happened when we faced them. Martinez, good touch there. De Bruyne steals it. And then Martinez blocks it again. Yeah, that's the way back in the game. If they if we make some mistakes defensively, that is their way of getting back. Okay, Luke Shaw just uh, just took that early Holland challenge like it was nothing. Anthony gets involved to Neymar. Now we got no numbers though here. All right, let's get some possession going. Let's get this clock down. 3 0 lead. We don't need to rush anything unless there's a good chance, which this right here is a very good chance. Anthony shoots, and that's going to be 4 
nil to Manchester United. Bro, what a start to our season. All right, early changes. Garnacho, Hoyland, and Molassi are coming on. I don't want to risk Neymar or Rashford getting hurt. So 4-0. And uh, some of the youngsters coming on. Let's see Garnacho. He should be an improved Garnacho now, which should mean he plays a bigger part of the team this year. Okay, Man City, stop pressing, please. Thank you. Now, Costa, you're much better than De Gea. Okay, in delivery, and that shows it right there. Malasia through to Garnacho. Garnacho gets it to Hoyland. Gets it to Mason Mount. Mason Mount looks for right pass. Goes to Bruno Fernandez. Ederson makes the save. Warner sent in. That's Hoyland. Hoyland's there for it, and Ederson makes another save. Man, we are looking deadly in this first game. I'm hoping this is not just a one-time thing. I'm hoping we actually look like this this season. I wouldn't be so mad if we play like this and then lose the first game of the year. Mount to Hoyland. Hoyland, great first touch there. Beautiful. Oh, man, that was going to be such a good ball to Molassi, I think. Oh, no. Holland has space for a shot. Costa makes a good save. Okay, Bruno Fernandes has room here. We're going for a... Okay, that was quite a power shot. Keeper. Okay, that's it's blocked twice now. Can you let my shot go through, please? Bruno still inside. Bruno gets it over to Garnacho in to Hoyland. Oh, Ederson saves that one. Man, that should have been, been 5 no right there. Okay, Bruno's got a lot of space here. They just look so, like, misorganized. Garnacho tries to collect that camp. Molassi will, though. Malassia tries to cross in. Kyle Walker just literally stopped Malassia with like no effort. Oh no, that's gonna fall to Foden. Oh, I went for the I went for the the sliding block, but Foden scores. I can't blame Costa there. Now look at this bounce though. This was such an unfortunate bounce right there that we tried to pass it and they deflected it right to Foden. That's so unfortunate. But 4-1, it won't change the scoreline that much. Okay, don't let them have some like spirit and get back in the game, please. If they score a second, I'll be very mad. Dallow on Foden. Oh, Foden, that dribbling is insane. Gets it to Holland. Casemiro blocks it, and we do survive that attack. Okay, what a pass by Anthony. Gets it to Mason Mount. Into Garnacho. That should have got to Garnacho. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Costa, good save. De Bruyne scores, though. You got to be kidding me. What is that counterattack? Man, last 10 minutes of the game, all of a sudden, Man City looked like Man City. That's so unfortunate. It does add a sizable blemish on this game. But as we know, it's just preseason. We took some starters off, so it's not really indicative of anything. Am I happy about it? Uh, no. But that is full-time 4-2. That first half was just beautiful, though. If we can translate that into the regular season, we're going to be a lot to deal with this year. And we might actually challenge Man City. But I mean, hey, start the season off with a trophy. I can't be mad. Community Shield winners are going to be Manchester United over the champions, Man City. Once again, let's translate this into the season now. Now, the team is very excited about that win, but Tenog knows that was just a preseason game. The season hasn't started yet. Now, since we sold Lindelof, we need a fourth choice center back. We're going to loan out Mengi. So we need someone who can be fourth choice who's not that expensive. And this is exactly what Tenog says in our next meeting. So he says, do you have any ideas? And we say we actually do. We say, what about Mateus Rice playing at Sporting? Now he's 79 rated. He's 28. He's Brazilian. He wouldn't be that expensive. And I feel like for a fourth choice, center back he'd be very solid he's only valued at 9.5 million but like his stats actually look really good like he's he's decently quick good jumping strength and then good defensive stats i feel like he's a perfect option for a fourth choice center back so tenog agrees and this should be a deal we can get done pretty easily let's try 9 million to start try and get a little bit of a deal here 9 million they accept that this is a no-brainer so Mateus rice signed up i feel like this could be a bit of a hidden gem being that he's that cheap and he looks that good so we'll see now our first game of the year is going to be at home against burnley now burnley i mean i wouldn't be usually scared but burnley are burnley so tenog in his press conference he says he thinks this team is very close to reaching the next level like our 92 point total last year was great that's an incredible season but it still wasn't good enough to be champions we need to be better and we believe this season we will be and that starts in a game at home we should win so let's make sure we get the job done and obviously the fans are back now that the Glazers are out. Guitar takeover has happened. The fans are in full force again. Ready to support this team this year. So Old Trafford packed to the limit today. Let's try and give them a win in the first game of the Premier League season. Funny enough, uh, Veghorst is starting for Burnley. If he scores against us, I'm going to be so mad. Right, Luke Shaw is making that forward run, which we do like. He just gets taken out. That's a foul, right? Wait, you're telling me that's not a foul? Luke Shaw just got destroyed. Okay, Casemiro, great ball to Dallow of all people making another run. Is Dallow going to be a goal scorer this year? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I jinxed it. I should not have said that. Oh, that finish was so poor. Bruno, good chance here. Anthony gets it over to Rashford. Back to Bruno Fernandez. Shoots, and that's going to be 1-0 to United. Okay, we were a little bit patient there. Almost too patient. But it resulted in a goal, so I'm not mad. Bruno scores the first Premier League goal of the year. And 1-0 to United. Let's just keep this up. Rashford up to Mason Mount. Mount turns, stops, gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, Anthony, over to Dallo. Dallo gets it back to Anthony. Anthony turns. That shot went off that guy's chest into Neymar. Neymar shoots, and it's going to be 2-0. Oh, man. We are starting this season off so strongly. We look like a team that's been rejuvenated. 14 minutes in, it is 2-0. Mason Mount to Luke Shaw. We are not stopping here. Into Neymar. Neymar gets it to Bruno. Bruno turns. 
and it's actually 3-0. This is after we increased the sliders. This makes no sense. Why are we playing so good to start the year? It's like every chance is going into the back of the net. Oh man, Bruno has a brace. It's 3-0 within 20 minutes. This is nuts. Okay, don't let them have a response. They're going to score that. Oh, they're going to have a response. Benson shoots and scores. It's 3-1. Costa doesn't make his first save in the Premier. He allows a goal he concedes. Now, we try to like uh, catch him off side, I think, and then they made those runs. I don't really blame Costa there, but it is 3-1 after 20 minutes. Bruno to Anthony. Anthony, let's try to cross. We see... Okay, that's a great cross. Mason Mount gets to it, but it's a terrible header. Anthony, are you inside? Anthony is on side. And he does have the pace here. Anthony is going on a run himself. Tries to play to Mason Mount. Oh, that should have been a goal right there. How do we gonna execute that? All down the middle. Do not let them make this 3-2. If they make it 3-2, I'm gonna be so mad. Thank you, Dallow, making that tackle. It's gonna be a corner. Corner sent in by the first goal scorer. That is a Dallow with a great clearance. Dallow's looking much better this year. Although that's crossed in, Varane clear it, and we survived that. Yeah, Samudo gets into Mason Mount, and now we can uh, try and spring. Rashford, we see Neymar making a run. Neymar is in. Neymar on his left foot, goes for the shot, and he's going to make it 4-1. Three-goal lead has been restored. Okay, I feel better now. If they were to make it 3-2, I'd have been so mad. This could be a very big opening day for us in terms of uh, how many goals we score. Corner sent in. Anthony, I don't know why. They always put the shortest man at the near post. It makes no sense. Okay. I just got destroyed. Uh, Cullen... Just literally sent me to the nether realm. Okay, Martinez, thank you for making the tackle. Bruno Fernandez up to Rashford. He needs uh, some support, though. Rashford gets it to Neymar. Up to Bruno. Oh, it's beautiful. Bruno, back to Neymar. First time shot. Keeper. Oh, the shot was so bad. Whoa, keeper. Gonna make a mistake there. Bruno steals the ball. Gets it to Marcus Rashford. Tries to go by the defender, but can't. Rashford to Bruno. Bruno has got space for a shot. That dude has a concussion. That went off his face. You're telling me he's fine? Mason Mount, left-footed shot. Whoa, on his left foot? That was that good? Anthony to Bruno. Bruno gets it through to Anthony. Try to. That's going to be a foul. I'll take that. All right, Bruno is going to swing this in. Might be the last chance of the first half. That is not a bad delivery. Oh, Varane almost got to that. Casemiro gets it to Varane. Over to Bruno Fernandez. Shotkeeper saves it. But this is still not out. Oh, man. The pressure... Wait, ref, you going to blow the whistle there? I was about to shoot. Okay, 4-1, still a good first half. Let's just make sure we don't let Burnley come back. Right, Luke Shaw has got Neymar and Rashford. He tries to go to uh, Bruno instead. Luke Shaw has been working on his passing in the summer. Mason Mount to Bruno. Bruno's going to wait for Rashford. Rashford, get it back to Bruno. In to Neymar. And off the post, it's 5-1. Oh, we're giving the fans a very nice opening day today. Neymar and Bruno both with a brace, I believe. Oh, this is not stopping anytime soon. Rashford gets it. Bruno Fernandez, Bruno. Has a chance for a shot. Is that, is that handball? Man, that should be handball. It looks like it went off his arm. Casemiro over to Mason Mount, who's known for the interesting shots that went off Bruno's face. Okay, don't let him score. Martinez is running like an absolute madman. Oh, that touch by Benson. This Benson guy is actually pretty good. That touch was insane, but then he runs it out. Oh, no. Do not let them score. Luke Shaw, good tackle. And then Rashford. Oh, Rashford with a defending. Luke Shaw up to Rashford. Neymar, you should be on side. Neymar to make it six and to complete the hat trick. It's going to be saved. Corner in. Neymar. Oh my. Neymar just scored a bicycle kick. Bro, what is happening in the episode? We're playing so well that Neymar does this? This might be one of the best goals of the entire series. Like, I'm not sure we're going to score a better goal than this. I'm almost shocked. Luke Shaw with delivery. Neymar. Oh, no one is even marking him. He just, he just does a bicycle kick over the keeper. Like, what? Why is no one marking him? They're just, he like set himself up for it. Oh, Neymar. That is literally disgusting. 6-1 in 64 minutes. I guess today Burnley will not actually do the Burnley thing and play good. They're going to do the Burnley thing and actually maybe lose. Oh, Rashford almost got a shot away there. Luke Shaw into Rashford. Oh, okay. Rashford, you're scoring this. Rashford, you are scoring this. Marcus. Wait, he put that so wide. Maybe I shouldn't have went with a finesse shot, but... Okay, Garnacho, Ramirez all coming on. Uh, Erickson, also Rabio. I mean, honestly, we couldn't have asked for a better opening day than this. Now, our next game is Chelsea. I would expect that game to be tougher, but the way we started the season... I don't know. We're just looking great right now. Man, Burnley, I apologize. You guys just don't look good today. Garnacho tries to cut inside there, but can't. Yeah, there is some space here. Costa hasn't been challenged too much, because our defense has been that good. Shaw up to Garnacho. Garnacho, a chance here. Tries to cut inside. Garnacho. Oh, that second touch was so heavy from Garnacho. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Who made that great of a tackle? Oh, okay. Costa made that first save. That was pretty amazing. The fact that it actually fell to him like that, I mean, it was so lucky. So 6-2, but I'm more interested in the fact that Costa made this first save off the post. That was pretty insane. But Veghorst actually scored against us. I can't believe it. But 6-2? What an opening day of the Premier League season. That was insane. It still feels like we actually keep this up. Like, I don't know. Are these games just like Luke's? Neymar scored four goals, though. Now, after that game, we give an interview to Manchester United TV, and we say we couldn't be happier with the start we've made. That all that work in the summer is paying off right now, and we just hope we can keep it up. Now, in the 
last episode, I said we were moving out of our apartment, and that's true. Right now, we're looking at a new place to stay. Now, I'm not sure if it'll be renting either a house or renting an apartment, but we definitely have options here. So we're going around in a few tours, and hopefully we'll have a new place by the next episode. Now, with our new Qatar ownership, they do have one request of us, and that is to send our youth scouts to Qatar to see what we can find. So we're going to do that. Now, our next scout, we're going to send to England and look for a keeper because we need a fourth choice keeper. So we're going to do that. And then third one, we're going to send to, let's do South Africa. So Qatar, England, and South Africa. That's our first uh, youth scouting run of the year. So like I said, our next game is the true test. Away at Stanford Bridge facing Chelsea. And the team news broke and Garnacho was actually starting this game. And he says he thinks he's really ready to make a leap this year. And he's ready to fight for more first team game time. So he gets that against Chelsea, who have their new signing in Kunku up top. And once again, this right here is a true test. Were those first two games just uh, flukes? Or do they truly represent how good we're going to be this season? I don't know. We're going to find out. This show's team is on the, the rise, I guess. So it's going to be a little interesting. I don't know why the shadows are so messed up, but it's FIFA being FIFA. That is a cross in. Awkward. I think I was handballed by them. Okay, Martinez. Bad pass. And Enzo Fernandez scores in the first, like, five minutes. I thought we'd be able to get the pass through. I don't know why Chelsea's jerseys are, like, dark. Something with the lighting, there's something going on. But, man, I thought that was a simple pass we could make. 1-0 down due to a critical error in the back. Right, Dallo driving forward. See if we can find Garnacho. We do. Garnacho gets it to Bruno. In to Neymar. Oh, that was almost the perfect response right there. I can't believe we didn't get that shot away. Neymar up to Bruno. Bruno needs help, though. Bruno's going to wait for, I believe, Dallo. Dallo. Dinks it up. That falls. Gonna be Neymar. Neymar header goes over the net. Okay, we're getting chances though at least. Sterling is in behind very quickly. Okay, this feels much different than the Man City and the Burnley game. Now we're getting brought back down to reality. Man, Sterling shoots. Costa, he makes the save. No, actually it was blocked by Varane. It goes right back to Sterling. It just fell right in front of him. That's so unfortunate. That's not Costa's fault. It's just very unlucky defending. Okay, we got to try and uh, actually come alive in this game now. Luke Shaw, Rashford, Neymar. Oh, that's so beautiful. But can Neymar can't get the ball. Man, Chelsea are playing so much better than Man City and Burnley played. It's actually incredible. It was like I'm playing a different game. I had a feeling this would happen. Okay, and Kunku gets by Garnacho. Why is Garnacho the first man there? Dallow, good block, and we are going to clear it. All right, 2-0. We're still in this game. We got to relax. We're still in this game. Rashford, great ball to Luke Shaw. Now, if we find Neymar, we're going to find him. Neymar can't fight Koulibaly there. Man, Chelsea are working out of our press so well right now. Now, that was a mistake right there. We were let off. I think that was in Cuckoo with a bad pass. Garnacho, Garnacho versus Cucurella. Garnacho showing uh, his improved dribbling there. Man, that should have been a foul. Rashford to Neymar. Neymar trying to get it back. You know what? That's a lucky bounce for us. Into Rashford. They are just defending in numbers. Rashford gets to it. Tries to find a teammate, but can't, and they're going to clear it. And we got to score once, and we're back in the game. We just got to get one, though. Martinez over to Luke Shaw. Good pass. Gets it to Mason Mount. Stops. Gets it to Neymar. Must score that. Okay, there we go. There's the one. Uh, ball's in the air. Okay, Neymar just grabbed it from uh, midair, literally. But okay, Mason Mount, a little bit of luck there. Yeah, there's a lot of luck there, but you know what? We'll take it. 2-1. We are now back in this game. Oh, Mason Mount. Great tackle. That's his defensive work he's been working on. Now, Mason, drag a defender, gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Oh, I wanted that to get by. Bruno at least uh, keeps it. Now, Garnacho. Garnacho. Man, again, he's fouled, and the ref doesn't call it. Casemiro, good steal. The refs never give us any respect. Oh, Madueke is literally running by us. That needs to be... Oh, Dallo can't beat Sterling. It's 3-1. Man, Dallo and uh, Luke Shaw there were just not as fast as Madueke or Sterling. That's why they scored that. Man, that has killed a lot of our momentum just like that. Oh, this might get worse. Sterling. Okay, Dallo, what a weird block. I guess it works. After I'm 3-1, now we're going to make an insane comeback. Now, if we want to make a comeback, we can't let them score their fourth. If they score their fourth... This might be done. Costa will catch that. Bruno, good ball. Oh, man, it was almost good ball. That was either to uh, Neymar or Rashford. It went to neither. Neymar, good ball to Rashford. Rashford, we got Bruno. I'm not going to cross it to Bruno, though. Rashford cuts inside. Gets it to Mason Mount. Over to Casemiro. Casemiro gets it over to Rashford. In to Bruno Fernandez, and he slices it wide. That was such a patient, well-worked move. Neymar to Rashford. If we score again, just one, we'll get back in the game, I think. Dallo is going to try to find Bruno again. Bruno, good turn there. Garnacho, do Dallo. Get it back to someone. Oh, okay, I want that to go to Garnacho, not all the way to Mason Mount. One of those days where it feels like things are just not going our way. And also, Chelsea have just been that much better. Okay, Dallo, uh, that was a great tackle. Might be game over if he doesn't make that. Okay, Ramirez for Garnacho, and then uh, Hoyland goes on for Mason Mount. This right here is plan B, so Neymar to Cam, Bruno to center mid. See if we can uh, break down this Chelsea team now with Hoyland up top. And Ramirez, great steal, his first touch, basically. Now, Neymar gets to Ramirez, Ramirez. Tries to find Hoyland, finds Hoyland. Awkward angle, and it goes over the net. Wait, that was actually saved. That was a decent shot, actually. Now, Luke Shaw. That looks pretty good. Oh, is that, who is that? Is that Rashford? Okay, Rashford scores from a corner. It's 3-2. Game on. The shadows make it really hard to see. I don't know what the glitch is with the stadium right now, but Luke Shaw, another great delivery, and Rashford fights for it. 
Gets to it first. Okay. This is 3-2 with what? With like 18 minutes left. This is now a game. Come on. Dolan score. Dolan score. Varane, I need you. Varane. Beautiful defending. Bruno Gutierrez gets it to Luke Shaw. Now Luke Shaw into Rashford. Rashford. Oh, I wanted that to go to Hoyland, not Ramirez. Oh, man. Is that Lukaku is playing right wing? He crosses it in. Please get it out. Please get it out. That was very dangerous. All right, goal kick. We got nine minutes to tie this up now. And five minutes. We're just not getting a clear chance right now. We got to steal this. Oh, we'll get all the way out to Cucurella. Cross in. I wasn't to clear that, but it's going to be a throw in. We got three minutes. Are we even going to get a chance here? Sterling cross it in. Should be cleared. It is cleared. Is it one? I think it is one, actually. Oh, Rashford. Oh, we just can't keep it. I was waiting for Hoyland to make his run. This might be it. Lukaku actually goes back. Costa. We have a slight chance here. One final chance, maybe. Three minutes out and on. We have time. Luke Shaw up to Hoyland. Hoyland, Hoyland. Oh, man. We just can't get any anything going right now. Luke Shaw steals it and we might have one final chance. Rashford stops, tries to play to Hoyland. Is he fouled? Oh, he's not fouled there. You're not going to call that. That's going to be game. Oh man, at least you fought back, but that was not a good game from us. So two good wins and one pretty much bad loss. The uh, inconsistency from last year is still there. With that kind of start, I have no idea what kind of season we're going to have. But once again, let me know in the comments down below. Should we sign either a striker or a center mid? And next episode, we might act on that. To start season two, we have made some very tough decisions, like selling David De Gea and also selling Jaden Sancho. Now, so far to replace De Gea, we signed Diogo Costa from FC Porto. And then to start the year, we have two really good wins, followed by a very tough loss. But we still have one more big money signing in mind before the transfer window closes. We have multiple options, multiple different positions. And if we want to challenge Man City for the title this year, we need to make the right choice. So drop a like if you want to keep seeing more of this series and let's get back into it. Okay, we are waking up in our new apartment that is right we have a new place we weren't quite ready to buy a house so we're renting out the apartment this one is much bigger than the last one though so let's give a little tour we got a huge bedroom we got a nice living room with a crazy view our kitchen is like triple the size of our last kitchen i would say overall it's an upgraded apartment and we're enjoying it now we flip on the tv and we see actually frank de Jong giving a press conference he says he knows there's a lot of rumors circulating about his future and he says it's time to address those he says to put them all to bed i'll say it right now i am staying at Barcelona. Barcelona this season. Him and his family love living in Barcelona, so he rules out a transfer away entirely. Now, he was our number one transfer target, so this is not good. But okay, first comment, I think a dominant left back would be a great signing like Theo Hernandez. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Theo Hernandez, 87 rated would be insane in this team. I do like Luke Shaw Malasia, though, so we'd have to let one of them go, and I'm not sure we're ready for that yet. Could be the signing in the future, but for now, I think I'm okay with our current left backs. Next one, I think signing De Jong would be more realistic. That way, you can have Bruno in his preferred position. Yeah, so our plan was to either sign a midfielder or a striker, and De Jong was our number one target but now he's staying at Barcelona, so we can't do that. Now, Grevin Birch, I feel like he wouldn't be that much better than Mason Mount and that center mid spot, so I feel like he's also off the cards. So our options are running out pretty much. But last one, sign Osman as he would leave Napoli in the summer since their manager has left the club. Yeah, so Osman is still an option, which means we'd move probably Neymar to Cam and then Bruno to center mid or something like that. There might be another option as well, though. Now, if we sign a striker like Osman Harry Kane, we could also move Neymar to right wing and then Anthony to the bench, so it would be Rashford, Bruno, Neymar, and then Harry Kane or Osman. Now, Neymar, I feel like he's barely played a right wing in his career, so I feel like it might be a little bit weird. Same with Rashford. I feel like he hasn't played that much right wing, but it's also an option that would keep Bruno playing in his cam spot, which he has played so well in. Now we got about like five days before the transfer window closes. So we're cutting it pretty close. Now our next game is Wolves. Before this game, we're in training and Tenag says, so De Jong is a no. Man, I really wanted him. Now we need to figure out a plan B and he's got a few ideas, but let's focus on Wolves first and then transfer business. So against Wolves, I'm going to go with Kim and Jay at center back and also Molassi at left back. Now our first two games, beat Man City, then beat, uh, we like smacked Burnley and then we lost to Chelsea. Uh, very badly 3-2. So once again, very inconsistent. A win here against Wolves would mean three wins out of four. Now that would be a pretty good start. So rumors of a big signing are imminent around Old Trafford. But for now, let's just focus on beating Wolves. Guys, we need a bounce back win after that uh, Chelsea loss. All right, it's not the best start because we got Chan in the box looking dangerous. That's a cut inside. Cost a good save. Uh, Molassi clearance. That is indeed not a good start. Okay, Mason Mount trying to do some defensive work here. Luke Shaw. No, that wasn't Luke Shaw. That's Martinez. That's a great tackle, though. Wolves are looking very dangerous to start the game. How do they get the ball through? What a save by Costa, though. Okay, Chan's offside, but still Costa. That's a great save. I love to see that. Mason Mount has got Rashford with a little bit of space. Now, Neymar is not a good spot, but I think Bruno Fernandez is. Oh, we went for like the first time finish, and he didn't hit it cleanly. First attack, though. There's a lot of space there. Whoa. Anthony was just destroyed. You're telling me that wasn't even a card? Oh, man. They are working through us. Oh, that's such a good pass. And Wolves are going to score first. Bro, they've started the game off so strongly. Way stronger than I expected. Like, that pass here, I mean, we just we just couldn't track them. Okay, very sloppy start. 15 minutes. I still feel like we should win this game. Conceding first. Hopefully, we'll not change that. Rashford to Bruno. Bruno, get it back to Casemiro. 
Now, Casemiro gets it to Rashford in to Bruno Fernandez. That was almost a beautiful response. Bruno, that's a great cross. Kim Min Jae was up for it. Falls to Anthony. Goes for a shot. That's blocked. Goes to Mason Mount. Shot is also going to be blocked and then cleared. That is once again so unfortunate. Oh, they're going to cut it back. Martinez blocks that. Okay, we could be down 2-0 right now. We got to wake up. Makes me think Mason Mount. Is he good enough defensively to start in that number eight role? Which I'm not sure. There's no question about his passing ability right there. was a great pass. I'll take that foul, actually. Kim Min Jae to Bruno. Up to Rashford. Now gets it to Mason Mount. Mason Mount. Oh, I try to get it to Neymar. Rashford. What a good ball to Neymar. Neymar. Please score that Neymar scores. Okay, that is just a great counterattack. Neymar and Rashford, beautiful. This game is tied up. That was like a classic FIFA goal, but hey, we'll take it. Okay, can we finally wake up now and take control of the game? Because 30 minutes in, Wolves have been the better team. We definitely look a step slow today. Mendez out to Anthony. Anthony's got Neymar. Neymar, a little bit of space. He's going to get caught up by uh, Aitnori, and then that chance is ruined. Whoa, look at our pressure. And then everyone just gave up on the pressure. Bad pass by them, Bruno. Get to Malasia, Malasia in to Rashford. Oh, man, I didn't think the ball was going to get to him. Now, there's a lot of space here. My defense is just completely caught out. Thankfully, Costa makes another good save. Okay, that was point blank. Costa, this might be his best game so far as a United player. Rashford's got space. Rashford from distance. Marcus, that's going to go just wide. Now, that's good ball in behind. We can't let him score. Run at halftime because that'd be terrible. Dallow, good tackle. It's going to be a corner. Do not let them score, though. If they score, I'm going to be so mad. If they score here... I am going to be so mad. Casemiro clears it. Please rep all the whistle. Thank you. Okay. This game is 1-1. This game is not safe by any means. There is space to exploit, though, if we can exploit it. Mason Mount gets it to Bruno. Bruno. He's got... Oh, man. We had Rashford right there. Lassia gets it to Rashford. Rashford gets it to Bruno. Bruno in to Neymar. The space has been exploited. Okay. That was incredibly simple. But 2-1. We have taken the lead. Now let's go on to win this game. And that right there was beautiful. Just patient the passes were executed perfectly neymar has got a brace neymar's playing so well at striker it's actually incredible i did not think he'd be this good at striker but this game is still far from over malasia has got neymar and rashford neymar can you head it oh i tried to head it to rashford man i seriously don't know who's better luke Shaw, malasia whenever they play they both play really good i mean it's a good problem to have but it's a it's a problem because i don't know who should start and if we're looking to sell a left back or buy a left back then one has to go rashford great ball to neymar neymar is gonna find bruno bruno's got space bruno fernandez should Give us the lead. Bruno! That shot was right at Jose Sawin for a finesse shot. I should have just shot normally. I can't believe we just messed up that chance. Rashford up to Neymar. Neymar. The chest down. Oh my. Neymar is playing incredible in this series. 3-1. Hat trick complete. Oh man. Neymar chest down. Left foot half volley. Man, this is like turning into Neymar's team if it wasn't already. Now, they've played so well. I don't think this game's over yet. But that right there is a very big goal. Bruno out to Malasia, who once again has played great and okay that's actually gonna work it's gonna work anthony i don't know how that worked in to rashford it's 4-1 i don't know how that Malasia pass worked but 4-1 i think now this game is a little bit settled good response by this team after that shaky start all right hoyland garnacho coming on and also a uh, rabio because we got to protect neymar and also rashford so don't get injured oh that's a great pass raul jimenez Kim Min Jae. Okay, Kim Min Jae. I think he used his hand, but the ref didn't see it. Oh, man. I, I think that might have been handball, but we're going to let it slide. Dallo, great ball to Anthony. Whoa, Anthony to Garnacho. I didn't expect that. Garnacho dinks it up. That was supposed to go to Hoyland. Goes to Rabio instead. That is not exactly what I wanted. Rabio to Garnacho. Garnacho gets it to Malasia. Malasia is going to find Hoyland. Trying to work around to get that shot away, but can't. So don't let them score their second. Don't let them score at Martinez. Beautiful defending right there. Oh, Garnacho's taken out. That's going to be, uh, should be a yellow. Lassia up to Hoyland. Hoyland's going to find Bruno. Fernandez should have been 5 1. And Bruno's missed a few chances today. Thankfully, it hasn't come back to haunt us. Casemiro, you just had a free header. All right, final subs. Erickson on for Bruno. And then Miguel Ramirez on for Anthony. My defense, he played good so far since conceding that first. I want to see it continue. Costa's had a very good game. He's making me feel much better about replacing uh, him with De Gea. Or uh, actually the opposite of that. Replacing De Gea with him. Corner lofted in. That's going to be out by ha Hoyland. What a clearance. Oh, no. They still might score, though. Oh, oh, Martinez almost got that. They are going to score. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, 4-2. It's not going to change the result of the game, but it's still very annoying. I guess we've let our foot off the gas a little bit. I'll be honest. When they scored that first goal, I really thought this felt like a game we were going to lose. It did not feel like this is a game we were going to win, but 4-2, we do win. To see that is a very good sign for us this year, I think. So after three games, we sit in third place, three points by a leader, it's Chelsea. So not the worst start of all time. It's been a solid start. Now we're driving to a very crucial meeting right now. It's with the coaching staff and Eric Ten Hag, and it's to decide on our final transfer because we only have like four days left of the window. So we get there in the meeting and Ten Hag says, I think I know what I want to do. I want to revisit trying to sign Harry Kane from Tottenham. He says he's exactly 
exactly the kind of striker I want. And with Kane, Neymar, Rashford, he thinks that's a Premier League winning attack. And I mean, you can see why he's very good passing forward. Like he can score, he can assist, do everything. He's right in his prime at 30 years old. Him at striker, either Neymar at Cam or Neymar on the right wing, that whole attack would be literally incredible. It's just him living Tottenham is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit weird. Whether Daniel Levy wants to sell him, whether Kane actually wants to leave, it seems very complicated. Now I would say there's also Osman as a backup, but unfortunately there's some news about Osman. In Napoli's recent game, he got injured and he's going to be out for eight months. That is just incredibly unfortunate. So obviously means Osman is uh, also not an option. He is ruled out entirely like De Jong. So that pretty much leaves us with only Harry Kane. Now we're back home and we are very nervous right now. Tenag is currently speaking with Spurs about Harry Kane and we're just sitting here waiting for the news. Finally, we get a call from Tenog and we say, how'd it go? Give me the good news. And Tenog says, it's not good news. Harry Kane is no longer an option as well. He says, Tottenham don't want to sell him and Kane also doesn't want to force a move and pretty much ruin his reputation with the Spurs fans right now. So De Jong, Osman, Kane all off the table. We are pretty much in a transfer crisis, he says. And if we don't come up with a signing, there will be backlash. But we also don't want to just force a signing. So we say, okay, we have three days left. Let's regroup and think about it. Now with those three options off the table, there's also the option of not making a signing. Now my issue with that is I feel like Mason Mount, I still have reservations about him being a number eight in this team, like a starting number eight. I don't think Rabiot is good enough to start. I don't think Erickson's good enough to start anymore too. So it's gotta be Mason Mount. And I'm not sure he has the physicality we need to play alongside Casemiro, like the defensive ability yet. I feel like he's much more suited to be like a super sub off the bench, either in the midfield or on the wing too. And with Kane Osman off the table, there's no other strikers really. I think that we should replace Neymar with up top. So I think if we make a signing, it's gotta be a midfielder, but it's gotta be the right midfielder. So we walk into Tenog's office and we say that we may have found another option for us. That option is Marco Sirente playing at Atletico Madrid. Now this guy can literally play anywhere, center mid, on the wing, at right back. He's an extremely versatile player. Now he doesn't have the passing ability as uh, Frankie de Jong, but he's got the skills to be an elite box to box center mid. And that's exactly what we need. He's much more physical than Mason Mount and a lot more defensively sound as well. Now we tell Tanag we have to pay his release clause though if we want to sign him. That's the only way Atletico Madrid will let him go. Now his agent has told me that he's open to leaving Atletico Madrid for the Premier League. So this might actually be possible. And Tanag says, so a Yerente Casemiro midfield duo. He says, you know what? I like the sound of that. And considering our options, this might be the best compromise. So Marco Yerente is 84 rated. He's 28, so he's right in his prime. Now looking at his stats, we all know he's a very uh, versatile player, very sound in a lot of different areas, like defensively dribbling going forward. He's just a really good box to box mid. If we can't sign De Jong, Kane or Osman right now, I feel like Yerente to play alongside Casemiro to start is literally the next best option. Now his value is only 27 million, but his release clause is 73.3 million. And to sign him, we got to pay that. So we have the money to do it. So we're going to do it. We may have just solved our transfer crisis. So now Tanag will negotiate with Yente, see if he actually wants to join us, if we can get a contract sorted. Now Yente went from Real Madrid to Atletico Madrid. I feel like it's probably time for him to go to like, of course, the Premier League. I feel like he's actually very well suited for the Premier League. And just like that, Eric Tanag has signed Yente up. Yente wants to join Manchester United. Now I'm hoping this works out. I'm hoping it doesn't flop. It is a little bit of a forced signing, a panic signing, but it's got a lot of potential to help this team. So Marcos Yente, welcome to Manchester United. I got big hopes for Yente. Now I am going to make Yente a center mid, which at center mid is rating stays 84. So I'm happy with that. So Yerente is the final piece of the puzzle for the first transfer window. That is how the team looks. I mean, it looks solid. If this Yerente signing actually works, it could be, uh, it could be very good. But just like that, the transfer window is now over. Now Yerente's first game, his debut is going to be in the Champions League. Our group this year is Dortmund, Sociedad, and Copenhagen. I mean, Dortmund, Sociedad, that's not the easiest group. So first game is at home versus Dortmund, who of course just lost uh, Jude Bellingham to Real Madrid. So their team might look a little bit interesting. Now Yerente before the game says that he's incredibly excited to be here at such a historic club with such a rich history and he's ready to make himself part of that history so Yerente debut with pretty much the regular first team i'm a little bit nervous i'm also very excited to see him play so our champions league campaign officially starts again now last year we got knocked down the quarterfinals by real madrid it wasn't a bad run for us but still it, it sucks getting knocked out this year we're trying to get one step better semifinals final maybe winning it but marcos Yerente, welcome to manchester united let's see how this goes now Yerente has like 90 stamina which is a box to box you love to see that now neymar's got a little bit of room anthony is in already anthony goes for a shot that could have been goal number one just like that all right luke shaw's back in the lineup so he's taking this corner and that's a very good corner cobalt that's a very awkward punch out that had nothing on it they might not have drew bellingham but this team is still very dangerous oh i just need to get it out i'm playing with it too much costa that's an amazing save at the near post i need to stop messing around with the ball i need to get it out corner in out by martinez and then bruno a second clearance bruno that's actually a not a bad little clearance. Now that ball gets through. This is not good. Yerente doing some defensive work. I love to see it. Neymar Nadalo. Okay, Anthony is finding space today, I think. He's gonna get it to Bruno Fernandez. First touch a little bit heavy. Gets it out to Dallo. Anthony, I just complimented you 
and then you lose it. Is that a foul? What is that going to be? Is it a yellow? It's, that shouldn't even be a card. Yeah, thankfully. I'm not even sure that was actually a foul. Bruno Fernandez has got space. This guy is hounding him, though. Get it to Yerente. Yerente, a chance in the box, maybe. Get it to De Bruno. Get it back to Casemiro. Okay, let's relax. Get it to Luke Shaw. Now, Luke Shaw is going to try to get across in. He's got space. A great cross, but it's going to be cleared. Neymar, can we get that to a teammate? Casemiro can't win that. Okay, that attack was a little bit uh, disappointing. Oh, no. Now they're in. It's Adiemi versus Martinez. Martinez, can he catch up? He, okay, Adiemi. Dings Costa in Dortmund score first. Oh, man, that was such a bad attack that led to a perfect counterattack for them. We lost the ball and our players were pushed forward. You can't do that. You're pretty much ass getting a counterattack, and we just did. Okay, man, that's so unfortunate. 1 0 Dortmund in the first and actually the 24th minute. Can't lose the ball in a bad spot. Oh, Neymar is taken out now. That's going to be a card for Schlotterbeck. All right, this is way too far out for a shot. We're going to lay it off to Bruno. Bruno, please get that. Okay, he does. Gets it to Marcus Rashford. Marcus shot, why not? It was at the keeper. Not terrible, but not really good. Rashford, great ball to Neymar. Neymar turns, gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno has had now like three chances. Episode he should have scored. Oh man, that's such a good save. We got to put that chance away. Good corner by Luke Shaw. Can't get it to though. Yerente heads it into Casemiro. Midfielders combining and Casemiro scores. Oh man, we needed that. Okay, Yerente gets an assist on his debut and it might be the first goal we've scored with Casemiro in the series. Once again, Bruno misses a chance and then a teammate uh, makes up for him pretty much. Yerente, good header. Casemiro left foot. It's actually a very good finish. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Feels like the Wolves game. We're back in this. Yeah, we can't let him have a quick response. Casemiro, Casemiro. See, I just need to get it out. I'm trying to keep possession. It's just, it does get a little shaky sometimes. Out to Anthony. Anthony, Anthony, your first touch there was so bad. Bruno, Dinks it up to Neymar, at least tried to. Marcos Yerente, good touch into Rashford. Beautiful. Bruno lays it off for Yerente. Yerente, oh man, I thought that was going to be perfect. Oh man, that pass got through Dalo's legs. Okay, that shot by Adiemi was so bad. We got very lucky there. Julian Brand is going to find Haled. I'm trying to prevent the shot. Okay, good block by Martinez and then Varane steals it. Okay, that was very dangerous. This game feels a lot like the Wolves game. Halftime, it is going to be 1-1. This is a very close game. I would say so far, Yerente has looked uh, pretty good in his debut, though. Neymar to Rashford, Rashford and Bruno. Bruno has got a little bit of space. I don't like those options, though. Okay, now Bruno has a chance to shoot, maybe. Bruno shot. Bruno hits the crossbar. Okay, rebound by Neymar, and it's blocked. Oh, man, that was a good shot by Bruno. Just not quite good enough. Oh, man, Anthony's got a lot of space right now. Neymar might be free, though. Brazilian to Brazilian. The connection was not there. I thought it was. Bruno, Bruno, great dribbling into Yerente. Yerente, chance to shoot. Oh, man, it looked good. Need more power, though. He's got a good finishing for a midfielder. Bruno, good pass to Neymar. Neymar turns. Neymar shoots. Oh, man, he did not hit that cleanly at all. I think it was actually, yeah, it was deflected. Never mind. All right, Lucas Shaw, good Oh, man. Good corner. It's not going to be one, though. Yerente wins another header. Bruno gets it to Anthony. Anthony shoots. It's going to be blocked by Julian Brand, I believe. This is so much like the Wolves game. We're starting to look much better. Neymar, if you're getting a better spot, you get a chance. Neymar. Okay. Oh, what a save by Koble. That was so awkward. We actually got a good shot away, though. Bruno cross in. There are some bodies there in the way, but Rafael Varane scores, and it's 2-1. Bro, Varane is so good from corners. 1-0 down to now 2-1. Just like the Wolves game, made the comeback. Yeah, Varane, he has scored a lot of goals from corners in this series so far. Okay, we got 25 minutes left. Game is not done yet, but that's a big goal. Oh, Adiemi, please stop Varane against Adiemi. Adiemi is so quick. Oh, this is so dangerous. They are okay. Thankfully, he plays it out. What kind of dribbling is that? I was scared. Maybe I shouldn't have been. Neymar gets it to Anthony. Anthony's going to try to find Bruno. Okay, that's a great block. Anthony, stay with it. Anthony, at least he tried. Anthony, whoa, we almost went all the way and stole that. Marcus got options. Oh, Yedente, I need you in a better spot there. That was not a good pass by me, though. Come on, one more goal just to seal it. Neymar going to find Anthony again. Anthony cuts inside. Anthony has Marcus Rashford first time shot Koble what a save okay I'm gonna do Mason Mount on for Anthony and then uh Hoyland on for Rashford which hopefully could seal this game Vran almost actually had another chance there get it back to Luke Shaw we got it to Luke Shaw Luke Shaw has Bruno finds Mason Mount oh Mason Mount hits the post we are so close to just sealing this game oh Mason dribbling is beautiful there gets it to Yerente Yerente back to Bruno Bruno Gets it to Mason Mount. Mason into Dallo. Dallo's going to try to cross it. Gets it to Neymar. Neymar is going to not get that. Maybe we got eight minutes. I don't like the feel of this game. Only a one goal lead. I do not like the feel of it. That's dangerous. Oh, so dangerous. Martinez just saved a goal, I think. Oh, man. They keep finding little pockets of space, and that pass thankfully goes wide. All right, four minutes. If we just chill, we should walk out here with a win. Casemiro. Oh, Casemiro. I wanted that pass to be at Dallo's feet. You got to be kidding me. Oh. Thankfully, that pass is terrible. Bro, their pass errors on one. They still play pass like that. That's incredible. Luke Shaw to Yerente. Yerente, a chance to seal the game. Let's just waste time. That's a bad shot, but he's trying to score his first goal for the club. We got one minute. This should be it. This was not an easy game. Hopefully, 
it ends in a win because we still got time. They got one more chance, maybe. Oh, no. Please don't. Please don't. Martinez, again, gets the ball out. This should be a win. Oh, man. That was right there was a hard-fought win. 1-0 down. We climb back in the game, take the lead, and then we hung on for dear life. But that's a feel-good win right there. And also, Yerente, very solid debut. Now, after that win, Tenog in the dressing room, he says, those are the kind of wins I need to see this season. Fighting hard against good teams. And he says, our next few games are against teams that we should beat. So if we take care of business, we can have a very good start to this season, especially if we want to challenge for the Premier League title. Okay, we had a beautiful end of September winning all our games now still liverpool's man city both above us in the table we've won seven out of eight games and we're still not first like with the realism mod the premier league is a lot more competitive that's what i'm seeing so it's much harder to win the title with the realism mod but it's a good thing we, we want the challenge and then champions league we beat copenhaven so two games two wins now the only bad thing is kim min jay has a broken rib so he's out for four weeks that means we might see a mateus rice have an appearance in our next game is real sociedad away now before this game we sit down with garnacho and we tell him look everyone here thinks you have so much potential we all think so highly of you and now you haven't had the best start to the season. We all know that. We don't want him thinking about it too much. So we tell him, just go out there, just relax, play your game, and good things will start to happen. So in this one, Garnacho gets the start. He hasn't really played good in this series yet, but yet. Also Rice in there, also Ramirez, and also, of course, Yidente. Against the Sociedad team, it's actually pretty good. So come on, boys. Let's make it three wins out of three. That would be beautiful to start the year. I believe we're wearing the third kits for the first time. I, be I believe. Now Neymar out to Alejandro Garnacho. And get it back to Yidente. Yidente. In to Bruno Fernandez. Gets it back out to Garnacho. Okay, so sad are just sitting back. Let's get Molassi to get that defender away. Get it back to Marcos Yudente. Yudente gets it to Neymar. Neymar. Okay, they were sitting so back. I had no idea what to do there. And whatever I tried, it did not work. Bruno up to Neymar. Neymar, wait for the runner. It's going to be Marcos Yudente. Shoots. Oh, Yudente could have scored his first goal. He might have another chance. Okay, Yudente gets it to Bruno. Bruno finesse shot. It's going to be another save. And that's two chances that we should score. Now, that was an interesting uh, corner. Casemiro gets it to Rafael Veron of all players, and that was actually a very good shot. Neymar goes for the rebound, doesn't even send it on target at all. What a weird start to this game. Ramirez over to Dallo. They're just sitting so back. We're going to try to cross Ramirez. Actually, a great cross to Marco Sirente, and he scores his first goal. Bro, he is so athletic. He wins so many headers. And our pretty much like crisis signing scores his first goal for the club. And also Miguel Ramirez, he's supposed to be the next Ronaldo. He gets so many assists though. It's very uh, not Ronaldo-like. Marco Sirente though, beautiful thing to see him getting in the box and scoring. 16 minutes in, 1-0 to United. Look at that, he's also winning the ball back. Sirente is doing everything. I feel like he's actually gonna be a very good signing. Like he's starting to hit his stride in this team. And then Bruno Fernandez shot is going to be at the keeper. Malassia to Bruno. Bruno is going to try to find Malassia again. He does. Malassia into Garnacho. Garnacho stops. Good dribbling. Yudente into Bruno. Bruno should find. Okay, Ramirez. Oh, I tried to go to the left side and somehow he blocked that. Okay, Rice. Oh, that's a great ball. That's a beautiful ball. Dallo that recovered so well. That dude should have just shot. He wasted so much time. Dallo's got Neymar. Neymar is in. Neymar loves scoring. Gets it to Garnacho instead. Garnacho finally scores. Okay. Unselfishness from Neymar. And finally, Garnacho this season is on the score sheet. I thought we ruined that chance. It was actually a great pass from Neymar. All right, 2 0. Game has gone a bit more smoothly so far. That's a back heel. Oh, Costa saves it off the post. Okay, Costa is looking so good in the episode. He's a little more comfortable now, and he's looking like a very solid De Gea replacement. All oh, the space, Ramirez. Okay, that defender tried to stay home with Neymar. Ramirez instead goes with himself, and Ramirez scores. Okay, the next Ronaldo finally has the shooting. That's what he's been working on all summer. Garnacho, Ramirez, the youngsters scoring, and we are 3 nil up on Real Sociedad. And that defender tried to stay with Neymar, so Ramirez just went with himself. Tight angle, still great shot. Eric Ten Hag is loving it. Malassi up to Garnacho. Neymar might be covered there. Garnacho's taken out. That's going to be a free kick. Now, who's taking this? It's got to be Neymar, right? Neymar has been the one that's almost scored every single free kick he's taken. Yeah, it's got to be Neymar. Now, this one's extra far out, so we got to definitely put more power on this. We're going to go like right there. Neymar, I need a lot of power on this shot. Free kick attempt, and that wasn't the best. That might have been a little bit too far out for Neymar. Okay, halftime 3 0. So far, this game has gone very well for us. And Yudente steals the ball again. I have a feeling we're going to look back on the Yudente signing later on and actually see that that might have been better than even Frankie de Jong because he has looked so good in this first episode with uh, him and the team. Now, Garnacho, Garnacho. From space, Alejandro needed more power and also a uh, better placement. Bruno Fernandez finds Ramirez. Ramirez gets it to Marcos Yudente. Tries to find some space. Almost uh, scored his second. Honestly, probably should have. Now, that's a good pass. That's a good pass. And then it goes under, I think, Diego Costa. Okay, that's unfortunate. They're back in the game. 3-1. We can't give the home team life. I say it all the time. When you let the home team score once in a game like this, they get right back in it. Oh, just like this. He's actually on side. How is this guy... 
How is he on side? What did I say? I, didn't, I feel like I just jinxed it, but it's true. You gotta be kidding me. We were so in control of this game. Okay, look at the counterattack. Why is he so much space and why is it gone side? All of a sudden, it's 3-2 and this is now a game. Bro, I was, I was about to bring on some youngsters like Vermeeran. Now I feel like I can't. I gotta keep past middle on. This game has literally changed so much in like three minutes. Okay, we need to get our lead back. Otherwise, I'm gonna be very mad. Casemiro up to Yerente. Yerente has got Garnacho. Garnacho, please score that. Okay, Alejandro Garnacho restores at least a two goal lead. Hey, he's playing much better now. He's more relaxed. Is this where Garnacho actually breaks out? Yerente, by the way, another assist for him. Okay, 4 2. We cannot lose this game. We cannot let them come back. Do not let them score again. Ramirez up to Bruno. Bruno, wait for something. Get it out to Dallo. Dallo. Okay, that was supposed to go to Neymar. Oh, that was supposed to go to Neymar because Ramirez was offside. Dallo to Bruno. Now, Bruno's got some space for a cross, maybe. Actually, let's try to get it to Ramirez. We are going to get it to Neymar. Neymar needs someone down the middle. Can't find it. Ramirez steals it back, though. Gets it to Neymar. Neymar shoots. It's going to be blocked. Okay, Yudente cleans it up. What an awkward and weird chance. Bruno, Neymar to Ramirez. Cross it over to Garnacho. Garnacho climbs for it. Garnacho almost just scored a hat trick. Come on, one more. Get the three goal lead back. Get it back. It's gonna be cleared. Back out to Bruno. He's still on side. Yes, he is. Pick out across Bruno. Picks it out. Neymar can't get that one either. Oh, Yedente. Beautiful defending from our new signing. And now look at him running forward. There's the 90 stamina. Dribbles around one. Plays it through to Neymar. Neymar has got Miguel Ramirez. Cuts inside. Left footed shot. And it's going to be saved. Okay, Vermeeren coming on. Erickson coming on. Hoyland coming on. Everyone's coming on at this point. Just seal the game. Hoyland, first touch. It's going to be over the net. Mason Mount. Great ball to Malassia. Malassia gets it to Garnacho. Looking for his hat trick. Gets it to Hoyland instead. And Hoyland hits the post off the keeper. Man, that should have been 5 2. Last minute. Great corner, though, Hoyland. That's going to fall awkwardly. We're going to get it out. Get it out to Garnacho shoots. Oh, man. Garnacho, this is his best game of the series by far. He has looked deadly in this game. Erickson, another cross. Hoyland can't get it. I'm shooting this with Vermeeren because why not? That's why not. Second chance. Vermeeren. That had a little bit of venom to it. But okay, we win another game where we let them come back. Our defense, not the best. But right now, our offense and midfoot are winning the game for us. So all in all, still a, a solid win. And Garnacho, what a game for him. Okay, okay, later in the week, we're in training. Tenog's actually watching the academy team. We're looking at some of the younger players in the squad. And we tell him that we got a few really good players coming through the academy. Like the left back, Alvar Fernandez, who's 76 rated. And then the attacking mid slash winger, Shotatide. Both of these players look maybe ready for their first team debuts. And we also tell him that our scouts have said they've found a few players as well. So we may have more youth academy players joining up pretty soon now once again even with our insane start we're still three points behind liverpool in first and our next game is a very tough one against arsenal in fifth away at the emirates so this feels like it's gonna be a tough one and before neymar is talking to the media and he says he feels like he's playing his best football of his career right now he's feeling healthy he's feeling motivated and he just wants to keep this up and there's no doubt he's playing insane he's actually the top scorer over holland that is how good neymar has been playing so we face arsenal with a regular lineup and we're just gonna try to once again keep this up i mean coming to the emirates is now a pretty tough task with all the strides Arsenal have made recent years. So once again, I feel like this game might be tough, but we'll see. Yudente, great ball to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has space in the middle. Finds Neymar. Neymar gets to Yudente. Yudente tries to feed it to Neymar. Almost did. Yudente gets it to Bruno. Almost a great chance to start the game. Luke Shaw, that is a great cross, but Ramza comes all the way out for it. Okay, Bruno to Rashford. We got a little bit of space here. Rashford, we're going to try to find Neymar. Neymar. He tried to go for another uh, bicycle kick. He scored one the first episode, so I don't I don't hate it. Okay, Yerente steals that. Anthony to Bruno. Bruno gets it to Neymar. Neymar, who's actually hurt trying that bicycle kick. Okay, Neymar, please don't be injured. That would literally be a disaster, especially after that interview. Yerente, good ball to Anthony. Anthony's got an injured Neymar. Neymar, how injured are you? He's going to shoot, and Neymar is still going to score. I don't know what injury he has, but it didn't look bad there. 1-0 to Manchester United. Please run off the injury, Neymar. Oh, he's grabbing his shoulder. Man, give him and Jay out. Hopefully, Neymar is not out, too. Okay, he literally just ran it off. Neymar, thank you. Okay, Mill Smith Rowe is completely in here. Varane, that was very not convincing defending, but it works. Anthony threw ball to Dallow. Okay, Arsenal are looking very open right now. Dallow, he's not going to catch up there, though. Get it back to Anthony. Anthony stops. Anthony destroys whoever that was. But the shot is going to be blocked. Yudente steals it back again. I mean, what else can he do or not do? Oh, Bruno should have had that. Okay, we're looking pretty good in this game, too. Casemiro gets it to Dallo. Dallo gets it over to Marcus. Rashford. Okay, he didn't really turn. I wanted him to turn. That is so unfortunate. Saka tracks it back. In the box, dangerous. Varane. Oh, man. That is just desperate defending. But again, it works. Yudente, it's just another good steal. I am so impressed with Marcos Yudente. Neymar. Okay, so Neymar is going to try to cut inside. Neymar stops, gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Shot and Ramsdale makes the save. And once again, Bruno, 
We gotta score those. We can't not score those. And then once again, a teammate picks up Bruno Fernandez. Bro, it feels like every time Bruno misses a chance, we're gonna score right after. Neymar gets his second. Who needs Osman or Kane when you got Neymar up top? It was a good delivery by Bruno. I'll give him that. But Neymar climbs the header. That's just an insane header by Neymar. 30 minutes in, 2-0. Oh, that's such a good move. They're gonna score that. Man, the way Arsenal just found Jesus in the box, that was so good. Just like that, it's it's gonna be 2-1. It was a throw-in. Good pass to Saka. Saka finds Jesus so quickly. It's just a great chance. All right, 2-1. This game is now once again a game. Yudente gets it to Bruno. In to Neymar. Back to Yudente. Yudente finds... Oh, man, that was almost beautiful. Okay, Yudente, relax. Neymar gets it to Bruno. Oh, Anthony was so free there for an open shot. I can't believe it. Jesus. Okay, Martinez. What a tackle on Jesus. Neymar get it to Luke Shaw. Rashford has so much space. Gets it to Bruno. Rashford, please still be on side. Rashford still on side. Marcus Rashford makes it 2-1. That was defense to attack so quickly. That was very close, though. It was very close to being offside. All right, 41st minute, 3-1. Neymar, long ball to Anthony. We're not stopping here. We are ruthless this year. We're trying to be a different team. A ruthless team, as I'm saying that. I play the worst pass of the episode. Rashford down the middle has got space. Marcus, Marcus with another finesse shot. Whoa, that was deflected back to Ramsdale so quickly. But okay, 3-1. That two-goal lead makes me a lot happier. We just need to make sure we don't let Arsenal back in this game. Now, with this kind of chance right here, it looks like Arsenal are trying to get back in the game. Oh, they get it right back into Jesus. Jesus, that dribbling is insane. I thought he was going to track it back. He does track it back. Oh, uh, Martinez off the line. He didn't take second clearance. Okay, we survived that attack. It's a good ball in behind. Martinez, who has been so good. Trying to track that. Oh, man. Okay, Costa, a good spot. Once again, very dangerous, though. Man, they keep getting chances. They look dangerous. They look very dangerous. Luke Shaw on Saka. Great defending. We are barely surviving for now. Anthony. Oh, Anthony, that's a horrible pass to Neymar. I wasn't even at him. Ran. It was it. Okay, boys, we need to relax. We need to, once again, gain control of the game real quick. All right, first up is Hoyland on for Anthony. So Neymar to left wing, Rashford to right wing. We're going to try this. So I feel like Hoyland up top might allow us to seal this game. Good pass up by Bruno. A very good pass. Rashford gets it to Dallow. Hoyland is in a good spot. Hoyland gets it back to Bruno. Bruno in to Yerente. Yerente is going to try to find Hoyland. Hoyland controls it, but I think he also handballed it. Oh, he was offside. Uh, one of those two. All right, boys, don't let him score here. We don't let him score here. We'll be in a very good spot. Luke, Sean, Saka, great defending. Now, Bruno Fernandez into Rasmus Hoyland to maybe seal the game. Oh, Hoyland, that's a beautiful finish. Man, this episode, we've had some defensive, uh, I would say, very shaky moments. But all in all, we're scoring a lot of goals. And we're playing really good to start the year. Like, when you got a backup striker in Hoyland that scores goals like this that easily, we have just turned this United team into a very deep team. Now, though, we might get another. Cross it into Neymar. Neymar. Okay, he fought for that. Hoyland is looking for another one. Hoyland is running through. Hoyland shoots and Ramsdale prevents it being a 5-1. Corner sent in. Hoyland. Oh, Hoyland scores again. It's 5-1. We are just playing so good right now. Even though, once again, I feel shaky a little bit. And these are all on our increased sliders. I've never played on sliders this tough. We're still playing this good, though. I think that's a sign that we're transforming this team. Bringing United back to the top slowly. All right, one final shot from our new signing, Marco Cidente. That's going to be blocked. But full time. Wow. I was not expecting us to beat Arsenal that easily, but 5-1. Our start to the year has been so strong, but still, I can't believe it. We're probably still in third place once again the realism mod makes it much tougher to actually win the prem makes it a lot more competitive so even though we're playing this good we still need to be better if we want to actually win in the premier league i think yeah like i thought we're still in third place that's pretty nuts but it shows to win the prem right now we gotta be almost perfect but it's still been a great start now we sent our youth scouts out to qatar south africa and also england and i think in the next episode we might have a few new youth players well once again drop a like if you want to see more of this series i'm um, on screen is a video that you might like and as always hope you guys have a great day